Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing good today. I think we're going to start things off with a little bit of Fallow Deer. It's been a bit since we've done, like, Fallow Deer is the first thing. Uh, we did a little bit of Fallow Deer last Call of the Wild stream, but only like an hour's worth. We'll do a little bit of Fallow to start the day, and then we might go to Bears afterwards. I was hunting Bear last night. Sadly, did not get any luck. Not even a diamond showed up, so that was kind of sad. But uh, hopefully it'll be better today when we're actually live. How is everybody doing, though? How's it going? Ziggy, Drippy, Henry, uh, John, we got A-Rod, we got Sky, we got Garrett, we got G-Laser, G -Laser, we got Cooper, we got Branch, we got Mason, we got Pizzle Riser, we got Jace, we got Diamond Deer Hunter, we got Tyrell. Oh, gosh, I'm running out of breath. We got Call the Wild Hunter, we got Ron Ronald, Ronald Regan. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, we got... Or is that... Actually, that's how you spell Reagan, right? Never mind. I'm stupid. It's fine. Hey, LG, how's it going, man? Hey, Supreme. How's everybody doing? My oh, gosh. Everybody's in here. Holy. Oh, hey. Starting off uh, strong. I don't even have to reset the time twice. It actually showed up to its zone. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Hope everybody has been enjoying the videos recently. Been trying to get a little bit of everything that you guys like. We had our... Uh... Didn't we have our 60-minute trophy challenge recently or no? Yeah, we did a 60-minute trophy challenge like a couple weeks ago with uh, Brober and Kinsko. We did a random wheel recently. We did a first to a diamond challenge today. Then we did like a classic multiplayer hunt. We've been trying to get everything going. Getting a little bit of everything. Tips for the fallow grind. I've got a video that covers all of that, Henry. I definitely recommend checking it out as it's going to give you the most like detailed information on it. Go to the herd management guides playlist and it'll be right in there. The great one smell is in the air. Maybe. It could also just be pizza, because I just had a, I just had a pizza pocket, so that that's probably what is that's probably what we're smelling in the air right now. Hey, you'll get one eventually, Diamond Deer Hunter. It's just a matter of time and like spending a lot of time grinding them, right? More time you spend grinding them, more chances you'll get one. And at the end of the day, some people get luckier than others with the great ones. There we go. Some people just have different levels of luck with great ones, you know. Some people get them super, super quickly like we did with the fallow deer. Um, others, like, the grind is so long that they don't even know what to do. It happens. Beautiful. Love to see it. That is a thick mail. Thick mail to start the day. A diamond is coming our way. Had to make that rhyme a little bit. Thirteen hundred kills into the Great One Grind. Thirty-four diamond, four level fours, or four were level four diamonds. Seventeen trolls, seven piebald, five mela, zero albino. Still no great ones, dude. You have five melas and thirteen hundred kills, so that's actually crazy. Like that is crazy lucky. I think right now, I've got one mela, one mela. Between eight grinds and over 5,000 kills. That's crazy that you have five melas. Um, Bubba, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Recently bought Yukon, Quattro, and SRP. Got good initial spawns on SRP and Quattro, Albino, and Pi Rocky Elk. Mela and Albino Mouflon, Pi Red Deer, and a Diamond Ringneck Pheasant. That is awesome, dude. Those are some really good initial spawns to get. Like, super good. AJ hey Carr, how's it going, dude? What's my favorite map? Uh, my personal favorite is Australia. Emerald Coast has took the crown for me. Number two is Revontuli. Number three is Tiawaroa. 
And then I'd say number four is probably Silver Ridge. I don't know what I would rank number five. Maybe Verhonga? But, I mean, there's so many other maps that are so good. There's so many others that are so good, man. No, I didn't miss the super chat, Janelle. I already read it off. I done seen it. Move for me. Ma'am, I didn't mean you. Nice, we got them both. Love to see it. My gosh, Hollow Crow exists. How's it going, Hollow? Hope you're doing good. What do you think is the best Great One grind? I like the Fallow the most, personally. It, for me, has been the most enjoyable. Great One grind started amazing, but about 300 kills ago it went to crap and I and it ain't looking any better. At 900 kills now and everything is HM'd. I would say it's very likely, fishing and Farming, that you probably had, like, potentially a new herd develop. And it's, like, took some of your shootable bucks. Or it's possible some solos are still on the map that are not HM'd down. Uh, that's all that I can really think of. What else am I hunting? Not 100% sure today. For sure some bears, but other than that, not a clue. Depends on how long we go, really. Nice, Brennan, that's awesome, dude. What is my biggest great one and my rarest? Uh, my biggest great one ever is my bear. My bear ended up being max score and just barely off of max weight. And rarest great one? I mean, in terms of rarity, it's got to be my, uh, probably big rack moose with the common fur type because you can no longer get common fur on them. It was like a limited time thing for about a month. That technically would be my rarest great one, I'd say. Because you just can't get them anymore. What is my favorite Great One fur type? Ooh, that's a tough one. Of like the uh, normal fur types, like the fabled ones that aren't rare, I would say... That's a five. Either the fabled Mocha Fallow or... Man, I'd say... Okay, my top three is Fabled Birch Moose, Fabled Two-Tone Moose, and then the third would be Fabled Mocha Fallow Deer. That's my top three for the different fur types. There we go. Approaching 100 kills into grind number nine. Here's our dime right here. This should be a good one. Oh, it's actually kind of small. He looked bigger than he is. There we go, though. 3,015 diamonds on the board. Hey, Amanda, it's been pretty good. That's awesome to hear that you got your uh, great one, Fallow. Try to look for new zones every couple of rounds if I delete a zone. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I mean, I've had some show up in places I never would have expected them to go, so go to even places that you wouldn't expect them to be. Like uh, Loey Puk Pukimaro Lake, for a example. I didn't know that they could really show up here, and I had a herd there once. Definitely just be as thorough as you can. As long as you're thorough, you should be able to get most of them. 
How many kills? Uh, we're at 98 at the moment. There we go. 99 now. There, Hollow's got it. That is the, uh, the link to join right there. They fixed the big emotes? They did? Aw. I thought that was kind of cool that the emotes were so big. What's the best way to get a great one, Moose? Shoot males. Shoot lots of males and hope one spawns. And if you're up for it, try herd management. Oh, of course she would move like after I'd already shot the 22. Almost made it move. One hundred and one fallow deer. Not Dalmatians, fallow deer. They may be spotted, but they're not Dalmatians. But there is a hundred and one of them. Can you shoot level two fallow? If you're not doing herd management, yes. You can shoot the level twos. If you're doing herd management, don't shoot them unless they end up in your main zones. So it's situational. Can you please stream for five to six hours today? It is all up in the air, man. I don't ever commit to a specific time frame. Because I never know when I'll need to get off. When will I grind Red Deer again? Whenever they add more fur types to the Great One. That is the only thing that'll bring me back. I don't need any more Great One Red Deer. Uh, you only missed one diamond before that, I believe, Oscar. We've, uh, killed two dimes today. That is it so far. Got him. Nice. I almost messed that up. That was almost bad. Herd management is where you don't shoot the low-level males. So, for fallow deer, herd management is only shooting big threes and above. You don't shoot the twos or the threes that are small. And what that will do is it's going to make it so a lot more diamonds spawn as the game is trying to compensate for the large amount of low-level males. No, I have 27 whitetail up his riser, but there's a big difference between whitetail and red deer. I don't have the typical rack whitetail, and that's my main goal. That's always been my main goal. I still don't have it. Red deer, I've got everything. The only thing I'm missing is a diamond melanistic super rare, and the odds of getting that are like so small that it's not worth starting an entire grind uh, just to look for that. Especially when I've got all the great ones already for red deer. I'm still missing one of the racks for whitetail, so... We're going to keep going back here and there until we get the typical rack. Go figure, the last rack I need would be my favorite. Call the Wild knows me too well, man. Call the Wild knows me too well. It always does it. Fabled Mocha and the Blade Rack were the last that we got for rack and antler type with the uh, Fallow. I still don't have the Fabled Birch or the uh, typical rack for Moose. It's like the game knows which ones I want, and it's like, yeah, you don't get them. You don't get them yet. You, you gotta work for them. Feels bad, man. Uh. I mean, you could probably tell him yourself, uh, Jace. He's got a uh, comment section that you could drop that in. I'm not gonna remember to uh, tell him that if I... If I don't have him like right here with me. Yeah, he's got he's got a channel. You can leave a comment under one of his vids and I'm sure he'll see it. Where's Banting at grind? Or where's the Banting grind at? 
Uh, it's on my Emerald Coast. That's where it's at. What is your favorite kill? I have a hard time picking a favorite kill because there's so many that I really like. How come when you scope in, it doesn't swing and you don't have to wait for your heart to be good? Because I've got all the perks and skills that help you with that. And I'll show you, I'll show you a little trick right here. This is me not holding breath or compensating for the sway at all. Now watch this. This is with me moving my mouse to compensate. And then if I stop compensating, it's just a, mat a matter of like knowing where it's going to go and compensating for it. I imagine it's probably easier to do this on PC because a mouse gives you more like fine-tuned controls. And then if I hold my breath, I can keep it pretty much right there. You know what? I think one of these days I need to bring the hand cam back. One of these days I need to bring back the hand cam so you guys can see like how I compensate for recoil and all that. And how I do my movement and stuff. I remember a lot of you liked the hand cam when I did it briefly. Have you ever found a great one on multiplayer? Technically, yes I did. But it was during a time in the game where great ones were bugged in multiplayer, so it showed up as a level 3 with a level 1 size rack. It was very unfortunate. I could have had a multiplayer great one whitetail, but yeah, it was bugged at the time, so... It's actually in one of my videos. I didn't even realize that it was a bugged great one. I didn't even look at the level. I was just looking at the antlers and I was like, that's a level 1. Let's try to shoot it. Glad I missed, because if I had hit that, that would have been sad. Somebody's great one would have been gone. <laughs> LG, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, man. Hope you're doing good. Why no female? I don't shoot the females because there's no, no chance of a great one spawning from a female. You can't get great ones if you're shooting the females. It's only the males that give you a great one. So shooting a female on a great one grind is kind of like, it's essentially like useless. Unless you're just in need of money, then it's fine. Uh, but the other thing that can happen is if you shoot too many out of a zone, you can sometimes delete that zone by shooting too many animals and turning it into like a solo doe zone. So I try to only shoot what I need to. Because like I said, shooting too much can ruin a zone if you don't know the exact like composition of that zone in terms of the amount of animals in it and the amount that are left and... How many you ended up leaving after you finished shooting them? There we go. 110 kills. Let's go. You get a great one recently? Uh, the last great one that we got was the bear. I've kind of uh, took it slow since then. Given myself a bit of a break. So we've, been just, we've just been doing like some casual grinding since then. Uh, I'm sure she probably is, LG. Why do you only have females on your map? Because you probably shot all the males and they moved to different zones. You just got to find the zones that they went to. Normal people grinding? I mean, I wouldn't say that. What am I using? 300 Magnum. <laughs> nice one, Hollow. <laughs> it's not even a proper way to form a uh, question anyways, oh dog. I don't know what you were asking in the first place. <laughs> if you were asking me to like compare myself to another creator on like skill level or any 
level for that matter. I'm not gonna do that. I'm, it's just not it's not a good thing to ask somebody. You don't just go around asking people what their favorite kid is. They're like, yeah, which one of your kids is your favorite? You don't you, you don't go doing that. <laughs> you know? You, you get what I mean? It'd just be rude. That's like me doing a stream with like Brobra, right? And like, uh, and Nate as well. Like, let's say Brobra and me and Nate are doing a stream and you ask me which one of them is a better friend. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> oh, man. Do I hunt in real life? I hunted in real life growing up, but I haven't been able to recently just because of YouTube and being a dad taking up all my time. It's been a while since I've been able to hunt. I'm hoping I can get out and do it within the next few years, but it's questionable as to whether I'll be able to. No clue when I'll get to hunt again. Alright, those are being stubborn. Uh, yeah, Ryder, to be honest, really the only tip you need is go to YouTube and type in the search bar how to start a channel in 2023. It'll bring up all the info you need. That's how I started mine up. I just followed all of the stuff that different creators, like all the different tips and tricks that they went over on like how to start up a channel and actually have it work out usually. Holy, got him. What map am I playing on? This is Tiabaroa. Probably my third favorite map in the entire game. Like Call of the Wilds half dead? No, it's not even close to half dead. It's not even close to half dead, man. We've just had a major update. It's been like a month since that major update. It's a natural decline in people interested because the update's been out for a month. Pretty normal. Happens every time there's a major patch to the game. For this time of year, this game is doing way better than it has in previous times, right? The only time that I'd say there was more players playing Call of the Wild than uh, on the like Australia release is like the Rev release. And Mississippi because of the Epic Games free week. But it's been doing very good. The game is far from dead. That's for sure. Do I ever play Way of the Hunter anymore? Um, Not at the moment. I'm kind of waiting for the new reserve. I'm waiting for the new map to see if it's enough to like keep me interested. Uh, cause like I've said before, the only reason I don't really play Way of the Hunter anymore is because I just feel like there's nothing to grind for aside from five stars, which become pretty easy once you played for a little bit and understand how to like manage your herds. And like there's, I think, seven or eight rares in total amongst all species. So there's just not a lot to grind for in that game. Not to mention like the majority of the viewers of this channel don't really care for Way of the Hunter. So between me not really enjoying the content that was in the game and everybody else not wanting to really watch it either, I just haven't been playing it recently. I will definitely be getting back to it once the new map comes out. I'm hoping that that'll be enough to keep me interested. Because, I mean, it's Africa. Like, that's gotta be good. There's no way that they can mess up an Africa map, right? Africa's been good in literally every hunting game ever created. How much do you make, Crow? Uh, more than a penny and less than a million. 
find it hard to play than this game, but it's still fun. I understand. Yeah, like it, it's still a fun game, but yeah, I just I just never feel like uh, there's much for me to go for. I just need more trophies to grind for, and then I'll gladly play Way of the Hunter more. Speaking of other hunting games, we got a The Hunter Classic video coming out in a couple of days showing off my new skin in The Hunter Classic. That's right. There's going to be a Scarecrow Camo Rifle in The Hunter Classic. It's already available to view in the store, and then I believe it'll be available to purchase at some point down the line. But right now, it's only going to be for the winner of my competition that will be starting on the 10th of this month. So if you guys play The Hunter Classic got a chance to win a custom scarecrow rifle you guys may have seen uh, Flinter showed off his bow uh, the other day and talked about it but yeah I've got a uh, I've got a rifle skin in the game as well and oh my gosh it, it's everything I could have ever wanted if any of you have seen the skin in the store for classic what do you think of it I wanted to make it something that didn't necessarily scream I'm from a content creator. I wanted to make something that you could really just use at any time and like it wouldn't be a, a confusing thing to somebody that doesn't watch the channel. So I tried to go for like a like a normal camo but with my colors, right? So it's like a lime green and black uh, camouflage pattern and oh it's just, I'm so happy with it. In fact, I'll bring up a screenshot of it real quick if you guys want to see it. Let's bring this up. You guys can see the Scarecrow rifle. All right, where is it? Got to find the right image. Where is it? Is this it? Boom. There it is. This is my skin in the Hunter Classic. And it's on the uh, 6.5 bolt action rifle. This is uh, based on the carbon, I believe. I am so happy with what they've done with it. I basically just said I want it to look like the muddy girl camo, but I want it to be green instead of pink. And yeah, this is what they came up with. I'm blown away, man. I'm just blown away at how good it looks. Now we just got to hope that the Hunter Call of the Wild does this at some point. Could you imagine if uh, Call of the Wild gets creator skins? I'd love to have that skin in Call of the Wild. I would be so happy with that. Glad you guys like it. Glad you guys like it. Yeah, my goal was to make a good looking skin that anybody can use and like not have my logo on it necessarily. Just have something that I would love to use in game. Never really played games like this so my friends got me into it and that looks cool. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, like hunting games are a lot of fun. They can be a lot of fun. You know, when if you've never played a hunting game before, you could probably look at it and you're like, what? What? How would this be fun? You're just shooting animals. Then you actually play it and it's like, okay, this is actually really in-depth and enjoyable. There we go. Since the Easter skin, I can see it. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'd love to see them add them into Call of the Wild. I really want them to do like a, a creator pack like that. It'd be so cool. And also like uh, all of the skins from the other content creators that are having their competitions in Classic as well. They're v available to view on the store also at the moment. And I gotta say, there's a couple that look phenomenal. The one that immediately comes to mind is TK's. 
TK made such a gorgeous rifle. Like, it is, it's like engraved. It's got like a full on scene on it. Like a full on scene with like animals and trees all engraved into the stock of a, um, I'm trying to remember which rifle it is. It's one of the buffalo rifles. Or no, it's the 450, right? I think it's the 450. Is that what, is that called the 450? I think it's the 450. But yeah, it's such a gorgeous gun. I really, I really want that one. I'll definitely be buying it whenever it becomes available in the store for purchase. I know for a fact the first, the first copy of each of the creator weapons will be available to whoever wins our competition. So if you want a chance to win the Scarecrow skin and be like one of the first people to have it aside from myself, uh, you can do my competition on the 10th. And I believe the winner gets a copy of it for free. Hey, Rocky, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great, dude. How many more fallow deer great ones do you need? Um, I just want to get a couple more typical racks and a couple more of the mochas. I'm not going to try and get every single combo for fallow. That's like 20 different combos. <laughs> not to mention I'd definitely get duplicates in the mix. Surprised we didn't get any duplicates in our first eight. But yeah, we'll go for a couple more. I just want to get a couple more mochas and a couple more big typical racks. Because those are just beautiful. And I wouldn't mind some more blade racks either. We got the uh, the combo I wanted the most and then one other blade rack, but... But we don't like 100% need them now, but I wouldn't mind them. There we go. One hundred and twenty six kills into this grind right here. Yeah, Mel's rifle looks pretty good. I was also a fan of uh, Pro XCK's. I like the way he did his name on the stock. I think they're all pretty decent. But I gotta say, like, out of all of them, aside from my own, like, taking it out of the mix, I just can't get over the detail on TK's rifle. I want to get that one so bad. It's so beautiful. I also really like Flinter's bow. Like, the, uh, the whole, like, hex pattern that it's got on it, like the honeycomb pattern. Just so beautiful. Yeah, I saw that Mel got another great one. Mel's been doing good with the great ones. I was chatting with her recently about it. It's nice to see that she's uh, got the luck turnaround. Especially after that first moose grind. Oh lordy, that was bad. That first moose grind was rough to watch. And then I got to experience it with my first bear grind. <laughs> Any great ones yet? None today. We're at 127 kills in this grind. No great one yet. Hey Ashton, how's it going? Uh, there is no known max score on Fallow Deer. Nobody knows. It's too early. They just recently got a bunch of changes with their antlers, so nobody really knows for sure. It is uh, good to also note that because they have true Rex, there's not a true max score. It's just like the highest we've seen them go. Like when you get to a certain point, it's unlikely they'll be any bigger than that, but 
it's still technically a possibility they could be. Oof. Love to see it. Chocolate level five. How many 270 fallow do you have? Just one, man. I've only seen one this whole time. Let me see how many diamonds I have for the fallow. So for fallow deer, we are at 230 diamonds and only one of them was a 270. That's kind of crazy to think about, man. Like that is wild. They are so rare. Two fifty six. Beautiful. Um, in my opinion, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to the game, Victor. You know, some people like to say that herd management ruined the game, but if we're going to be honest and if we're going to be real about it, the modding community kind of ruined Call of the Wild in terms of like integrity and just being able to trust people when they post a good trophy. If mods were never designed for Call of the Wild, we wouldn't even have to question people. But because they're a thing, we have to question people whenever they post like a bunch of insane trophies. The unfortunate thing, and I think, in my opinion, mods were the worst thing that ever happened to Call of the Wild. Because it just eroded trust throughout the community. That may be the case, Kaylee, but it doesn't mean that I that I like that, you know. Now it would be a different story if like if the game had like mod support and like a Steam Workshop and things. If that was a thing, that'd be fine, but not a thing, so it's like, yeah. Not really an intended thing. Uh, I'd say it's likely it does for at least some species, uh, JJ. In my experience, like, I've noticed that animals that go to level 5, in terms of, like, Great One species, right? The Great One species that go to level 5 seem to give Great Ones much faster with HM. But if it's something that goes to level 9, like bears or red deer, it doesn't seem like they get affected at all. Or if they do, it's very minimal. And then whitetails seem to be kind of in the middle where like sometimes it feels like it affects them and other times it feels like they don't have any effect on them or that it doesn't have any effect on them. That's my take on it. I think it affects some more than others and there's some where it probably doesn't even affect them like the red deer and bear. Only problem with the bear is we don't have a very large amount of bear grinds to go off of. Not a lot of people grind bear so it's really hard to tell. Also, another thing I gotta add to the whole, like, modding conversation, right? I wouldn't have a problem with people using mods for the game if it was cosmetic stuff, like, just, like, adding a new gun to the game or changing the skin of a gun. But the fact that it modifies the actual, like, animal populations, that's the type of thing I have a problem with. Because then it makes people think that content creators are cheating and stuff, and it makes anybody that grinds look like a cheater because people are like, oh, they probably just mod because those things are a possibility, right? So, yeah, those are the ones I have a problem with, like a major problem with. We gotta reset the time. Like if they didn't have stuff that like made better animals spawn, I wouldn't have as big of a problem with them. But because they, they do have those, I have a major problem with it. Is that the one we leave? Oh, wait, no, that is. These are both boopable. They're boopable. There we go. Look at those boop emotes. Those were some boopable deer. Hey, Pike, how's it going, dude? Is HM supposed to work at 70 kills? No, that's way too early. You're not going to get HM fully working at, at 70 kills. It usually takes hundreds, maybe even thousands at times, depending on the species and how lucky you get with them actually respawning as lower levels.
Uh, what species, bear hunter? By the name, I'm assuming bears. Now, the thing is, like, what do you mean by, like, is it working? Are you talking about, like, you're seeing more diamonds than normal? Or are you talking about you're seeing a diamond every 20 kills? Because when I say, like, it's working, I'm talking about, like, your HM is actually, like, pretty much fully activated, right? And you're getting a diamond every, like, 20 to 30 kills. That would That's what I would consider to be, like, HM, like, really taking effect. If it's like a diamond every 50 or 60 kills, I wouldn't necessarily say that HM is kicking in fully. That's like it's halfway there type of kill counts. I don't know what yours is, but that's just my like uh, description of it. Unfortunate Kraken. That's the worst, man. What well, skills and perks are the best to have? I'll let you... Uh, Take a look at each of them. I'm not going to stick on them for too long because we're grinding, but you can at least like pause and look at it if you want. This is what I use. There we go. Diamond every 25 kills. I mean, I guess you could have got lucky with like low levels popping up really fast. Or you could be on a good streak. You do go through streaks here and there that are, like, spawning more good levels than on, like, the uh, times when you're not on a good streak. So that's possible. But, yeah, I guess it could have kicked in if you got really lucky with the respawns. Of course, they don't want to be here. Feels bad. Um, I'm on Tiawaroa, Blonde Bunny, or Blonde Bunny. What have I got so far? Uh, nothing too crazy aside from a few diamonds. That's actually the biggest diamond of the day, though. Oh, it's a 50-50 rack, actually. So it'll be, like, tied for the biggest of the day. Beautiful. You and Rooster collab? Um, I'm open to collab with anybody. Like I've said before, nine times out of ten, I'm open to collab with anybody. It's just a matter of if the other person uh, wants to. 267, that's big for that rack. Holy... Beautiful. Like what? Five diamonds today already? Not bad. DD doesn't really do collabs anymore, Ty. I haven't seen him do a collab in ages. And I don't e I don't even know if he would want to collab with me because I'm a herd management content creator, right? So I don't know if he would. If he wanted to, I'd do it though. As always, I'm down to collab with anybody. Because I feel like some of the best content you can make is when you're just hunting around with friends or hunting around with other creators and just doing stuff that you normally wouldn't, you know? Yeah, it's always a possibility, HBE. Like I said, I'm willing to collab with anybody. What's my favorite gun? My favorite gun is the 308 AR. It is a powerhouse. Lots and lots of great one grinding, Alfredo. At this point, we have, let me see. We're approaching like 80,000 kills on Great One Grinds alone. In fact, I think we're over 80,000 now. So yeah, you can imagine you get a lot of money built up over that time. Especially with 20,000 of those being Red Deer. 
Red Deer are a gold mine. Would I collaborate with a very small content creator? It depends if I feel like I'd get along with them. The only problem, and th I'll tell you this right now. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of collaborations with like a big creator and a small creator. The biggest thing is like a smaller creator, you usually don't know them that well yet because they're still pretty early on in creating content. So you don't know like if in the future they're going to get into like some controversial stuff or if they're going to say stuff that you wouldn't want them to on stream. Like you do have to kind of know who you're collabing with. And that's the, the toughest part. Like I'd totally do it more if I could like if I could just read their minds and like see ahead in the future and know that they're not going to do anything like bad. That's the toughest part. I'd love to do more collaborations with smaller creators if I knew for a fact that I could know that they're a good person before doing it. When's the new collab with the secret guest? It should be very, very soon. I'm messaging back and forth uh, with them uh, recently, just trying to confirm a time, really. What about with a kid? No, I would not do a collaboration with anybody that's under 18 for obviously, like, you could probably tell the reasons, right? You see all these YouTubers nowadays that are getting into controversies because they hung out with their, like, young fans and stuff and, like, uh, had conversations with them or did videos with them. I am about to get myself in anything like that. Collab with me! <laughs> hey, I got you, Hollow. If you if you stay up a little bit later one of these days and like want to jump in, let me know. I would get up earlier, but like, you know, you know how it is. Aaliyah is crazy, so <laughs> it's tough to get up early. But if you want to stay up uh, like an hour or two later, we could probably do like a, uh, a collab stream soon if you'd like. It's been a while since we've got to play anyway. Ma'am? Why are you aquatic? Aaliyah's my daughter, Mary. <laughs> I would hollow, but I, like I said, I, I have trouble getting up early for anything. I wake up at like eight, eight thirty in the morning, get breakfast real quick. Then I go straight to editing videos. Uh, I edit for like an hour or two. Then I start uploading my video for the day. And while I'm uploading it, I make the thumbnail. And then once the thumbnail is done, I do all the tagging and titling and get everything set up on the video. Then it goes live, I read comments for like 30 minutes, and then I start streaming. I've got a pretty tight morning schedule. It's a little bit different on weekends though. Uh, or not necessarily just weekends, but on Saturday and... Wednesday, it's a little different. Saturday and Wednesday might be easier because those are just recording days. I don't have to worry about like getting ready for streaming. Hello. That one's dead. What is the next great one you want to see? Blacktail or an elk species or a mule deer? <laughs> yeah, <I'll laughs> Hey, you know, me me and Brobra and a couple others, you might have been in the chat the other day, actually. I can't remember all who was there, but we were talking about how I need to, like, get a piece of turf installed under my desk and just always be on, like, a piece of turf <laughs> and then have, like, a grass cam. <laughs> Uh, just be so good. Be so good. Be amazing. It was Nate? 
Was it Nate? It must, yeah, it probably was Nate. That sounds like a conversation Nate would be involved in for sure. Or a grass keyboard. Yeah, somebody said that I should uh, attach like pieces of grass to my WASD keys. So I'm always touching grass. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I'd do that. How many kills have we got today? Let me look. Oh gosh, I forgot to update my stat sheet. Oh no. How many diamond fallow did I get last stream? I think it was like three of them, right? Man, I messed up there. I forgot to update it. Feels bad, dude. Hold on, guys. Let me make this uh, next line of text in my uh, Great One stat sheet file. I got to update and add grind nine. I think we had three diamond fallow last stream and zero rares. And I think we started with like 80 bucks. Yeah, it was like 80, I think. Oh, did I? Oh, did you, Hollow? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Um, I would say biggest animal I could fight barehanded. I've seen some people go with some pretty crazy answers, right? They're like, yeah, I could fight a, I could fight a gator barehanded. And I'm like, I mean, <laughs> I get that they have a terrible turn radius, but are you sure? I don't know what I could fight barehanded. That's a two. New two. I don't need you there. Boom. I think, I think probably a deer. I think a deer because I can just get its antlers. I can just grab its antlers, right? And control its head with that and start twisting its neck around. I think I could probably fight a deer. Now the question is, you can still get impaled by deer though. I don't know. I don't know. I can fight a mosquito. Hey, yeah, that's something I can win a fight against. <laughs> Does it get boring? Not really, Mary. That's why we kind of go back and forth between lots of grinds, right? To keep the interest. If I grinded, like, only one animal for the rest of my life, I'd get bored, but we're always switching it up. Not sure, Drippy. Not sure, man. What rack am I going for? Preferably typical rack or blade rack. I'd like to get more typical racks, though, because I've only got one of them and they look so freaking good. I hit the dough. Oh, no. I hit the dough. No. <laughs> We gotta go grab that one and then uh, back out so she doesn't die. Super rare Rex grind. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good grind too, right there. Ow, bro, why are you pushing me? That's so rude, dude. That's a diamond as well. Boom. Add that to the diamond uh, thing. Oh, I backed out instead of claiming it. There we go. By the way, guys, second channel is going to be getting an arc playthrough soon. And it's going to be a banger, man. It's going to be a banger. We got a really cool map that we're playing on. Um, and it's not going to just be me in the series uh, either. First episode is going to be just me. But in future episodes, we're going to have uh, people like Chip and uh, probably Brobra as well. I know Caitlin's going to jump on at some point, I think. Um, Nate's probably going to jump on. So... And then uh, if my wife gets time to play, she'll probably jump on. So it's going to be a cool little series. I'll probably make it a series of like funny and epic moments from our journey on the server. 
Because I don't want to do like the same thing that everybody else does in terms of art content creators. Like uh, most people do like, they'll do like solo videos of them just like uh, grinding out specific things. I kind of want to do like a funny moments type of thing and like notable moments. So I'm hoping that that'll uh, be something that you guys will be interested in. Do I use 9mm at all? Like in real life? I've got a 9mm handgun. Just one of them though. Hi later, Hollow. Thank you for dropping in. Good to see you as always. Thank you, A-Rod. I appreciate that, man. What do you think about Hunter Call of the Wild adding a China map? Hundreds of animals to hunt in only part of the world, not in Call of the Wild. I'd like that. I'm not sure if they would. I think there's uh, specific hunting regulations over there. In fact, it might be completely outlawed. I'm not sure. I don't think they allow hunting in China. And if they do, you probably need special permits and stuff, so I don't know if they would do it. Oh, you're talking about the 10 millimeter handgun. Yeah, I use it. I use it a decent bit, actually. Pretty big fan of it. Could I play Rainbow Six on the second channel? I'm not really interested in Rainbow Six anymore. I used to play it, but Kind of lost interest in it over time. Now I'll probably end up doing some uh, Counter-Strike on the second channel whenever CS2 fully releases. So on a northern or eastern India type map, maybe I've been reading too much in Corbett or some or Kenneth Anderson. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't I don't know if India can be hunted much either. I'm trying to remember. It would be cool though. Still haven't got my great one whitetail and have 3.5 thousand kills. That's rough, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. Hopefully the luck will turn around soon. Ain't nothing there. Feels bad. Unfortunate. Ma'am? Um. Yeah, right. You get out of here. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild. <laughs> she just hopped on in the blind. I don't believe so, uh, Chip Ninja. I, I almost called you Ninja again. It's Chip Ninja. Or Chip for short. I noticed I've been doing that a lot recently. I've been using, like, the second half of people's names more than the first half. I don't know why I suddenly started doing that. But yeah, Hollow said that it's it's just like a full on 1v1. You don't get like any advantages over it. It's not like tied up or anything. You just got to go hand to hand combat with the animal. Which is why I was like, ah, deer is probably the upper limit. I've been called worse. <laughs> Haven't we all, man? Haven't we all? Raise your hand if you think Crow should have to fish Burbot with me as a punishment. No, 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 I'm not fishing Burbot, dude. No. I'll fish for most other things, but no Burbot, no, no bullhead catfish. Think I could KO a doe, but a buck isn't going to happen. 
I see, I was thinking the other way around, Chip. I was thinking, like, with a buck, you can grab their antlers and just start twisting their neck around. At least that's what I would go for. If I've got a if I've got a buck charging me, I'm gonna try and find a way to dodge its charge, right? And then grab its antlers. If I can get control of the antlers, I have control of its head, you know? I just gotta hope that that deer doesn't have a strong neck. Oh no, Lep. <laughs> Feels bad, man. It happens, though. What is my dream trophy in Call of the Wild? Let me think. Probably a typical rack, fabled, piebald, whitetail great one. That would be my dream. Like, that is just crazy. Judo flip them by grabbing the antlers. Yes. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. I don't know, anonymous, you or anonymous. You can ask my uh, wife and daughter. I'm sure they'd have your answer. Nothing there? You'd fight a bull? Oh, man. See, that can get pretty hairy as well. Look at that. Big ol' four. Some of these fours trick me into thinking they're much larger than they actually are. There we go. If a moose charged you, you're done for. He would stomp all over you. Oh yeah, I'm not winning against a moose. No way. Moose would absolutely crush me. There's no winning that. If you make a moose mad and it corners you, you have nowhere to run. Goodbye. It's all over. Unless you somehow, like, serenade it into liking you, you know? <laughs> uh... Nice ender. <laughs> Got a four red there. Beautiful. Just put me Joe Berries in the last item slot. Oh my gosh, the arc. The arc jokes are real. You're right. That is how you uh, quell the fury of a moose. You uh, you give it some berries. You're like, hey, man, I know you're trying to kill me, but I got some nice berries. Maybe if you eat these, you'll want me to put a saddle on you and ride you into the sunset instead. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine? Let's go ahead and change up the track colors. Let's Let's switch it up a little bit. You know what? Let's actually do, do the blue there. And go lime green for the others. Okay. Oh, actually, that does not show up good at all. Change of plans. Yeah, it's much better. Love to see it. Do you think that I could bare hand beat a great one? I don't know. It depends on the great one. If it's a great one, fallow deer, probably. Uh, because, Lemons, I, I want to get a couple more typical racks. And I also want to get a couple more mochas that have different antler variations. And also, I just really like the fallow deer. Like, I, I enjoy hunting the fallow deer more than most other great ones. No, I could never 1v1 
a great one, Red Deer. I would lose. Like, uh, that. <laughs> have you seen the size of a Red Deer and the size of those antlers? Yeah, there's no way I'd win that fight. Like, it's just not possible. I'd have to get very lucky. Because we're talking 1v1, no weapons or anything. It's just bare hand combat. Great one, Red Deer. Angry Great One Red Deer wins every time. No, I couldn't beat a moose either. And I definitely couldn't beat a Great One Black Bear. Whitetail and Fallow, I probably could. Provided I am smart with how I play it, you know. I'd have to maneuver them, maneuver around them properly. The antlers are razor sharp, so the antler grabbing methods out of the window. For which one? For fallow deer or for whitetail? Whitetail, I could totally grab the antlers. Because they wouldn't be razor sharp. Oh, red deer you're talking about. Yeah. Well, I feel like the red deer is big enough anyway that that would just not work. Like, it, it would be able to overpower me so easily. I'd get ripped up. Well, not if you make them mad, Strife. If if you're attacking a black bear, it's not going to just run away. Like, if you've got it cornered, right, and you're wrestling with it, that black bear, you best believe it's going to fight you. We're talking like you're fighting it 1v1. Like, it's one, it want to kill you. Or it, it wants to kill you. You're trying to kill it. That's the type of scenario we're talking yeah, you, you could not beat a, uh, a black bear in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because we're also talking, like, no weapons. Like, you can't even pick up a rock and hit it with it. You're just fighting it with your bare hands. Yeah, I don't think that would happen. Should you leave your level 5 fallow on your map while grinding? That is a question that gets miss interpreted so often um only one circumstance do you want to leave diamonds on the map and that's when you are trying to manage the rest of the herds down to level twos so if you're doing a fallow deer great one grind right you want to leave level fives only in your favorite zones the zones that you plan to grind for the rest of your grind so like this zone right here is a main zone for me so early on, I would stack fives in this one. I'd stack them in any of the zones I plan to be hunting full time. And then what you do from then on, once you've stacked all those fives into your main zones, is you're going to go around to all the other zones that you don't like. And you're going to go ahead and shoot all of those down until they're all level twos or small threes. Then once the rest of your map is down to twos or small threes, you want to go back and shoot all those fives. That is the only purpose that stacking diamonds has. It's to get the rest of it shot down. Twos and small threes are what you want to get the rest of your map to be. And then obviously if you get a one, keep that. But I haven't got a single level one to spawn. So it's going to be less common that you'll see those. What's your guess on when I'll get my great one white tail? I'm going to say 4,300. Would you fight a gator for 200k? No, because I, I wouldn't get to spend that money because I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd die. So no. You got you to pick your fights, you know. You got to be smart about how you pick your fights. I ain't surviving to see that 200,000 if they're paying me to fight a gator. Hey, JC, how's it going, man? I, I'd say you made it just in time, dude. We haven't got a great one yet, so I'd say you're on time.
There we go. That is seven diamonds on the day. What are five great ones that I want to see next and why? Um, Mule Deer, Blacktail Deer, Rocky Elk, Roosevelt Elk, and Cape Buffalo. That's my top five. Cape Buffalo because I feel like it would be the most insane great one ever created and it would be the first great one on Verhonga. Mule Deer because non-typical Mule Deer are some of the craziest looking non-typicals like ever. Blacktail because I feel like the current Blacktail antlers just don't look good. They're not realistic and they can become so much nicer and larger as well. So I'd like to see an actually decent looking Blacktail deer. And then elk is pretty self-explanatory. Elk get massive. Non-typical elk look insane. Even like some of the most giant typicals look better than what we've got currently for elk. So I would just be, oof, oh my gosh. For me, it's primarily about how crazy they'd look. I want a crazy and beautiful looking great one. Great one, Water Buffalo could be cool. And hear me out. Great one, Bantang. I know that may not be the most popular choice for like a great one from Emerald Coast, but great one, Bantang would actually be pretty wild. And so would a, a great one, Crocodile. Or a great one, Kangaroo. There we go. Booped him real good. Yeah, great one croc would be crazy. And could you imagine the crazy um like scale types they could give it? It would just be insane. Oh my gosh, it's a wonky four. I thought that was a big old typical rack for a second. Because that antler on its uh Oh, look at how wonky that is. Yeah, it looked different from a distance. I thought that was something crazy. <laughs> Sheesh, man. I thought that was wild. How many kills am I at currently? 173. We're doing pretty decent, honestly. We're making good time today. Um, I don't know if I'd like that lemons just because I don't think it'd be realistic. Like, uh, the great ones are already, like, at the very, like, max of what you would expect an animal like that to reach in real life. Like, the great one whitetail, its biggest rack is something that's really only achievable through, like, a farm-raised deer. So I don't know if they could make them three times bigger than what they are currently. Uh, yes, yeah, so old. that's my most wanted species for Call of the Wild. Here, David's Deer is my number one most wanted species. I'd take it over elephants even, man. Just, I think it'd be so cool. They just look so unique and amazing. <laughs> we got him. That uh, took longer than I was hoping, but we got them all. Do you think they would add elephants? Maybe. Maybe. I hope. I hope we eventually get them. I couldn't see it being anytime soon, though. I just feel like that would take so much work. They would have to add a new lodge in first to even fit them, right? Because they would be so massive. I've thought about that, uh, Joseph, but that just seems like it would be a very tall task.
And I'd have to get like an entire Red Deer grind set up then. Wow, Chip. <laughs> what a... Oh, uh, what a pun. That was... Wow. That was a... <laughs> That was a stretch. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's that's wild. That's a wild pun. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what if they added zebras to Verhonga? That would be my dream come true. If they're going to add anything to Verhonga, zebras would be like the best. Or leopards. I'd love leopards. But of like animals that are not a part of the big five, zebras is definitely like my top wanted one. Oh my gosh, we finally got him. That was almost bad. That was almost bad. You definitely are, Chip. You definitely are. I could make it. That could be a decent one, but it's probably not. Great one, Lion. Thoughts? I think it'd be cool. It's not like top five for me, but it wouldn't be a bad one. It'd be okay. I wouldn't mind it. Ah, yeah, didn't make it. Kind of figured, but it is what it is. It is what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, Chip. Hungry hippos that eat marbles. Uh, oh, man. What if they added Bigfoot to Medved? Hey, there's a thought. That'd be kind of wild. Why do I only have one male here now, huh? Where'd the other one go? Trying to think of what zone has more than normal. That'd be insane, Johnny. That'd be absolutely absurd. Feels bad fishing and farming. I want an elephant versus stubble quail multi mount. <laughs> and it's just like a stubble quail underneath the foot of an elephant about to get crushed. <laughs> oh, that'd be a great multi mount. That'd be amazing. Uh, not sure, Lemons. Not sure. We all want a great one mule? Oh, definitely. I think most people would be fine with a great one muley. Definitely one of my top five. Have I got my favorite combo yet? I did. Our uh, last great one fallow is my favorite combo, actually. It's uh, on the channel already. It was a video I posted a few days ago. Took us eight great one fallow deer to get my favorite combo. Now we're kind of just trying to get a couple more typical racks and a couple more fabled mocha fur types. With uh, any combo, you know. There we go. There 
There we go. 216. Oh, hey, you're looking solid. Potentially a five. Can I spot you, please? <laughs> it does not want to get spotted. Okay, it's a four. You guys didn't see that. I didn't miss those shots, I promise. Or those, or that one. I got that one though. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. You guys saw the last two, but you didn't see any of the others. Promise me. <laughs> the others didn't happen. One more to claim. First try. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how that went. That was first try. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was saying as well, RDR. I am 100% convinced that the zones you're grinding matter in a Great One grind. I really do feel like Great Ones spawn more in specific zones on your map. And as for like what is chose as those zones, it's hard to say. But I definitely noticed that with Whitetail. And I've noticed it with Fallow as well. There's always a couple zones that spawn more than others for me. Like on uh, Leighton Lakes, it's like the Runaki area. Runaki Lake spawns more Great One Whitetail than any other spot on the map. And then there's like two other locations that a bunch of my Great Ones have shown up at. Got all my 13 diamond fallow at one spot. Hey, see, that's exactly what I'm saying, man. I feel like certain zones are weighted more towards giving you good trophies. I've definitely noticed this to be the case. Like the zones where I get most of my like diamonds and stuff like that to spawn usually are the ones where I get more uh, great ones to spawn as well. Definitely feel like there's something to that. So definitely recommend anybody grinding. Pay attention to which zones give you the most trophies and then like make those your main ones and see if you get the same type of uh, results as me. Definitely interesting. Uh, yeah, Ryan, those are rare. It's <laughs> just a great dip. Not a map. <laughs> ah, feels bad, man. Hey, he's going down. What map do you grind, Whitetail, for the great one? I grind Leighton Lakes. Leighton has been, like, one of the... Most consistent whitetail maps for me. A lot of people like Rev more, but I've always preferred Leighton. Rancho used to be a top one for me, but then they kind of butchered it with the redistribution. Why not Rev? I just prefer Leighton. Less uh, ground to search to find all your zones. There's more brush, but you don't have to spend as much time trying to find all of the different zones. Hey, Nate, how's it going? How's it going, sir? Hope you're doing good. Hey, Chris, how about you uh, go put 
five plus hours into Call of the Wild every day for three years and use herd management and tell me uh, what your numbers are looking like then. KG said he would play with you. When? Because I, I sent him an email a while back and I don't think he saw it. <laughs> hey, I'm just being real, Nate. I'm just being real. Just shot an albino gold fallow deer. Nice, Damon. That's awesome, dude. EJF, how's it going, man? How's it going? Hey, that's a decent one. Uh, yeah, Alison, I remember you. Hey, beautiful. Well, what was your kill count, Chris? What's your kill count? Because if you're hunting five hours a day and you kill five deer in those five hours, it's obviously not going to compare to somebody who's putting in five hours a day and getting 80 kills an hour. That's just simple math. That should be like immediately known. Wouldn't even think you'd have to think about it. Because if you put in five plus hours every day for three years, like you just claimed you did, you'd have over 80,000 kills. Because that's what I was able to do. With putting in five to ten hours a day. Over 80,000 kills over the last, like, what, year and a half, actually? I think we've only been doing hardcore Great One grinding for, like, a year and a half. And I put in over 80,000 kills. Not possible you did five hours a day for three years and don't have a Great One. Not possible. The most casual players in the world could put in five hours a day and have a great one in just a few months. There we go. Beautiful. I five great ones I put in fewer hours a day. Hey, there you go. And three of yours are bears too, Caitlin. Three of your great ones are bears. Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it either, Will. It's totally not like I've been on the developer's live stream before and they've promoted my content and they wouldn't be doing that if I cheated, that's for sure. That would be a very bad look for them if they promoted a cheater. That alone should shut everybody up, but there's always a few people that are still going to think that just because they can't fathom that somebody could possibly get that many trophies. It's almost like I, I do this for a living right now. Crazy, right? When you put in all of your uh, working hours into a video game. It's almost like that gets you some stuff. It's almost like you get some trophies when you put in a lot of time. It's almost like you gain knowledge on how to play the game to its most efficient state possible. But there's always going to be a couple people here and there that just still can't understand that. And the only way that they can justify somebody getting so much more than they've got is that they must be cheating, right? Hey, I'll be honest, you know, back in the days of playing Counter-Strike, I used to use that excuse on anybody that was demolishing me. It's like, oh, well, he's obviously cheating because he I can't get a kill on him. He, he must be cheating. Just the way it is. 
People use it to cope. We've all done it in a game before. We've all used it to cope. Because sometimes it's just, you know, any excuse to not make yourself feel like you're not doing well. Do you have a favorite super air that you have? Uh, let's see. Hmm, probably one of the diamond albino fallows. Just because diamond albino fallow was like my dream going into this grind. And also another thing that's quite telling on somebody that's actually cheating, right? People that are actually cheating don't usually have the movement down in the game. Like you can tell just by how quick I do all my motions, how quick I aim, how quick I shoot, how quick I do like uh, menu checks to see if I've got hunting pressure, how quick I fast travel. You can tell that I've done this a million times. Not that difficult to tell. <laughs> You just look at my videos from three years ago and you can see a massive difference in my movement since then. Come on. There we go. Oh, super rares are always more exciting, Victor. Super rares are incredibly rare compared to a great one. Like, absurdly rare. Heard about something called a hunting lodge? What even is a hunting lodge? Like in Call of the Wild? If you're talking about in Call of the Wild, the hunting lodge is where you can display your trophies. You can click taxidermize on an animal and then you can put it up in your lodge. Bro, I was thinking this is COD with movement. Hey, sometimes, you know. You can get good movement in any game. It doesn't matter what you're playing. If you've played the game for a long time, you're likely going to, like, move around the map different than other people. That's just normal. I mean, you look at how I buy premiums moves around his map. He's got that stuff down even more than I do. Oh, you're talking about the expansive world streams called the Hunting Lodge. Got you. What's the difference between the hunting lodge and the trophy lodge? Okay, um, they'd be the same thing. But if Johnny's, if uh, Johnny's correct and you're talking about like expansive worlds live stream, they call it the hunting lodge. True, Caden, and also when you get the combo you want, that's very exciting as well. Um, I've also found that if you get a very fast rate one, that is really exciting as well because you don't expect it to happen that quickly. Uh, so yeah, I'd say there's four scenarios where a great one is just as exciting as a super rare. Your first one, your first of a species, uh, when you finally get your favorite combo of rack and fur, and when you have a really quick grind that you just didn't expect to end that quickly. Those are always like the most exciting types of great ones. Nothing will ever top my first bear for me though. Getting that Great One Bear was the most exciting thing I've ever experienced in Call of the Wild. Over any super rare or anything, because it took me so long to achieve it. Over a year of grinding and 8,300 kills leading up to that moment, it was just... It was something else, man. I still can't believe it. PP2K, thank you for the Super Crow membership. Actually, that's a membership upgrade, so thank you for upgrading, dude. Much appreciated. And we've got Kenneth with the three months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Hope you're doing amazing. It's crazy to watch the great one. I know, right? That was just insane. My gosh, why are you traveling? It's only 12, bro. Hey, I actually, I got to make sure that's not a different herd. 
What herd are they from? Let's reset time again. Get them moving around. Hopefully back into that zone. Nope, they're going to be stubborn. All right, we'll just go over here then. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I got cut off because I started uh started answering questions in chat. But yeah, like the difference, the massive difference between somebody who actually has spent in spent the time to learn the game and played it a lot, and somebody who has just like cheated in all their trophies is people that cheat in all their trophies, they're gonna move a lot slower. Their aim isn't gonna be as good, and they likely will not be moving around the map as quickly. So it's very easy to tell when somebody just cheats in all their trophies. Because typically the rest of their gameplay is not going to be good. Like they're not going to be super skilled or knowledgeable with other things. And if you ask somebody, if you go to somebody who's actually put in thousands and thousands of hours and has done like everything you can think of in the game, you immediately see like a difference in movement. You see a difference in just like the way that they can answer any question and have like an answer for it the amount of knowledge that they will be able to bring to you anytime that you watch them you can easily tell when somebody actually is knowledgeable and good at the game and when somebody is just cheating there rant over your great one disappeared from your lodge oh no dude oh that is the worst I'm sorry to hear that man I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> he definitely doesn't have a gunning classic, I know, right? I am so excited to show off that uh, weapon skin to you guys as well. We showed it off earlier in the stream, but like showing the actual video of using it in game, I'm so excited. How do I become one with the red deer? In your case, how do you become one with the fallow? Oh, you're talking to Caitlyn, gotcha. I don't know though, A-Rod, you just, just become one. That's uh, that's all you gotta do, just become one. You go out to hunt and you're like, I am the red deer. And then boom, there's your great one red deer. He's on your doorstep. I know, right, Louisiana crazy, right? Sheesh. I don't even know if a handgun skin was an option to us, uh, Johnny. They gave us a list of guns that we could have with our skin, right? And, like, some items as well. Um, I think Ibai is the only person that didn't do a gun. If you look in the story, he did a Jeep. Which is honestly kind of cool. It's a nice-looking Jeep skin. It's got, like, a bunch of his emotes and stuff on it. Pretty sick. <laughs> yes, Terry. Yes. Amazing. Why can't I find any animals in Classic? Uh, because animals are not as common in Classic as they are in Call of the Wild. Animals are meant to be like few and far between. You're likely only going to kill like maybe 10, 15 animals in a couple hour session. And you gotta be quiet in classic, like you gotta walk the whole time, don't sprint at all unless you've already shot your rifle and everything has spooked off from that. Because animals will hear, hear you very easily in classic. So I recommend just walking around with your hunter made out. When you hear a call from an animal, pick up the call and then start crouch walking in that direction. That is like the most I guess like a uh, foolproof way of playing, especially if you're new to classic. You gotta be very quiet when uh, approaching an animal, which is why most people will just walk until they hear a call and then start crouch walking in that direction. And then if you have a caller on you for the species, start calling in as you're crouch walking. Classic's a tough game in comparison to Call of the Wild. What do you do when a zone is all female? Still shoot them? For example, moose grind? Uh, there's a couple things you can do. Either you can shoot a couple of the females, or you can just abandon that zone forever. 
Uh, the downside to shooting them is they could create a brand new zone somewhere else with a male or two. And then you'd have to go find it. Um, downside to leaving it is I've noticed sometimes your males start acting weird if you only shoot males. Moose are a tough one, man. Moose are a tough one. You're saying classic's way more realistic? Oh, yeah, hands down. It's it's way, way more realistic than Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild is a more popular game because it's not as hardcore and realistic. It's a game that you can play, like, casually, or you can do hardcore grinding, or you can really play whatever way you want. Classic, you're kind of forced to play realistically. You're forced to play more slow-paced, and, uh, like, all the trophies and stuff are way more rare in the Hunter Classic. So, yeah, it's a way more realistic game than Call of the Wild. Maybe not visually, but, uh, in the actual gameplay style, yes. Um, where's the solo? Is that the solo? I don't think that's the solo. One twenty nine to one seventy. Okay, remember that number. One twenty nine to one seventy. Yeah, it definitely will be a little bit difficult, Mike. But I believe in you, man. Uh, moose were one of the tougher ones for me as well. Come on, show up. Wasting my money. That's the one we need to bop. Reloading might help. <laughs> Boom. There we go. I might at some point, Nate. I've played it off stream, but never played it on stream before. Okay, that is when we need to shoot. How do those miss? Man, those running shots are tough sometimes. Feels bad. Oh well. Um, not today, Will. Not today. I'm going to have an ARC video going up on the second channel within the next few days, though. Not sure the exact day, but I will have a video up on there. At some point. I don't know when the next second channel stream will be. Robert and I were talking about it yesterday. We want to get back into, like, Sea of Thieves, but... Hard to find a, a time with also balancing Call of the Wild and Angler content and things like that. Okay, he died. We're good. He died. We're 209 kills, by the way. Nice. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'm pretty proud of that skin. I'm, I'm glad that they actually made it pretty much exactly how I had dreamed it would be. Like, it's identical to what I wanted. Oh my gosh, it's Zacky. How's it going, man? You still having trouble with the fallow? Rough, dude. Rough, man. Oh, no worries, Nate. No worries, man. Hope you have a good day. You just can't get a super rare fallow? I hope you get one soon, Johnny. You've had a lot of great ones popping up. Some pretty nice looking great ones as well. Are dilute mule deer rare? Yes, they are rare. They are indeed a rare. 
They used to be an uncommon, but then with an update, they made them rares. Um, it, it's hard to say, Mary. I get a lot of comments each day, so I don't remember most of them. If I didn't respond to it, though, then I probably didn't see it. Either I didn't see it or I was doing like a stream or something when it popped up. You said it was yesterday, right? Yesterday was a recording day, so I was probably recording videos when you uh, commented it. If I didn't respond, at least. I try to respond to at least like the first 30 minutes worth of comments that pop up. And then if I see one pop up throughout the day, I'll usually respond to it as well. But I definitely miss some of them. Is Way of the Hunter worth it? If you like a slow-paced, realistic hunting game, yes, it's worth it. Uh, if you like something more fast-paced like Call of the Wild, then, then I'd say it's probably not worth it to you. But if you like realism, then it's a great game. It definitely makes you feel like you're out for a real hunt. Hey, that's huge. That's pretty huge right there. Big boy. That's the first like full big rack we've had today. Love to see it. Let's see if the other herd will show up. Thank you, bro, bro. Also, guys, if you enjoy the first to a diamond challenge video today with Brobra, we got a second one coming out tomorrow. We finished that one so quick that we were like, you know, we got time for another. So you guys get two days in a row, 60 minute trophy challenge or not 60 minute trophy challenge. First to a diamond challenge. It's going to be good. Got him. Holy chip. Wait, you hit it twice. You hit the like button twice. Twi uh, Twitch? Twitch? No. Chip. I can't speak today. <laughs> you hit the like button twice, Chip? That would unlike it. You've been caught, man. Oh, 268. Dude, that's a 268 chocolate. That's huge. That's my biggest chocolate, I think. Wow. Well. I know what I'm doing. YouTube short called the big old chocolate diamond or something like that. That's crazy. That is the biggest chocolate I've ever got. We're taxing him. So that busted three times. See there, that's better. That's better. Hit the like button three times so it likes, unlikes, then likes again. See, that's the, that's the way you hit a like button. You got to really show what you mean business. Yeah, that's a nice looking dime right there. It's been a while since we've had a taxable level five fallow. That was definitely one of them though. That was a beauty. Oh yeah, RDR, I do, uh, I get YouTube shorts from our streams quite often. Any type of moment that's notable, I'll usually make into a short or at least save the footage for a potential short in the future. Where's... Huh? Oh, there he is. I'm blind. There's the little feller. Adorable. If you hit it too fast three times, then it unlikes. Well, I guess you gotta watch it really closely then. Holy A-Rod going, going overkill. <laughs> also, how's it going, Cooper? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing very good. Look at that. How do I hit this? Oh, just like that. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Sheesh. How far is the crossbow effective? I believe the dots on the, the scope reticle 
if you zero into 50, I believe it's 50, 70, 90, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, actually. Think that's what it is, though? You're able to zero to 50 on the crossbow, right? Oh, I think I forgot to add that last one to the diamond counter. I definitely did. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now it's added on. Thirty-three times, Johnny. <laughs> Overkill, man. It's sixty now. Twenty, forty, sixty. Okay, I was gonna say I don't think it used to be sixty. Because it used to be that it was like 50 and then the next dot was 70 then the dot below that was 90 or something like that. That's wild. In that case, I don't know where you would need to aim. With uh, for different distances right now. Crazy. Crazy, man. You have the diamond counter because the codex is messed up? Yes, exactly. It's because uh, keeping track of it that way is going to be more accurate than the Codex since the Codex is so borked and broken from updates throughout the years. And also because if I mess up a diamond, it's not going to count as a diamond in the Codex, but it's still technically a diamond, right? It still scores over diamonds, so those get added to the diamond counter as well on the stream. And it's just easier because then it's visible to everybody. Uh, yeah, Tyler, I'd say they are. I like them a lot. It's one of those things where, like, it's convenient because you can just see the distance without having to check your map or anything, but it's not necessity, if that makes sense. Like, you can spot something and then open the map and then check right here and it'll tell you the distance in the bottom right, but it's more convenient just to look at it through the binoculars. It depends on what you uh, value more. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, a 100-meter crossbow shot is not, like, an easy shot. You can ask uh, CJO. He tried it. <laughs> he tried it on a great one. <laughs> he tried the 100-meter crossbow shot on the great one. He almost nailed it, too. It just barely missed. He almost got it. It was honestly kind of impressive to watch how close he got. <laughs> Which one is Spielfin, Johnny? I forgot. Which legendary fish is that? Is that the salmon? Is that the salmon? That might be the salmon. It is the Atlantic salmon? Oh my gosh, that's like the toughest one in the game. Aside from maybe the lake trout. I might have to go for that at some point soon. That'd be a crazy angler video. <laughs> That'd be a really crazy angler video. Going for the legendary Atlantic salmon. Will it break my tackle? Probably. <laughs> yeah, Chip. Seems about right, man. Confusion is always high here. Ah, you. How did you get away from that? That was a little bit of a ninja move, you know? Just dodging and weaving. PP2K, thank you for the super chat. What helps with the whitetail grind? I mean, a lot of things help with the whitetail grind. What uh, what specifically are you wanting to know? Like, I need a little more clarification on the exact thing you want to know about. Hey, little guy. Got a small male there. There we go. How many great ones have I killed? Zero today, 47 in total. 
Like what to shoot and what not to shoot with HM. Okay, so for Whitetail, you want to only shoot the level twos. Um, and then leave all level ones. And if you want to, you can stack the threes in your primary zones that you want to use as your main grinding zones. But yes, yeah, just leave the level ones. Whitetail is actually one of the most simple grinds in terms of like what levels to leave. What would I consider a small level 3 fallow? Um, if it scores like 145 or below, it's a, a small one in my book. Oh, and also one other thing I should clarify, uh, BP2K, is if you do decide to stack the threes in your main zones, you only stack them until you get the rest of your map managed. Then you kill off all those threes, and like the respawns from those will be like your your bucks that you rotate on for the rest of your grind until you get the great one to spawn. I see a lot of people that get confused with that part and they just leave the diamonds stacked on their map for like eternity. And that's not what you want to do for sure. You want to kill them off once you got your map managed down. So hopefully that helps. All right, no worries, Cooper. Yeah, you can leave a few level two fence racks, but I wouldn't leave a ton of them because they do score like 20 points higher than level one fence racks. Uh, yeah, Brendan, I don't have them there either. I had one zone for a while, then I deleted it and they've never come back there. You don't really get any up in uh, top Pukimaro and lower will only be right here I think yeah right here I think I have a couple solos there the rest are gonna be river uh, coastline these two lakes and these two lakes here <laughs> 23 diamond red deer and a go on the map at the same time don't grind like I did <laughs> yep chip feels bad man <laughs> feels bad what is the max score for fallow we don't know an exact max score the biggest I've seen that was like 271 I don't think I've seen anybody break 272 yet though, but it's still pretty early in this new scoring for Fallow Deer. So it's hard to say, somebody could get a 272 one of these days. That would be kind of crazy. Oh, I hope not, Zacky. That's not fun. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Yeah, it's pretty absurd, isn't it, Johnny? Like, Chip was just stacking them, like, up to the moon. I'm sorry to hear that, Austin. Hopefully you won't uh, mess up on the next one. And I mean, at the end of the day, it still looks the same in the lodge, man. It'll still look very impressive. Four right there. Could be a diamond four. We'll shoot it with the uh, 308. Just in case. 275 is the biggest posted yet. That was pre-update though. Pre-update doesn't count because they changed the scoring on them. They completely redid all of the antlers for Fallow Deer. So anything that was killed before Emerald Coast, I'm not counting those. Because, uh, yeah, they can't score that high anymore. Nowadays, if you get a 270, that is like a once-in-a-lifetime fallow. I think a 270 now is equivalent to a 275 back then. Okay, this other, uh, other herd doesn't want to show up. Feels bad.
I mean, the uh, price for it to sleep for you to sleep, uh, warrior, is based on how long it's been since you slept previously. So it's just a matter of uh, waiting for it to go down. That's what it's based on. They don't base it on like the amount of cash you have. Come on. Ah, stubborn fallow. They're being so stubborn, man. Oh, that's why I didn't main menu. Uh, I was wondering. Prop result. Probably. <laughs> Probably, man. I was wondering why those herds were being weird. It's because I didn't main menu. They were still all spooked off. Oh, back over here. Nice, Cruz. That's awesome, man. Congrats. How's it going, Kevin? Hope you're doing good. Hey! That's a four. Crazy. 230 kills. 150 of those have been today. No, 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 no. Why are you running? Not cool, bro. Down you go. What is the biggest four I've got for Fallow? I think it was like 254 or 256, something like that. Don't remember exactly, but it was around there. Spawn a fabled mocha typical wrap. Rack after a month of playing Call of the Wild, 1300 kill Fallow Grind. That is awesome, J6. That's a really crazy combo to get as well. Like, that is a super cool combo. Definitely one of my favorites. What's the biggest four that's been killed? I have no clue, to be honest. I feel like mine's got to be up there. What map am I playing on? This is Tiabaroa. A lot of people just call it New Zealand for short, though. Or I guess to make it a little bit easier to say. Saw someone get a 258, 259 level 4. That's crazy. What are the odds of that, you think? Probably, like, virtually nothing. Probably super low odds of that being a thing. Number one tip for the whitetail grind. Um, I mean, number one tip for any grind would be like... Try to find all your zones. Try not to delete zones. Keep track of how consistent your respawns come back. There's so many tips I could go over. Um, I would recommend checking out my whitetail grinding video. I've got a couple different guides relating to whitetail in the guides playlist. It's hard for me to think of like the tips on the spot for whitetail because I haven't been hunting them much recently. But those videos have like everything in them. Number one tip is use tripods. That is a good one too. That is a good one too. But you kind of have to find all your zones and stuff like that before like using try. You know. Both great tips though. That's not the number one tip? Hmm. Let me think. You know what? Actually, you might be right. I think the uh, main beam, the end of the main beam on the whitetail's antler, that's probably the uh, number one tip. That would probably be the number one tip for a whitetail deer. <laughs> I had to. It's a terrible pun, but I had to. 
<laughs> Sorry. Sorry, A-Rod. I had to, man. I had to. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you're not wrong? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, I'm not wrong, but it's just, it's kind of cringy because, you know, it's coming from me. So, of course it would be, right? Hey, Tattooed Gaming Chick, I hope you're doing good. First kit, first took 6.5 thousand kills and was a silver Irish rack. Ooh, that's a nice combo. Silver Irish rack looks amazing. It for me is kill animals. True, that's a good tip. You know, shoot whitetail is a good tip for a whitetail grind. I would also say a really good tip is make sure you have ammo in your rifle. Um, use a scope. That's a good tip. Don't hunt them with the 22 is another good tip. I mean, we could go on for days. We just got tips like crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to take like a 15 minute break or so. 15-20 minutes while I eat some dinner. And uh, yeah. Then we'll be back with some more grinding. So if you guys need to get up, go get a drink, grab something to snack on. We'll be back here in like 15 to 20 minutes.
What are you guys talking about? I said I'd be back in 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Y'all apparently didn't listen very good. I said 15 to 20 minutes. It turns out it takes time to eat food. Who would have thought? Uh, we need to change the time. We'll do it over here. Yeah, sounds about right, Johnny. <laughs> sounds about right. Curious if Brober's doing anything tonight. Have I got a super rare? Uh, not today, no. If you're talking like in my entire time playing, then yes, I have got some. Yeah, bro, I'd be down to jump in and chat and hunt around. Probably do like my uh, grind while chatting or something. Are you planning on uh, smoking any fallow deer today? There we go. Beautiful. 237. Oh yeah, Brober, you know it. Yeah, I'd be down to chat and uh, do our grinds and stuff. It'll be fun as always. No, that wasn't an albino. That was a uh, white fur type. I mean, there's nothing else I can really tell you to do to, to get it, uh, perk. Like, um, I mean, if you're already shooting a bunch of fours, you know, you're moving in the right direction. Um, maybe just don't shoot any twos or ones. Herd management is the best way to get diamonds, so just don't shoot the twos or the ones. And, uh... You eventually will get some diamonds to show up. Like, there's no way around it. You will get them if you're doing that. Biggest thing to keep in mind with it is that you're going to be having to move around your entire map and, like, hunting all of your zones. For Fallow, there should be, like, above 35 different drink zones. Uh, potentially, bro, bro. Potentially. I could do that. I already got tomorrow's video edited, so I got a little bit of extra time to, like, do stuff today. Because today's video ended so quickly, I was able to, like, have time to edit two videos this morning. So, yeah. I got a little bit of time to do some extra stuff tonight. Holy. We love to see it. Oh, yeah. I was honestly so shocked at how quick uh, today's first to a diamond challenge ended. It was actually insane. We've never had one end that quickly. Oh, dude, this is so... Why? Why do the tents do this, man? Why do they do this? It is what it is, but why do they do this? Productive crow. Oh yeah, I've been feeling super productive recently. Like yesterday, I recorded five videos, and uh, today I edited two of them, and I'm streaming. We're getting it all done. 
And I mean, yesterday I even recorded an ARC video in those five. Like, we got an ARC video for the second channel recorded. We got three Call of the Wild videos and a classic video recorded. Like, we're getting, getting all the goods going. True, Johnny. If we had started, that would have been the quickest one, but we hadn't started. Brober just had to get his crazy moment before the challenge had started. Feels bad to be a Brober, am I right? <laughs> All right, we got them both. Do you predict my great one moose? I'm going to say 1,250 kills. Got a 218 scoring troll. Ooh. Of what? Of what species? What species would that be where 218's a troll? I'm trying to think. Fallow? There's no way you got a 218 troll fallow. What level was it and what rack? Was it like a super squished rack or what? Got six diamonds in two days. Nice, dude. That's awesome. 218 level five fallow are a thing, sadly. Got two of them. Really? I've never seen that. Could you send me a picture of it, uh? Ender, if you've got a picture of it. Because I haven't seen one of those. I didn't think that was even possible. I've never seen them below like 236. That's crazy. Yeah, it's wild if that's a thing. I'd love to see one of those. I guess it would make sense. I mean, Whitetail... Whitetail can score in the 220s as a level 3. I'm assuming that uh, the Fallow Deer that score that low must just be really squished because they'd have to be for it to be like that. They'd have to be super squished. Because I don't think you can get a rack smaller. Like, I don't think you can get a frame that's smaller than the troll rack. I don't think it's actually possible for them to get something smaller than the uh, troll rack. Oh, definitely, Elmo. I'd love to see a huddle for every species. I don't know why we don't have a huddle for every species. It would just be insane. I, I guess I could imagine it's probably a tough thing to develop a huddle for every single species. That's a lot of poses to animate, or I guess model, or whatever. Yeah, true, Johnny. True. I didn't think about that. Yeah, he'll be live later. We'll probably be joining him and chatting with him when he does, when he does go live. Two hundred and fifty kills on the fallow grind. Can we get a three hundred kill grind, please? That'd be amazing. How many fallow do I think everybody's killed since the great one came out? Probably a lot, man. Uh, at least... Let's see. I mean, I've done like 6,000 alone. And there's a lot of people that have hunted fallow more steadily than me. 
I would ima I would estimate at least 700,000 Fallow have been killed since the Great One Fallow was released. Because I know of at least like 30 people that have grinded more than me. There's at least 30 people that have grinded more than me. And I've got over 5,000 kills. And I'm just talking people that are in like the discords uh, talking all the time and stuff and showing their trophies. And you know, that's going to equal over 100,000. Then you got all the other people combined. It's It's got to be over 700k. 100%. Possibly even a million. Because there's a lot of people that have been hunting the fallow since... Uh, and you got to count like the ones that aren't on grinds as well. Like some people are just shooting fallow deer on Emerald Coast. A lot of factors there. Lots and lots of factors. No, 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 don't you. Don't you do? <laughs> uh, well, feels bad. Um, potentially. Blake, probably not super often. Like, it's, it's always going to be like a... Backburner type of project. I might start doing like um, an angler video of the legendaries here and there. The whole like little mission ones, they were kind of a test to see if you guys enjoy them. Sadly, the little angler like mission fish, they didn't do very good. I think the most recent one was that Diamond Pike. It's only got like a thousand views over the course of like a week. Uh, to me, that's a sign that you guys didn't like it as much as the angler highlight video that I did. So I'm probably going to do the angler highlight videos primarily and then like chasing after legendaries. Because I, I have to justify like the time it takes to make the videos as well, right? There we go. Diamond Bear, let's go! Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats on your Diamond Bear. Nice, Johnny. Yeah, I definitely want to go for him. Definitely want to take him down. Uh, yeah, Mr. Call of the Wild. If you're doing herd management, you gotta shoot the uh, solos. If you're not doing herd management, you can ignore them. Any great ones today? Nothing today, man. Nothing today. Unfortunately. Gotcha, Zaki. That's one down. So we're killing about nine bucks a run. We ended up leaving a level 2 the other day. I'm curious. Maybe I should have continued shooting it. We'll see how much we can get. Per run. It could just be that a couple didn't respawn. I want to make sure we're getting at least 10 per run. That's 2 down this run. I'm going to keep track and see if we can pass 10. I want to be getting at least 10 per run. Because I feel like that's when my grind has been at its best. Is when I'm getting about 10 per run. Like 10 to 12. Yeah, with the way our luck's been, CS Muds, I would not be surprised if we get a Fallow within the next, like, 300 kills. We've been very consistently getting them like 550 or less with only one of them going above 550. It's been kind of absurd. Man, I wish my bears were like that. That would make life so much easier. <laughs> 10 diamonds or 10 kills. 10 kills. I want to be getting like 10 kills a run. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's chocolate. It's just a chocolate. 
<laughs> I thought for a second that that could potentially be a Mela, but it's a chocolate. Triple L, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. You wish they added squirrels and a great one lion? Oh, yes. Both both of those would be great. I think I'd take squirrels over a great one lion, to be honest. Squirrels would just be game-changing. Could you imagine going for a rare squirrel, man? Like an albino squirrel? Oh, my gosh. Where's this other herd, eh? Got to see if we can get this here. Yeah, I think it's really just about like how far your map is managed and also how how hardcore you manage down the solos. I didn't fully manage the solos down all the way. Like uh some of my solos are still like mid-size threes. So I'm not able to get as many per run, sadly, and still have HM be pumping out diamonds every 20 kills. So sadly, if I kill, if I were to get it to where I have more than 15, I probably would not get diamonds that often in comparison to what we get right now, at least. That's a five. That's a five. Beautiful. Didn't even realize he was in the tent. I know, Lep, it's crazy, man. Time has been just flying by like nothing recently. Nice, Louisiana. Yeah, that'd be so cool, man. Squirrels would be an awesome addition to the game. Here's to hoping that we can get something like that in the future. Okay, so we've killed six this run. This will be number seven. Come on. Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> it wouldn't let me click it. Not bad, Blakester. Not bad. Okay, we got two of them here. So that brings us up to... Seven, eight. Dude, that's annoying that he's not vitally hit. That should have been a good shot. Unless I just aimed too low. May have. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to have to track him down now. That's eight kills, though. Nice, Tanika, that's awesome. That is sick. Almost as sick as those insane shots I just took. Holy. Um, I'd say the old Red Deer look better, but the new ones look more realistic, if that makes sense, Ender. Like, I did like the other ones better, but I think these look more realistic. And I think the rares look better now. The rares definitely look better for sure. In my opinion, at least. Where'd the other one go? Did I hit him enough to take him down? Did I shoot him twice? I might have. He might be dead back there, actually. I think I might have passed him up. Honestly, this is kind of a waste of time tracking this guy down. Yeah, he's still alive. I'm not going to worry about him. Not going to worry about him. What's my opinion on doing another surprise great one like Black Bear? I liked it when they did that. In fact, I kind of like it more because then it gets everybody like searching for what it is. But I understand why they did it the way they're doing it now. 
Because, like, before, it was always the cheaters that would find the new great one. And that did kind of take the fun out of it. It was always a bummer for, like, everybody to be searching for it, and then a cheater is the person that finds it. A little bit unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Nice, we got both of those. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. We got 10 kills that run. So I think we're shooting enough per run. First ever great one bear was real, right? Nope. Nope. It was found out later that that guy was definitely cheating. Same with possibly the red deer. The red deer was probably cheated as well. Now, the thing is, like, actual mods aren't updated at that point, so usually it's people that actually, like, know what they're doing in terms of, like, editing files and things. But, yeah. The, uh, the first Red Deer and the first Black Bear Great one were probably not legit, from what I've heard and seen. Hey! Another not five. Butt shot. Face shot. Oof. Got him. Feels bad. Yeah, the red deer was a little bit more obvious, I think, that it was cheated because it didn't have the proper fur type on it. Which was definitely a bit of a red flag. But uh, because it was the first one ever found, nobody really knew that until it was already revealed or until it was already found and like shown off then we started realizing like hey that's a little sketchy that it didn't have the fur because then everybody else's did have the fur and it was like okay It is what it is at the end of the day, though. But that's why they stopped doing those surprise great ones where we had to go find what they were. Because it was always the cheaters that found them. So I imagine they probably just decided, oh, we'll just tell people what it is so they can go for it day one and know what to be looking for. And so the cheaters don't get to be the people that show off all the cool furs and stuff, because all these new great ones have been so beautiful. I just smoked a doe. Oh my gosh, that poor thing. I just absolutely clocked that doe with a 300 round. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident, I promise. I'm sorry. Your vitals happen to just get in the way. And where's this other buck we killed, too? Telling me we didn't get vitals or something? That's crazy. How did we not get vitals? That is wild. <laughs> No. Now I gotta track him. <laughs> Ew. Alright, we're not gonna follow him. Too much walking. Oh yeah, Elmo, that'd be wild. It'd also be kind of cool at the same time, because you'd know that not many people will ever get to see that. I'm kind of hoping I get one in there one time just so I can experience it. I'm like bottom, like bottom right of it. Mule deer outpost in the lake to the bottom right of it is what I hunt. For the, uh, bears.
Great one, number 50, Sanctuary Grind. I don't think I'll ever do a Sanctuary Grind, because I could see that being very boring. But uh, I hope one of these days I get to see it. Yeah, only two for the most part, Jonah. I've got my bears to be very condensed on like where I need to grind them. I heard managed most of the map as much as I could. And then eventually it got to a point where like all the surrounding lakes were so filled up with low levels and females that the remaining bears that were at Mule Deer Outpost and the lake below it, they have nowhere else to go. So they just continue to respawn at those two places. And recently I introduced a new, um, I introduced a new lake into the grind because there was one bear that was really consistent that always came back. And last night I was grinding like a hundred or so kills of bears. Not quite a hundred, but close. And that bear over in that area, it moved over to my mule deer outpost area. So now I've got six bears that I shoot there. Which is wild. Like the bear grind just keeps getting nicer and nicer. Only took 8,000 kills, am I right? Uh. Yeah, they weren't always there for me either, Jonah. It was when I started, like, stacking the low levels in the surrounding areas that they started being more consistent at Mule Deer Outpost. You see, what it is is, um, pretend, pretend that this is Mule Deer Outpost and this is the other lake I grind. They would bounce between the two. So I might have five here and zero here one run. Then I'll kill the five here. Next run, I might have two at Mule Deer Outpost and three at the other. Uh, sometimes I've even had five at Mule Deer Outpost and none at the other. So that's kind of how it's been working for me. They just kind of bounce back and forth between them. Uh, not today, Cannon. We're just doing some great one grinding today. It's been a bit since we've done just a great one grinding stream. Like recently, we've kind of been doing like um, multi-hunt streams like hunting Bantang and uh, the last Call of the Wild stream we did, I think we hunted like five different species. We hunted like three or four different great one species and then we did like an hour of upland birds. So today I wanted to kind of like buckle down on like one or two great one grinds. Oh, it is, Jonah. It is, but it, it's well worth it. I'll actually show you shortly how I've got it set up because uh, the way that I've got it set up right now is like the only way I've found that it works out well. Once we get done with a few more runs of fallow, we'll probably go to bears. Nothing. Wow. So rude. Okay, sick, bro. We're sick. Man, I thought that was a five. We're on a dry streak at the moment. Not a lot of fives showing up anymore. We had a bunch of them towards the beginning of the stream. Like the first hour and a half was just five central. Not so much anymore. This is the thing about the great one, or not the great one, but this is the thing about the uh, fallow grind. And honestly, whitetail and most other species as well. You go through phases of getting lots of diamonds. Uh, then you'll have phases of getting not really anything good. Nice, Blue. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on your diamond croc. Those things are really cool looking. I love the diamond crocodiles. And just the crocodiles in general. Guessing your next fallow will be a Mocha Big Rack. Dude, that's like what I want the most. Now that we got my uh, Blade Rack Mocha, Big Rack Mocha is my most wanted combo. It just looks so crazy. No, Jaden, no great ones yet. We're 276 kills into this grind, so we've killed like 194 fallow today, which is pretty wild.
What's my favorite animal excluding fallow deer? Um, I'd say whitetail and maybe rusa deer. I am obsessed with the rusa deer. How many goats have I killed today? Uh, zero. However, I do have a mountain goat video coming out soon, so stay tuned for that one, guys. After yesterday's video, a lot of you were saying that you did want to see a mountain goat hunting video, so I went out and hunted mountain goats in their feed zones. It's going to be an interesting video. The mountain goats are honestly very spread out in their feeding zones. Um, towards the end, I kind of got a little bit more into a groove of like finding some good, good areas. So I'm thinking if I do another video on it, I might be able to actually get down some type of a run that I can do to grind them, but it'd be kind of tough. We'll see though. Nice, Spatial, that's awesome, dude. spider Act Two-Tone is a sick combo. Honestly, anything with Two-Tone is a sick combo. <laughs> the Two-Tone just looks so good. Ah, oh, don't. Uh. Floaters. Oh, my luck is the weirdest luck ever, Eric. Like, I, the way I describe it is I have the best worst luck ever. I have the best worst luck you could ever have. Like, uh, I get a lot of great one fallow and whitetail deer, but I never get the combo or antlers that I want fast. Um, I've killed 27 great one whitetail and still don't have the typical wreck, which is the one I wanted the most going into the first grind. So that was unfortunate <laughs> that I still don't have it. And then with Fallow, my most wanted rack was the Blade Rack. It was the very last rack that I got. Most wanted fur type was Mocha. It was the last fur that I got. And for Moose, I still don't have the typical rack or the Birch, which were my favorites for the Moose as well. <laughs> like, I've had lots of great ones show up, just not the combos I wanted. Aside from the fabled Mocha Blade Rack Fallow that we got as our most recent one. It always takes a long time for me to get the exact combos and racks and furs and stuff that I want. I'm just happy that with the bear, I actually got one of my top threes as my first. That was nice. Hopefully, we can end up getting a fabled chestnut for our second. That's my most wanted fur type of all time for the bear. There we go. Another five, finally. We are exactly 200 kills into today. Uh, 280 in total for the fallow. Or for this particular grind. So we've had 10 diamonds in 200 kills. Yeah, it's literally one in 20. Yeah, our odds are looking nice. Solid. When is it black bear time? Not 100% sure, Jonah. I've actually been really enjoying the fallow deer. Feels good to get back to them, so I'm not sure exactly when we'll head over to bears. Um, I'm not sure, Cannon. I don't keep track of the kill counts for anything that isn't a great one or like something that I'm actively grinding. Like I'm keeping track of Banting, but other than that, it's only the great one species that I keep track of. Thank you, JC. Yeah, for those asking what guns I'm using, JC just answered it in the chat. Nice. How to kill more diamonds? Uh, there's multiple ways that you can kill more diamonds. 
The most effective way to kill more diamonds is doing herd management, but it can take quite a bit of effort and work to get it going to a point where you'll see a lot of diamonds. The other option is you could multiplayer hop on a map that you're pretty familiar with and go to only the best locations um, on every single server you join. I would recommend checking out the guide playlist I have on the channel and also the herd management guide playlist. Both of those will have lots of videos that explain like how to get more diamonds and just trophies in general. Definitely recommend checking those out. Have I ever hit a deer doing the 22 trick? Oh, yeah, many times. So many of them. Um, I mean, you'll get respawns, old WD, but you will not get great ones. That's been all but confirmed by Jaxie on the live streams, on the EW streams. Jaxie has hinted very heavily that if you're not claiming, you're not getting great ones. So, I would definitely not recommend leaving your kills on the ground. It doesn't work the way it used to, that's for sure. You used to be able to get away with that, but nowadays you can't. You want great ones, you gotta be claiming everything. Obviously, leaving one or two here or there isn't a bad thing, but like, if you're leaving all of them, you're not gonna get great ones. I believe the exact words that Jaxi used on the EW stream was in response to a question. Somebody asked if they could still get a great one if they're not claiming their kills, and what Jaxi said was, you know, we don't tell exactly the mechanics of how things spawn, but, you know, the community's noticed that if you want to get your great one, might be in your best interest to start claiming everything. People have noticed that you, you may not, you may have some trouble getting your great one if you're just leaving things. It was something to the extent of that that he said. So yeah, you do gotta, you do gotta claim everything if you want the actual great ones to spawn. If you just want diamonds and rares though, you don't have to claim them. Uh, it's just the way that Classic is designed, Barley. Thunder Classic was designed as an online only game. Like there's no offline mode available in Classic. So they're able to run an anti-cheat, they're able to do competitions and leaderboards and stuff, so Classic's just better set up for that type of a thing. Call of the Wild is a game that you can play offline. Like, you don't have to be logged into the- or you don't have to have the internet connected to play Call of the Wild. And so they really can't run the same type of, like, competitions and leaderboards and things like that that you can in Classic, sadly. It's just a different kind of game that was built differently. I would love it if they would do that, but they'd have to sacrifice that offline play. How many kills am I into the second bear grind? Let me look. Um, bear grind number two, I'm 293 into it. Really hoping that bear grind's not gonna be another 8k grind. <laughs> yeah, Silver Ridge Peaks is amazing. Top five map, easy. Orlando, thank you for the super chat. How many great ones so far in Super Rares? None today, man. None today. It's been kind of a slow day in terms of, like, crazy stuff. We've had 10 diamonds, but no rares. Uh, no Super Rares, no great ones. We'll get one eventually, even if it's not today. All right. I'm jumping in Discord, so um, whenever Brober starts his stream up, you guys can let him know that I'm just chilling in chat. I don't know when he's going to be starting, though. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Barley, but it is what it is. Will I go back to the Whitetail Grind? Uh, we, we, we went to the Whitetail Grind like two days ago, uh, Beano Boy. We did some whitetail grinding not that long ago. It was the stream titled like, you vote for what I grind or like, you choose my hunt or whatever. That stream we did some whitetail.
And boom. Got him. Nice ultra. Yeah, that's definitely rare to have your first kill be a diamond. That reminds me of the first time I played Quattro Kalinas before I was a YouTuber. Literally the first thing I spotted was a black gold wild boar, which is very rare. Uh, definitely fallow, Mary. I think the fallow were more fun. Not sure, Merle. They seem to have took them away. My guess is YouTube's probably testing out new features again. Uh, they usually, like, will give them to some people to test it, then they'll take it away. And then later down the road, they'll decide if they want to make tweaks to it or if they want to full release it to everybody in its current state. YouTube does that quite often. Just like they've tested the colored names in chat multiple times and then they take them away and uh, then later down the road, they'll test them again. Is the Red Deer grind fun? I mean, it can be. I had fun back when I did it. I mean, it's a it's a balancing matter, uh, Barley. It's a balancing matter, man. You got to balance cosmetic content with actual new additions to the game, right? Whether it be new species, new maps, new guns. It's all about balance. If they're doing like a, uh, a skin pack for every single holiday that comes out, for every single special occasion that's time spent making that where they could have been working on something like new animals or new reserves. You know, that's something to think about. What level is the 165 to 227 KG bear? Uh, I believe between level 5 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Between 5 and 7 should be that weight estimate. Modern Rifle or Hunter Power Pack? I think they're both great. I would say... If you've never bought a weapon pack before, Hunter Power Pack is the better option. Um, in terms of, like, most useful if you do have everything else. Like, if you've got every single DLC in the game, I'd take Modern Rifle's weapon pack. Just because of how crazy good the 308 AR is. It is just incredible. Uh, it's called Tiabaroa, bear. Finally got my great one, Fallow, and it was a blade hooded. Nice, Zachary. That is an awesome combo right there. That is beautiful. Love to see it. <laughs> Feels bad, Barley. Feels bad. Wait, so did you actually hear my responses then, Barley? Or, or were you missing them? What was, what was the last time I responded to you? Did you even hear the stuff that I said since it set you back? That'd be rough if you uh, missed all of it. You went back, you're good. Got you, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, I responded to everything you were saying in chat, so. <laughs> What's my real name? Uh, Flinter. Maybe, Dig. Like, that's a tough project to do. That would take a long time to make. And a long time to edit. I'd have to be recording an entire day's worth of content. I'd need a lot of uh, disk space for that, so I'd have to clear my drive. That's a very long project. I'd like to do it, but... 
don't know if I could. I main menued, right? Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay. Is Flinter's IRL name Scarecrow? Probably. Would not be surprised. Three hundred kills into the grind. Let's go. Jackson H. Beard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that what you think Jaxie's name is, eh? <laughs> that's actually wonderful. That's that's amazing. Jackson H. Beard. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Is it normal to ha to almost have only female black bear in all your zones? Uh, the females get there before the males. A lot of times males will be... They won't be in their zones till the last like 30 minutes of drink time. Sometimes they don't even show up at all, so... Males will always be later than females. You could go to a zone and see nothing but females, and then if you just stay there, you might actually have males showing up later in the drink time. That's something to keep in mind. The males are always later than the females, so it can make it seem like there's no males when there actually is. It's honestly sad how late they are. Most of the times you will have one or two lakes where they consistently get there earlier, but it's just a matter of figuring out which lakes are consistent with the males getting there quickly. I found which ones do that for me, and that's why I grind only two lakes, because they're the only... Oh! Oh, that's a piebald! Ah, oh, it's a four. He looked huge, and I was like, is that potentially a five? No, but that's a piebald. And a five next. To wow, that's a tease. That is a tease, man. A five next to a piebald. <laughs> Holy, look at him. That is crazy. What a beautiful piebald. You love to see it. Holy. That's a gorgeous piebald, too. That is my favorite variation of the piebald fur with a decent looking rack on it as well. Two seventeen. That's actually awesome. That's amazing. What a beautiful piebald fallow deer. Probably one of the better piebalds we've got. Like, top three piebalds we've killed during this grind. Love to see it, man. It's too bad that that five is guaranteed troll. 237. Oh, man. Feels bad. Don't don't worry about it, Mary. Don't worry about it. Merle's just letting the person know that I already answered them. Because there's only so much I can do. Got a three there. Oh. 305 on the kill count. How many diamonds do I get in 100 kills normally? Um, I average a diamond every 20 kills, so it'd be about five in 100. We're pretty deep into herd management, though, so. You know what's crazy, though? I think I buy premiums is getting them even more often than me. I'm pretty sure he's getting a diamond every 15 kills with Fallow, which is wild. Hey, Diego, how's it going, dude? 
Nice, happiness. Yeah, the Fallow Ground's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Ever since they released the uh, Fallow Great one, it's been my favorite. So good. Holy! That's crazy, Parker. That's crazy. Is that what we're gonna... You know, that's actually... I just came up with a great idea. Hear me out. We call diamond rares super rares, right? What if we call minimum weight rares stupid rares? <laughs> yeah... Yeah, because they are they are stupid rare, like they're stupidly difficult to find, and they're not a diamond. They're like the farthest thing from it, so I feel like it's fitting. Stupid rares. Subpar rare. <laughs> that works too, Caitlin. That works too. Yeah, and spell it wrong. Yes, yes. Amazing. Later, turtle. Nice, RG. Amazing, dude. Can I click, please? Oh, gosh. I killed it right on top of the tent. There we go. Tough to click those, man. Two fifteen. Let's go. Hey, Kaluk, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. How many fallow do you think you've killed today? We have killed two hundred and twenty-eight today. Because I started the day with eighty, I'm pretty sure. Nah, A Rod. It's it's been way too long since uh, since that uh, meme was a thing. That was an April Fools' thing. It ain't April Fools. I use an app on my phone, Mike. I use an app on my phone to keep count. It's an app called uh, Click Counter. You can create like different counters and like name them and then every time you get a kill, just press the plus button and it will go up one kill. Got him. Hmm. I I like I like where you're going with that, JC. However, I think what I'll do. That is a good idea, though. That is a good idea. I think what I could do is I could just download a different uh, counter app and then do the split screen mode on my phone. So I've got like both of the counters open at the same time. I think that might work out a little bit better than using two phones. <laughs> oh yeah, Ben. It, I was going to write it down on paper at first and then I was like, 
I've got a phone. Like, I can just see if they've got any counter apps on there. What phone do I have? It's a Galaxy S20 FE. Probably the best deal for, like, a Galaxy phone. Because it's still pretty new to the point where it gets, like, most of... Like, it performs very well. It's a very high-power phone that has all of the modern stuff you'd expect it to have. And it's way cheaper than, like, the S21 or 22. But it's still a phenomenal phone. Probably one of the best they've made in recent years. I'm a big fan of it, at least. Oh, nice, Chip. Yeah, that's what, um... That's what I buy and Lady Legend do. I've thought of doing that. That way the kill count's on screen, but, like... I don't have enough room, really, to make it look good on my layout. I just don't think I can make it look good. I'd have to remove something from the top bar to make it fit. I mean, I guess I could just put it in the, uh... I guess I could just put it in the middle. Like, top middle? I'll think about it. Wow, A-Rod. Okay, I see how it is. You're lucky you remember. I could remove the current subs thing from the top, yeah. I could do that. The thing is, like... I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Got you, Chip. Okay. Well, yeah, I know what you mean, but like, it would it would essentially be like the same thing. The only difference would be like, you'd still have to set it up to where it's like adding it to a text file, right? But the only difference is like you wouldn't be having it like on OBS or whatever. But it would still be writing to a text file, correct? If you're using the, if you're going to use the same thing that I'm thinking about. Essentially the same. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was meaning then. For me, it's like I'm already doing it on my phone. If I do it on uh, the stream deck as well, that's just one more thing to press each time. I've thought about doing it, though. Definitely thought about it. I'm sorry to hear that, Chase. That sucks, man. What's the kill count? 316 kills. Oh, we got two over there. No, 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 no. Don't run away. Oh, he died. Nice. <laughs> we actually got him. Crazy. Can I do a no-scope only hunting video soon? I mean, maybe. If I remember it. Potentially. A new P.O. box. Send it a lever letter every time you kill something and count your letters at the end of the at the end of the stream. That is A for creativity. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild, man. Have a kid for every kill. Oh man, 
Mika has come up with some wild ways to keep track of kill counts. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I hit the female. Feels bad. What is this song? Let me find it. It's Hard Offer by Dama Beats. <laughs> yeah, Call of the Wild for sure. <laughs> Freaking bears, man. Bears are the worst. They're the bane of my existence. Every time you get a kill, add a cheeseburger patty to your Five Guys burger, and at the end of the stream, you eat the burger. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd do this. That would have to be the shortest stream ever then, just so I wouldn't die. Because we kill a lot of fallow every stream. Okay, nice, bro. We're all on mute. Hi! Howdy. You are so quiet. You're so quiet, little man. Um, I was taking a drink of water. Okay. You're not even the red bro, bro gosh. Um uh, now you're now you're now you're a little bit in there. I don't know. I'm I'm talking normal. I haven't changed any settings, so should be good. Is he loud guys or is he quiet? It just it just feels like he's quiet compared to me. Uh, I don't think so. I shouldn't be. Jonah says you're quiet. Uh, Bab says you're quiet. A Rod says you're very quiet. And turn me up in Discord. But if I turn you up and like you change your positioning on your mic, you're just gonna blow my eardrums out. I am like I'm like make it out with my microphone. Like it's hey, that's, intimate right now. That's that's way better right there actually. Um. Yeah. Well. This is what it be. I think you just need to like you stay more stationary next to your mic, you know, don't move at all. I'm I'm stationary. I'm still setting stuff up. Calm down. <laughs> there we go. Wait, he's not quiet, he's Brobra. That's <laughs> the smartest thing I've ever seen anybody say in my life. You Got nailed it. it. You hit the hit the hit the nail on top of the head. Hey, Rod took your joke. Rip, Johnny. Rip. What size whitetail do you shoot in your main zones? If it's a main zone, you shoot all the bucks. If there's more than two bucks there, you don't have to shoot them all, but you could. So you gonna kill like twenty fallow today, or? <laughs> I, I know it's a tall, t it's a tall task. I know, but you know, yeah. as they say, go big or go home. Ah, that's a lot. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Today, when I was editing today's video, right? There you was so. Fast. Well, I mean, it was a six-minute video after, after cutting everything up because it, it ended so quick. True. But um. There was like, I think about 60 to 70% of the time I had to raise your volume really? in the editing just to hear you properly. Huh. That's and like, I, I hadn't adjusted your Discord settings at all, and you were fine like last week. I wonder, I bet it was because I was in, I wasn't in streaming mindset. I was in like. So you're just talking quieter. Yeah. Yeah. I was just in like hunt and chill mode. One thing you could do, um, you could set up your mic so it's a bit more sensitive. That way you don't ever have to go into, like, streamer voice mode. You can just talk normal the whole time and it'll pick up. Yeah, but when I do, if I do that, then I get kind of, like, I'm not as animated, right? Because it's like a yeah. mindset, you know? And then when you do get excited, you're going to pierce everybody's ears. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if for you, maybe you need heavy compression instead of medium compression. Because that'll even it out more Possibly. to make it so the lows and highs are more similar. 
But all, in, all of that. my in all of my clips, though, I sound fine. Maybe because like, I like, well, I, I know why. I know why. It's because you're using voice meter, right? No, you're not. No voice nope. meter with this one. No voice meter. Interesting. I was gonna say it might be that your settings in Discord are different than in Streamlabs. Actually, that would make sense too because you add filters and stuff in Streamlabs, right? Uh, not on this microphone, no. You didn't? Wow. No, nope. It's just the Sure Motive app. Okay, that actually might be why your your volume varies so much. Because like even with this, I still have a bunch of settings in Voice Meter and in Streamlabs. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, I maybe I could put a compressor on in Streamlabs or yeah. Something. So in Streamlabs, I have noise suppression. I've got it to negative sixty. I've got compressor turned on. I've got limiter turned on. I've got noise gate turned on, and then I've got gain added as well. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, maybe we can mess with it later or something. Yeah. Most important is just like the compressor, and uh, compressor and the noise suppression. That's like the yeah. best because noise suppression reduces like background noise. Bum, 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 bum. That's not what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll start at 1130 and then we'll run the river. What's bro, up, bro. everybody? I've done it. I've killed 255 bum, bum. fallow deer today. Mike, uh, Crockslayer, Charlie. Ooh, that. I mean, is the road trip for work, Mr. Schrader? Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -ba North River. Oh, nice, Chip. Nice. Yeah, that new arc map is wild. I'm very interested in like getting further into playing it. It's just the, like 30 minutes I did yesterday was crazy. Such a beautiful map. What? What? Uh, uh, yes, I did, Parker. I think I did, at least. I, uh, He's lying. Been, he didn't. I don't know. I've been... I came... I worked today and then came straight home and had to do stuff around the house. So I um, might have missed stuff. I saw somebody super rare. Did multiple people get super rare? I mean, maybe they did. I don't know. Probably. Okay. What do we have deer wise today? Let's see. Oh, gotcha, Mr. Schrader. Bantang Death the Hardest? Oh, yeah. Toughest diamond in the game. I've never oh. seen a diamond Bantang. Uh, careful with that heat down there, Mr. Schrader. It is getting hot in Arizona. Oof. Yeah, Arizona is wild with heat. Uh, it's getting worse than Makes normal, Makes me glad too. I'm not there. Yeah, way worse than normal, too. That's wild, because it's already, like, 100-plus most summer days. <laughs> yeah. No worries, Charlie. No worries, buddy. Is it Bantang, Crow and KC fan? Uh, yeah, El Nino is going to mess everything up. I hope you're not going through Utah, Mr. Schrader, because that's a mistake. Oh, feels bad. You don't want to go through Utah during El Nino. I don't even know what that is. El Nino is a weather pattern. Um, ah, that makes sense. It, yeah, does it come around every every year? It's like every few years something. I got to I don't know that. I don't know this exact cycle, but uh yeah, no. El Nino came through the year that B. Jones and our buddy Gage and I went to... Uh, is that why you got wrecked? <laughs> yes, it is. And, like, oh, man. the weather patterns are so different. Like, they, we had storms coming south that were moving southeast to northwest. Jeez, and, dude, that's crazy. I mean, like, normally that's not how weather patterns in, you know, the U.S. move. Yeah. And uh, some miscalculations were made. 
I'm not saying it was my fault. I'm not saying it was my fault. B. Jones will tell you it's my fault. But I mean, can we I trust agree. him? Can can he be trusted? I don't think so. I mean, I I just I just trust both of you. You know, that way I can't be wrong. That's that's a mistake. That's you'd be wrong both times, honestly. Um, <laughs> Somehow, like neither of you were telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd neither of us are really to be trusted, to be honest. Eh, Should have known, you know. All right, we're at exactly three, three, three kills. Three, three, three there kills. You go, Mr. Trader. Well, B. Jones, good thing. Good thing we're right in the middle. You know, fly over country. Did you say flyover country instead of state? Yeah. No, that's a term, flyover country. Um, like basically the Midwest, like people from the coasts call like the Midwest like flyover country, like because. Oh, I thought do. you meant that the United States is a flyover country or something. No, 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 no. It's a uh, like people from the coasts. They just think the Midwest is boring. Um, Got you. So they call it fly over country because that the only thing you do is just fly over it when you're going to somewhere better see i thought you were talking about your state and i was like do you mean fly over state yeah nah well, you're talking about the group of states in that area yeah i mean there's some stuff to do here <laughs> i'm sure there's probably some hunting and fishing somewhere yeah no yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's uh. But then you you just look at it and you're like, ah oh, man. But how about those salmon on the coastal states, though? Yeah, I mean we got a lot of good top water fights, you know. We got a lot of bass. Yeah, definitely something that's not as prevalent on the coast. Um... Or on the west coast, at least the fishing's not nearly as good for warm water fish. We got other stuff. Uh, really, yeah the. So here's the thing, because it kind of sucks to live here. Like, it's the people that are, like, the people have to be, like, better to make it, like, you know, enjoyable to live here. Because there's nothing else to do but hang out with everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. That, that's pretty much what I say is, like, yeah, the place might be a little bit boring comparatively. But the people but, uh, are chill. Yeah. Yeah. People are good. People are good. Uh, That's about it. Can't say the same for Utah. Every time I've gone there, it's like half the people you run into, you're like, well, you're the rudest person I've ever met. Oh, yeah. It's almost like the heat just makes everybody not want to deal with anyone. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, is that a big old, uh oh, uh oh. Is that chocolate? Probably. Is that chocolate? Is that Mella or chocolate? It's not Mella. What's what is, is that? Is that chocolate, guys? Oh, there's a. Um. How far away are these guys? Oh, that's definitely true. Okay, he moved. They are yeah. to infinity and beyond. I need to spot this one. Is that a big old four? I know where he's uh, RG. Thank you for dropping in, man. Is that a, is that a four or a five up there? I think it's a How four. many subs are we at? Let me check. We are at 127,173. Come on. I want to spot that one over there. Hey, how's it going, Lone Wolf? Good to see you, man. Nothing, really. Come on. Can I check out viewers' lodges? I probably won't ever do that. That's kind of Clinton's thing, and I kind of try to stay away from... Stuff that other creators do. Because you you start doing something that other people do. Well, that's a big dime. Next thing you know, you got a bunch of people that are like, why are you copying this person? So it's just better to stay away from stuff other creators do. Which is why yeah. I'll never do, like, guided hunts. Because that's ladies' thing. 
Did I kill it right in the tent and I'm just blind? Yeah, <laughs> it's right by the tent. I'm blind. Wow. That's a big dime there. Did that was that close to this guy's? I just want to spot that one and make sure it's a four. There he is. Come on. Okay, it's four. I know, right? Johnny, I'm just completely blind. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was right there. Oh, don't you float. No, 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 no. That is uncalled for. I did not allow floating on my map. Terrible. Right, How dare you float? Open. 267, it's, oh man, so close to being a 270. Ba, ba, ba. Wah, wah, wah. Got that, guy. So that's two wah, more. Wah, wah, I, wah, I'm wah, not going to lie, I lost track of how many we were at. It's got to be around like 90. <laughs> something like that. I think it was like 87 last stream or something. Yeah. I okay, got two, so it's around 90. Yeah, you're at like 89 now. Beautiful. Yeah. You have 48 great ones? No, we have 47, uh, Jared. Looking for number 48 right now. Oh, here they are. Any fishing simulator? E most likely, yes. Brober was saying that he wants to do some ultimate fishing sim too, so... I got it on the thumb. I got the half and half up. Ooh... Beautiful. Sean. Maybe we can get Nate in on the uh, action as well, because he's maybe. been enjoying the game. Tony's Tony. been enjoying it too. Yeah, we could maybe get the whole gang going. It's a fun game. I finally got myself leveled up to 27, so I can play all the maps now. Hey, Drippy. And oh my gosh, guys, the tiger shark and grouper fishing is amazing. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Strader. Like, in my opinion, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2... It is, it is worth it just for the big fish towards the, like, end of the map unlocking process. Like, those last couple maps have some of the biggest fish I've seen in video games. And they are yeah, so much fun. That's definitely the, that's definitely, like, the biggest draw for me is the, the big fish, like, the exotic fish, you know? Like the, uh, the multiple different sturgeon and shark species and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, I crazy. would... Like, I just want to get to those, and I'm I'm sure after a while it's not as exciting as you kind of like master it, you know where. Yeah. You get there one thing like, though is um you're always gonna have five stars of every single species to look for. Right. That's one thing, and there's also but um. That's kind of what I do for like that's like like Call of the Wild. Like I'm still looking for all the diamonds, and since I like the graphics and kind of the the UI on Angler better. I probably would spend more time doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? One thing that uh that is nice is even once you unlock the final location, you still have a lot of leveling to do to unlock all of the lures. Oh. And so yeah, like that's... uh for example, there's only a couple of uh actual lures for spin fishing that can attract the tiger shark. Until you unlock gotcha. those, which are like level 37 and 40, I think. Until you get up there, you have to use like a bait for tiger sharks. Gotcha, gotcha. So like there's still stuff to go for after there or after you get yeah. to that point. And that's not, but for me, like, I don't need like, uh, like, I'm not like a completionist in that way. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't want to get like. Oh yeah, I'm just saying it makes it, it'll make tiger shark fishing much easier at that point. Gotcha. Yeah. Because you won't have to use the, the bait and just, like, wait for one to bite. It'll be quicker to oh, get them gotcha. to bite. Gotcha, yeah. But, I mean, like, that's that's pretty much it is, like, the stuff to do the big exotic stuff. That's, like, what I'd play for. And then once I was able to get some of that, then I probably probably wouldn't have a whole lot left just because the graphics are a huge part of the replayability for me, you know? I have noticed the later reserves look nicer, especially uh, the final one, Thailand. Yeah. It seems like it's better quality than the others. That's good. And maybe that's because it's less foliage, more like rocky cliffs and water. Could be, yeah. But it looks really nice. The last one's actually pretty nice looking. Yeah. 
This the angler graphics are so freaking good. Yeah, yeah we're buddy. doing good. Caitlin's doing good. Uh, my mom. Oh, do do we know if CJO is gonna be available for the golf at stream? I have no idea. I was waiting for you to arrange it. <laughs> okay. Um, because I do need to go into work tomorrow. Somebody called out and I offered to cover because my supervisor like has been work working like. Gotcha. Seven days, seven days a week, essentially, until I came on to cover everything. So I wanted to give him some time away and actually get spend time with his family. Gotcha, sir. Gotcha. So, but that would be in the afternoon between International Waters and that stream. So, yeah, I have no clue when he wants to do it because I think you're the only one that's talked to him about it. Well, yeah, and I was, it was in stream. Chip said, CJ talked about golf at this weekend in his, er, in his stream. I never reached out to him and gave him a day. So Saturday might be better. Maybe I don't get off until I'm potentially having friends over Saturday. So Ooh, golf may not work this weekend. We'll see. Hold on. Yeah, it's like if it's early enough in the day, I could do it Saturday, but not if it's going to be like midday or afternoon. Uh, but if it's like yeah. earlier, I could maybe do it. He was wanting, well, I mean, earlier for him is probably better. Yeah, like if we do it be before drinking. noon, then I could do it. Yeah, he. I know he wanted to be like, hold on, guys. I got to send CJ a message before. Before you forget uh, it? <laughs> yeah, before I forget again. Yeah, let let him know. Figure out a time. I don't. Our group chat's so far down. Feels um, bad, bruh. Sucks to suck. Am I right? Oh, you right. Oh, you right, bro. You right, you right. Would you be able to do? Uh, yeah, I'll throw a couple of them. Around 10 p.m. or 10:30 your time. Speaking of diamonds, there's another. All right, there we go. He's been messaged. Um, I also messaged Chip. I almost messaged them about international waters. I was talking to Kinsko on Instagram today, but not about oh, international Kinsko. waters. Um, so I don't. I'm going to assume so, Chip. I'm going to assume so. Um, and then if you and I are the only people that show up, then it's, then it's, they'll be you and I. Unless Holy. you can't make it. But I assumed by the way you said that. I feel like I can leave all three of those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave those because they're boring. They don't HD. Do not HD, 0 out of 10. That is not a high definition fallow. That is standard definition and its finest. Okay, perfect, Chip. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what we're fishing for tomorrow. I definitely don't want to fish for bullhead catfish. Um, I kind of want to do... I don't know, I want to do something on... Norway, but I want to do something, have at least one fish that bites all, all the morning, noon and night, I guess, or two fish, a day fish and a night fish. Nice, Sean. Ida, what is I was is Ida day fish, night fish, day fish, fighter of the night fish. Oh, you uh, you okay? Oh, I'm okay. You okay? He's he's okay, guys. He's okay. He promises. I'm great. Calm down. Okay, calm, well, calm down now. One get the membership. You have to do that. Oh well, there you go, Charlie. You got your membership. Thank you. Let's get some ding-dongs in chat for Caitlin. 
Let's get those in there for Caitlyn, huh? Oh, don't feel bad about it, uh, Malakin. This took me thousands of hours to get to this point. It's not a matter of like, uh... like if you if you've got 150 hours in the game, I was probably I probably had less diamonds with 150 hours in the game. So this yep. is just what you can achieve after you've spent a ton of time like learning the game and. It's just a matter of knowing where all of the zones are for each animal and getting like an efficient setup with tents and stuff. But yeah, I, my first 150 hours, I had zero diamonds. Pretty sure I got my first diamond like a little bit over 200 hours into the game. Yeah, no, it. I bet like. I think that's a shooter. Yeah, that's a shooter. I didn't even know what a diamond was till I freaking Googled it, put it in YouTube. And I I had a lot of hours. A lot of hours in the game. I probably wouldn't I probably still wouldn't know what a diamond was. Oh look at all these freaking ruse. Holy seven and eight. Oh that's an eight that I saw. Where'd it go? There it is. Definitely want to get that thing down. Oh, oh, low oh, Jesus. Oh my God. What do you have? Oh, she's vicious. Oh, kangaroo. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, you're getting beat up. Oh my God. I was thinking like, did Robert get a diamond? Does he have a great one in front of him? Nope, it's just an attacking Jeez kangaroo. The loo. Freaking, this chick just came. I was scoped in, killing her friends and family, and she just kicked me out of well, nowhere no for no reason. No wonder she kicked you. What did you expect? Well, I wasn't shooting her. <laughs> so you're telling me if I if I walk up to you, Brobra, and like I I just like. I, I shoot your entire family. You wouldn't kick me? Or is that what you're saying? Well, it's not self-defense. I mean... <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh, Rover. <laughs> you, got, gotcha. you, you, got, you got some got twisted him. views. You got some twisted got views him. there. You look, at, you look at a family of kangaroos and you're like, I should be able to slaughter all of these without the mom of the bunch getting mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Why that's the that's this, the Brober logic. Why is this why is this frowned upon? I don't get it. Gosh, Brober. <laughs> Give me that. Oh my gosh. Meat. That's sweet, sweet king. Oh, I killed a four instead? No repercussions. Apparently. Apparently. Did I not get the eight? Oh, I got the eight. Whatever zone this was is gone. Triple three sixty. Anyway. Oh. They're not even there. Feels bad. There he was. There's the eight that's coming back as a nine. Okay. That zone being stubborn. Right Feels bad. Ooh, I didn't want that zone anyway. So that's. And we are after time, so. Uh, not sure, Shady. Not here. sure. We've been going for four hours already, so. I don't know how much time is left. Nice, Caleb. Good luck on the softball tourney. Um, 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 let's pop this back down here. Any great ones yet? Nope, nothing pop today. Up. Rifle ammo. No respawns mag. there. Feels bad. We need more of the 300 Magnum. Where the bear is that? I don't know, Johnny. I've just been really into the fallow today. I've been having fun with fallow. Tisk tisk. Are you Axis deer, huh? You got you got a man. Oh, there he is, spawning into the world. That was uncomfortable. I didn't like that. <laughs> Ugh. You didn't like watching that? Watching a uh, Axis be willed into existence? 
Yeah, it was like it was like birthed by Mother Nature in front of my eyes. I didn't like that. That's pretty zero crazy. Of, zero out of ten. Do not rate. Do, yeah. Uh, Chip, can you put your fish suggestions back in there? I missed. I saw you put some fish in there, and I missed that. He's saying he ignored you. In other words, no, I was getting kicked in the head. Nah, he by ignored a you. Robra's ignoring as always. Gosh. Level two. Okay. Oh, you know it, Johnny. You Brown Trout know it. Bream. Hmm. Do Bream? Do they buy it on lures, or is it mostly just? I think it's just bait. Bait. I don't have any good Bream. I wouldn't mind a Roach situation either. Roach or or a Grayling. Wouldn't mind any of that either. Hey, ma'am. I just want those eight new fish. Come on. That's what I want to fish for is eight new fish. <laughs> uh. Uh, best lake. There's only one lake for Bantang, and it is this lake right here. That's your only Bantang lake. The rest are drinking on the coast next to the Crocs, so good luck, my friend. Yeah, they're a bit rough at first. All right, well, they're not there at that zone, so we're going to go here. Nah, he's talking about Call of the Wild, the angler. Xander and Perch, that could be cool. It'll buy, oh, the Bream will bite on spoons and spinners? Okay. I like that. They Brown do? Trout, really? Bream. Crazy. I, I think it's not, I didn't know that. not as often, but... And now that I think about it, I think Doan... Didn't Doan say... Something about catching a bream on a spinner on accident, or like not on, like wasn't even going for it or something. Maybe. How do they drink salt water? Uh, video games. That's how. What's diamond for bream? I don't even know what the diamond weight for any of the fish are. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's got a lot better, Lone Wolf. Like uh. Ooh, that's a shooter. Angler went from like a decent game on launch to a pretty good game over the uh, last few months. And they're going to be doing an update sometime like this month or early it's next month. Even better. That is going to completely redo the water to make it act more realistically and look more realistic. And then they're adding eight new fish species to the base map. Mm -hmm. And apparently they've like tweaked some like mechanics and things they mentioned. They are redoing the progression system and all that stuff. So. Looks like oh, it'll yeah. finally become a more polished fishing game. Because it's always uh, had kind of that, like, unpolished feel to, like, how the fish fight and how how often they strike, how they do their strikes and things. We're going to get a lot better. Oh, yeah. We're, 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 taking, we're taking the angler to the moon, baby. To the freaking moon. Nah. Uh, yeah, no, it's only going up. It's only going up. And it's going to have the console release as well, like within yep. like the next month and a half or so. And that's going to include cross-platform play. So it's going to be pretty sick. Uh, I've got some tents set up. I'm I'm not super into the tent setting up. I think, I think it's boring. I mean... That's why, Nolan, an $800 PC is not going to run Call of the Wild well. Doesn't matter where you buy it, it's going to be tough to build a good PC for $800. Roach and Purge? Hmm? Like, I'd say at this point, $1,200 is the minimum, and even that is going to be, like, not super beefy. But yeah, if you bought an $800 PC uh... at Best Buy, that's definitely probably why you can't run Call of the Wild. It's much better to... Either buy the parts yourself and then have somebody that you know build it or like follow a Take tutorial it. and build it yourself. There's like there's like places that will you can buy the parts and stuff and they'll build it for you too. Let's check this zone. Yeah, happiness. Um I bought a oh, laptop as well that was like twelve hundred and my wife uses it to play games and she can run Arc no problem. 
My guess is if you bought an $800 PC at Best Buy, it probably isn't a gaming PC. Hey, Rated. Like, most of the time, you gotta buy PCs that are designed for gaming. Even, I was looking up PCs that can run, uh, like, video editing software. And just running video editing software apparently is not easy. Oh, no, it's very intensive on your GPU. Yeah, did not realize that. And CPU as well. Yeah. But mainly GPU for, like, encoding. Did not realize that, so... I'm going to have to uh, save up because I was like, I don't want to learn how to use a Mac. I'll maybe look into like a laptop I can take to the office and edit shorts and stuff there. Uh, do you know what graphics card, uh, RAM, and CPU are in the rig? I do. I just looked at I was looking at stuff Not online. Not you, um, oh. Nolan. Because it, if it's got RGB on it, it's probably a gaming PC, but it's probably like a very low end one that was meant to run games like Counter-Strike and Fortnite. Because those games are very, they're not nearly as intensive as stuff, as uh, stuff like Call of the Wild. Uh, a lot of them, Joshua. I haven't checked every, every uh, spot yet. Because like, uh, even my GTX 970 that I had struggled running Call of the Wild on anything above high. Like I had to have like high textures and then everything else was cranked down really yeah, far. that one. Boom, Definitely another time. Gonna shoot this one. Let's see if a male comes running in. I mean, even my 1070 kind of struggled with ultra graphics on Call of the Wild. And if I was streaming at the same time, there's no way I could run max settings on it. Yeah, Johnny, we're popping off at the max weights today. Getting a lot of them. <laughs> Well, Merle, $130 Xbox might run Call of the Wild fine, but not at the level of graphics you get on a PC. They're designed differently oh, as well. Crap. And you also got to think that if you're getting a if you're getting an Xbox for 130 bucks, it's probably used. Probably not a brand new one. And you know, a few years go by, you'll probably need to buy a new Xbox cuz that one will break down or yep. the new generation will come out and you got to upgrade to the new generation. Yep. So at the end of the day, it comes down to very similar things as a PC, though a little bit cheaper, but you get more customizability and variety with PC, uh, including literally tens of thousands more games to choose from. And the ability to have mods on games like, you know, Minecraft and Ark and stuff like that, where it's a lot more possible to do that stuff. Sadly, it's tough to implement that type of thing on console. They're starting to be able to do it more recently, though. Okay, it's a Ryzen 5 3600 six core processor. Eight gigs of RAM. Ooh, that's rough. Eight gigs of RAM is rough. Uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be. That's that's a major red flag there. You need minimum 16 gigabytes to comfortably run games. And even like at this point, some games require even more than that nowadays to reliably run them smoothly. True. Like a game like Escape from Tarkov, you probably need more than 16 gigs. Um, with a game like Call of the Wild, 16 is probably fine, but 8 is pretty low. I was holding my breath. I was also just sprinting, though. That's why. Um, I have no idea what the Ryzen 5 3600 is comparative to uh, in, like, in, like, uh, Intel chips. Like, what would that be and equivalent to? It was over 300 meters, so... It was it was a hail mary shot anyway. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any Let of this. Let me look real quick. Uh, now with the 300 Ryzen you don't have to provide organs. Five thirty six hundred versus Intel. That's comparative to a Core i five ninety four hundred F. I think is what it's saying here. Okay, Eight. yeah, so yeah, that's a pretty low power CPU. These deer have never come into this zone since I spotted them. 
great. Great. Love to see it. Everyone thinks it's great. We all love it. Mm, I don't like it. Yeah, what GPU does it have, uh, Nolan? Does, it, yet, does it tell you what graphics card it's got? Because graphics card is going to be a huge part of how well you can run games or like what level of graphics you can use and still get decent frame rates. Uh, Kinsko is a maybe for International Waters. He is doing like an internship thing tomorrow. Gotcha. I'm also a maybe because you never know how early I'll wake up. Yeah. If we're doing ultimate fishing, so if we go too late tonight, probably not. Yeah, we don't know. I feel like I'm going to leave that guy. I don't feel like that guy hangs dong. Probably doesn't. All right. We haven't checked this one in a while. Well, it also depends on like the other parts in the uh, system. Uh, Alf, Alf, Alfonsi, I, I don't know what the GPU is that he's got. So like you could have a really low end GPU paired with like a decent CPU and it's still not going to matter because the GPU is so bad, you know? Like, uh, I've got a 4070 right now, but if I run, like, uh, if I run, like, an old, like, i7 from, like, 10 years ago, okay, okay. not going to be getting the full power out of it. It's a Radeon RX 550. Okay, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a very low-end GPU. Let me check. I don't know the AMD cards that much, but I will look it up real quickly. And see what the uh, comparison is to in to uh, a or gosh, Nvidia. I can't speak. Go here. We're gonna reset the Timmy time, and then start looking at some of these other legs. Wait. Bum, 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 bum. Go this way. Oh wow! Wait. Oh man. Uh -oh. Ooh. oh. Oh man. That's an eighty dollar GPU. Ugh. Ugh. The ten fifty TI gets double the performance. Oh man. Yeah, that's that's where you're getting screwed over. It's that GPU, man. That GPU is what you're getting screwed over with. That is a yeah, very low tough. end GPU. That's tough, man. Yeah. You could probably get a GPU that's like 200 bucks and more than double your performance. So I would say I'd recommend upgrading that GPU before anything <laughs> else. Yeah, but the thing is also, Alfonsi, is like minimum requirements for a game, they're literally meaning it's the minimum to play the game. That doesn't mean you're going to get like a good frame rate at the minimum requirements either like isn't that isn't that just for like 30 fps or something i'm pretty sure that those like minimum requirements that they list in steam are just like on minimum settings and getting like 30 fps maybe it's 60 i don't think it's 60 i don't think it is cuz i've had plenty of times where i met the minimum requirements for a game and it still performed way worse than what it should have my dog hit this friggin light Rip and feels better. Feels better. Yeah. <laughs> feels bad. Feels better. Feels better. Feels like a baddie. <laughs> oh that's man. A shoot. Nice, Caitlin. That's crazy. You got a four terabyte SSD. That's gonna, gonna last you a while. That should make all your games load way quicker. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Did I? But yeah, this is why I don't recommend buying pre-built from like a store. Because there's always like one or two components they kind of screw you over on. Um, save money. Yeah, exactly. If you can, building it yourself is always yeah, going to be the don't. best option for getting like the best value. Um, if you want to make sure you know what parts are going into your PC, but you don't want to build it yourself, there's a lot of companies online that will... Um, 
build a PC with whatever parts you choose. Obviously, you'll have to pay an extra fee. That's all right. But that's what oh. I did with my PC. I got mine from Ironside. Um, my previous no. PC I built myself, but I didn't want to have to go through the whole building process because that would take time out of the... Oh, that's a pie bulb. Is it? Yeah, it's a pie bulb. I didn't want to have to build it myself because that would take time out of making content for me. But, um... Yeah, this one I had built by Ironside, and the PC came very well put together. Though, obviously, little... Ended up paying a couple hundred more than I would have if I had built it myself, but small price to pay to have somebody else do it for you. One eighty, beautiful little piebald. That is our second pie of the day. So to answer your question, not not sarcastically, yes, I am using herd management. Everybody is nowadays, it seems. Yeah, I, yeah, I had it on mute. Uh, he asked if I used herd management, and I explained HD, but then I didn't want to... I realized I might be confusing people, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's Brobra's version of herd management, essentially. Yeah, it, it's herd management. It is herd management. It, he's if just you, doing it in a way that's less confusing for him. If you leave the one... For fallow deer especially, if you leave the ones and twos and you shoot, like, the big threes and up, you are herd managing. Even if you, you know? shoot, like, small threes, too, you're still herd managing. Leaving, like, leaving twos... Purposely, that's herd management. Like, you may not be like I. I don't stack diamonds because I don't care. I don't care about doing a fast grind or getting a ton of diamonds, or I don't care about getting a ton of respawns or whatever it is. I'm just shooting deer to shoot deer because I have fun doing it. Um, so I don't like stack diamonds to force lower levels to spawn. That is pretty much the only... That's the only aspect of, like, Crow's level of herd management that I don't do. Yeah, he's um, not stacking stuff to make the small ones spawn quicker. Yeah, that's the only... He's just that's, not shooting the little fellers. Yeah. Or the big... Or I'm not leaving some of the big ones at first. Is, I think, what I would have to do, right? Yeah. That's hey! Right. Chill, bro. Don't run me over. Gosh! And ran over by fallow deer right now. They're coming for me, man. They're yes, coming for HD. me. When I say HD, it is a, I'm just being silly. HD, He's being a little silly, Billy. HD is slightly not family friendly of a term because it's a silly little joke. Um, so I don't, I don't want to explain it on Crow Stream. Um, what the heck is this dead deer? Oh, he's right there. I don't know. I but think yeah. it's uh, probably dead on the ground. Yeah. Yep. You you know what? You're a spot on. I know. Spot I just on nailed it. Uh, yeah, we got a couple pie balls today, Hunter. One was a 217 as well, which is pretty good. Uh, let's check this one. Herd development. There you go, Merle. It's herd development. It's obviously. Herd development. That's... I like that. That's a good one. He's developing That's his like, herds um... into better herds. Her development's like uh, Way of the Hunter kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, I mean, technically, Way of the Hunter literally is herd management. It like, really the whole is, game yep. is designed around herd managing your populations. Yep. Oi, where's your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend, ladies? I've got a three. Brober when he's drunk on the streets of his city. <laughs> where's your boyfriend, ladies? <laughs> I need somebody to play play Warhammer with. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, he's I think if you ever played Cars against Humanity. I guess 123 to 165. Yeah, I don't. I could probably shoot him, but the walk to pick up the deer at this zone is. It's just too... I can't. It's just too much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to do it. Let's check this one. 
gentrification of your herds. I don't know. I don't know if gentrification is the right word, Caitlin. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know either. Hey, Carson, how you doing? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. That's the that's the tough thing to uh, Alphonse. Is like, if you're someone who doesn't necessarily know computer parts too too well, it can be very easy to like what, buy like a really good card here? and not realize you have to have everything else matching the power of it as well. The tough thing. Okay. Yeah, Joshua, but then I gotta drive a four wheeler every time, and I can't be bothered. It's too much work. Brober, don't want to go zoom zoom. Nah. Don't, don't look at me and then throw out a mating call, you feral pig. <laughs> That's rude. Uh... Like I get it, I get it. I could, I could eat a salad or two, but my, my God, <laughs> you're just gonna throw There's up a mating five. call at me, feral pig. Ugh. That's rude, man. Would you say that pig's gone feral? I... <laughs> Why are you this person? <laughs> yes. I'm uh, not sure, Merle. I just, I just haven't got around to doing it. So much other stuff to do. Come on. B. Jones, are you still here? Oh, he's always here. He's always lurking in the shadows. We'll see. Waiting for your failures so that he can be like, ha, Brober sucks. Nah, sometimes he's not. He he misses some stuff. He's like, oh, how come you didn't stream yesterday? Try to give me a hard time about it. And then I was like, if you you're like, stream, I did, bro. Gosh, bro. I was like, if you were in stream on Tuesday, you would know that I needed that time to uh, edit some videos. Where are these dirt? bad, man. Okay, there's one fallow. I think B. Jones just needs to get good. Uh, How about this Justin Ross hype? brother i mean did i call it or did i call it did i call it or did i call it i call oh man i was so right about justin ross and everybody yeah. else was wrong he's my new marcus peters okay why are these guys so like that's what i want to act okay here's that guy okay well he stinks he stinks even more. Okay, Boom. well. Even a bro exactly. But just twice, so I think I'm done, right? I whiffed on D Ford. I whiffed on Breland Speaks. I got Marcus Peters. And I got Justin Ross. That's it. What's up with Jimmy Ursley? I don't know, he's flying a whale to the ocean. I don't know what? what's going on. Jim Yeah, Jim say he's the Colts, he's the owner of the Indianapolis Colts. And he's yeah. like he's this whale needed to be like let go, like released into the wild. He's like, I got money, I'll I'll friggin' he's like, F it, I'll fly it up to the water. We'll fly it out there. <laughs> Everyone's like, What? Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll fly this whale okay. out sounds to like, Seattle. Sounds like somebody's trying to get into the news. <laughs> I don't I don't know what he's trying to do, but it's weird. Rober would get catfished by a pig? <laughs> Probably, man. Ugh. Thank or, God. or a real, like, IRL catfish. It'd be like, uh, meet me by the yeah. lake. I'd be noodling. <laughs> you're like, they're like, the pig's like, meet me by the lake. And you're like, oh, okay, like a, like a lakeside date. I, I can Ooh, dig my. it. I can dig it. You get there you and, like, it? a giant flathead catfish just jumps out of the water, grabs your arm, and pulls you under. Oh, God. <laughs> You're like, oh, Why? oh, lordy, what's happening? Hello, Johnny. Um, no, yeah, but I'm friggin' stoked. It, okay, also, B. Jones, I haven't had a chance to, like, read any articles on this. Is, is, is Silly trolling about Rushy Rice? Is he trolling? Uh, yeah, I, I see your messages, Shady. I just didn't get around to them yet because I've been answering other questions. You've got just a little guy down there. 
And we're, we're chatting with Brobra too, so I'm not answering as many questions as normal. Is is Sully trolling about Rashi Rice being good? Or has he actually been good? I need to know. But the answer to uh the answer to your question is I'll play Way of the Hunter when the map releases. I need more uh more content to play on that game before I'll uh, return to it. Uh, Cause right now it just doesn't have enough replay value. Africa oh. should hopefully give it some though. Couple of fours. Um, is it okay if I mute while we're talking football? I figured you prefer that. I don't really care. Okay. Whatever you want to do, brother. Tell you what. Wow, do I have any shootables up here? But yeah, I just. Um, yeah, no, I just uh, Johnny to answer your question. Like Le'Veon Bell, Jamal Charles, Adrian Peterson. Uh, oh, and my. I think that's the list of the people of the running backs uh, that can be elite without a really good offensive line. That is the wildest typo I've ever seen. Ot, I'm going to assume that you were trying to type what should I kill my great one fallow with fallow deer with. But it 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 auto corrected to what should I kill my grandma Paula deal with? Oh no, not Grandma Paula. <laughs> oh what a what an autocorrect. That is wild. Not Grandma <laughs> Paula. That is a wild autocorrect. Holy I, I got him twice. Okay, cool. Alright, well we're gonna take an ATV to get this guy. Do I think uh, if, you don't, good? if you don't have free slots available for your RAM, um, you could always get a single stick of 16 gigs, though I don't really recommend it. It's usually better to get two sticks of eight or, you know, two sticks of 16, etc. It's usually best to have your RAM split into multiple sticks in case one goes bad. That way it's, it, it's a little bit cheaper to replace, like, one out of two than it is, like, having it all in one and you gotta replace the whole thing. Hey, Addy. Another thing to watch is, like, make sure... Um, I'm not sure if that's already been mentioned or not, but... Usually, you want to try and not mix and match types of RAM. Like, you want to keep it the same RAM. So, like, for example, I had 32 gigs of... I think it's one of the tri I think it was the Trident Zs. DDR5 like 6400 megahertz or something like that or And so I had to get I got 32 more gigs of the exact same one when I wanted to start streaming Tarkov again cuz 32 for some reason wasn't enough with Tarkov. I kept running out of memory and crashing. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Why do I keep going to the main menu? Because when you go to the main menu, it resets the animal's, like, spook state. Oh my gosh, that's a guaranteed diamond level 4. 254 minimum estimate. Oh my gosh. What are you shooting? Fallow deer. Oh. Dude, that's huge for a level 4. Guaranteed diamond at 254. Nice. Oh my nice, gosh. Nice. I don't even care about the, the max weight I just killed. I'd rather have this 4 right here. This is Rather way more have rare. This level four. All right, we're gonna go here. Reset time. That is a monster, man. Like, that is a Shoot monster crap. for Fallow Deer for a level four at least. Yeah, it might be my new biggest level four. It might be. 
I've never had one guaranteed to be a diamond. Look at him. 255 as a level 4. That's crazy. That's taxable. That's that's a rarity right there. You do not see that often, man. Are you doing a herd management happiness? If you're doing herd management and you're 300 kills in, um, and you haven't seen results, uh, the questions that I would ask is how many zones do you have? And if you've no have you noticed males disappearing? If so, there's possibilities brand new zones have been created and you gotta go find those. Um, have you been managing down the solos to level twos? Because the solos are gonna be a problem. Okay. I'm back. You back? Yeah, dude, this is my biggest level four diamond. Ooh, 25502. Cool. This is huge. Very cool. Yeah. Nice, Addy. That's awesome. Oh, got you, happiness. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Salty. I get what you're saying now. You are seeing results, but like you're you just can't wait till they get to this point. Got you. I get oh, it. Oh no. I get it now. Yeah, it took me a while to get to this point. I started seeing results a few hundred in, like you are. There we go. I think I was like six or seven hundred kills in before I got yeah, it managed yeah. down to a point I was getting a diamond every 30 kills. And then it took like another couple thousand to get it to be every 20 kills. It's the last few that are always the toughest. Um, Carson, from what Crow says, Rev is a good map for whitetail grinding. That might be a five. Um, I think he does it on late yeah. though, right? For whitetail? Yeah, I, I do Layton just because less places you have to search to find all your zones. Uh, though the trade-off is it's really brushy compared to Rev. Right. Miles, thank you for the three months. Earlier today I had a piebald level four gold. Huge diamond fallow at the same lake. Finally complete all my piebald gold huddle fallow. Nice, dude. That is awesome. Sounds like a really good day of hunting. Congrats, man. <laughs> Oof, 238 didn't make it. Oh, 239 didn't make it. Feels bad. I mean... Is the Giants what? They made it to the divisional round? Is is that technically working? I don't know. Is what? I, I'm uh, I'm talking football, with Johnny. Oh, when you when we were just talking about HM, and then you said, "Is that technically working?" So I was thinking, you're like, "I got a I got a diamond every 70 kills. Is it working oh. yet?" I thought you were no, saying no. something like that. <laughs> no, Johnny, I'm talking football. Um, ah. Yes, Addy, there have been more diamonds recently, but you will have to tune in to Scarecrow's channel tomorrow to see my most recent diamond. See the beauty. I'm going to just say this. You guys won't want to miss it. A never before seen first happened, and it was incredible. It'll blow your minds. Now, I will caveat that with there were a lot of diamonds taken. So or at least just, a lot of potential diamonds. That uh, That is the caveat. Eli, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the most like voice cracky thing I've ever heard you say in the entire life. It's like e Eli. You, well, it's Eli Manning, so that kind of you're just uh, like warrants ah. a voice crack. I'm still mad that Eli beat Brady at a couple times in the Super Bowl. I. <laughs> uh, that was super fun. Didn't he end their perfect season? I think so. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which was annoying. Nice. <laughs> nice. <sighs> oh, man, oh, man. Funny. Oh, 182. That's a shooter. I don't think is that one. Wasn't it? Wasn't it Patriots that were against Seahawks when they decided to make Lynch run for some reason? Yes. I still don't understand that choice. That was such a weird choice. Or not make Lynch run, but they decided not to let Lynch run and just throw right, it yeah, for the pick. Like, well, statistically the, speaking, uh, 
the, so the Patriots had a had a, a really great defense, so the odds weren't good that they were getting in either way. Still, um, it was like, what a weird call. Yeah. Um, yeah. If anything, like, catch them off guard in a different way, like, toss it to the fullback or something. <laughs> to have the fullback power through. It just, but with the Patriots defense, they had so many good linebackers and defensive linemen. Oh, yeah, that, they were stacked like those few years around that time. Yeah, I don't think, I don't, I think they had Vince Wilfork at the time. Like, Vince was an amazing player. Like, yeah, you can't. He, you can't he was just, incredible. You can't just move Vince Wilfork out of the no. way. There was one guy that I used to really enjoy watching too. He was. He was from, I, I think he, actually, I think, I think he may have been at the end of his career when I started watching, but it was Teddy Bruschi. Oh, Bruschi's awesome. Oh, yeah, he was sick. He was all busy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it was like, you saw him coming at you, and you're like, oh, no. Yeah, exactly, B. Jones. AFC Championship is the floor for Mahomes. It's going to be sad when it's not, though. Not a oh. uh, not a Patriots player, but back when I used to watch football, I remember Palomalu was always one of my favorite players to watch. Oh, yeah. Troy was a monster. He was a beast. Absolute menace. Absolute menace to society. Gosh, I can't remember his name, but there was one. Um, I'm pretty sure he was a strong safety for the Patriots back around like, like early 2010s, maybe before that even. Patrick Chung, maybe? Did I mean, he that's do a familiar name, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. What were some of the best safeties around that time frame? Oh, um, 2010s? Yeah, like the early 2010s or a little bit before then, even. Like the late 2000s. Patriots, Patriots, Patriots. Rodney Harrison? Um, yeah, that might be the name I'm yeah, thinking that, of. That might Rodney be really, was yeah, pretty sick. Rodney Harrison. Does yeah, Rodney was always good. He was, yeah, he was. Because I remember playing as him in the Madden games. Ooh, that's a little one. Gosh, man. Um, there was another player. Was that it I can't, Ty Law? No, he was remember. early 2000s. Ty Law was good too, though. I'm trying to remember. There was a receiver that I really used to... What was his name? Randy Moss. No, not he's he didn't play for Patriots. Or he might have he might have later in his career. I can't remember. I stopped watching by the time he retired, but good old Fitzgerald was one of my favorites back then too. Oh, Larry? Yeah, he was a beast. Larry was very good. It's just um, unfortunate that he never really like got really up as high as he could have. Well, just yeah. due to Cardinals holding him back. <laughs> yeah. And you find uh, out you find out the best NFL teams are the teams with owners that a have the most money that they can pay out of pocket or the owners that are willing to pay the most out of pocket, even if they're not the richest, like Clark yeah. not one of like the richest owners, although he is very wealthy. Um, but he's just football is like all he like, that's what he's about. Like his whole family is about the chiefs. So he's willing to pay more out of pocket in cash to players so that's kind of yeah. how you get around that's how you get around the uh, salary cap is like bonuses and incentives i mean yeah it makes sense the more you can pay your players based. the more likely they'll take your offers exactly and so but there's the salary cap so you can only spend so much but there are certain parts of a contract that don't count against the salary cap like workout bonuses and attendance bonuses and uh signing bonuses but that kind of money has to be set aside in an account separately and paid in cash on the spot, not over the stretch of the season. Got so, you. Okay. Right. So it limits it limits how much you could actually maneuver the cap. But oh, I need to shoot that one. Gosh, dude, it's crazy. Like I can remember some of the old players that I used to enjoy, but then there's others where like I remember like how good they were, but I don't remember the names. Like, I know there was a running back for the Patriots that was pretty insane back in the early 2010s as well, in, like, late 2000s. 
or like around that time frame, but I can never yeah. remember the names. Um, Addy, I probably, I will do a Trophy Lodge Tour video soon. I really need to do an update on that. Um, yeah, bro, bro, gosh. Update your lodge, jeez. Yeah, I didn't need to. Um, the Sour Cap's not a myth, but it is not the hard and fast thing that it appears to be. That's for sure. Okay. Can you believe we had one five? Had like a hundred kills. Legarrett Blunt, that was one of them. Yes, yes. Legarrett Blunt. Dude. <laughs> that, is, that is a name. That is a name I immediately uh, recognized when you typed it. <laughs> players like Legarrett Blunt are why running back is why running backs like Jonathan Taylor can't get paid because they had a great offensive line and a great like run blocking scheme and. Uh, average running back like Garrett Blunt can look really, really, oh, really freaking good. There, there's one of the other ones, Kevin Falk. Oh, oh yeah. Well, Kevin, that's the one that I remember from the Patriots. Kevin, Kevin was, was a great. little bit above. He was in a league a little bit above Garrett Blunt as far as like I, I would say a tier above. Oh yeah, like Kevin LeGarrette Falk. Blunt. He was he was a good running back. He was. That was that was in like prime time, like running back prime though. So I also feel like oddly enough. He's one that you don't hear about as much as some other people from that time. Even though he was really good. Oh, gosh. I'm looking online at all the 2010s Patriots running backs. Lawrence Maroney's a name I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Lawrence Maroney. Oh, man. Phony, phony, macaroni, Wasn't Lawrence he the Maroney. backup to Kevin Falk? So you, like, never saw him for a while? I, 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 I think he so, was. Maybe. And I, I think he was. And I think when Falk... Uh, Stop playing for the Patriots. I'm pretty sure he took over for a bit. I could be wrong on that, though. Nothing there. Feels bad. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher should have gone to the Hall of Fame already. Chip. Let me see. I'm going to have to look up what their wide receivers were <laughs> around that time, because I remember there was a couple that were pretty hey, good. Hey, Evans. Julian Edelman. That was one of them. Julian Edelman and Randy Moss. Yeah, Randy Moss did play for Patriots for a while, didn't he? Yep. I mean, Randy Moss was the reason they won a couple championships. Moss was always good. Like, he, he's always been great. Oh, yeah. Um, And Johnny Johnny says he will he doesn't think we'll ever see another Brady and Moss QB wide receiver duo. I would argue... It'll be tough. I would argue if Tyreek Hill would have stayed on the Chiefs for his whole career, Mahomes and Hill would have been the same. Um, if Justin Ross is as good as he could be, or is as good is gonna be as good as he could be, I think Mahomes and Justin Ross could be the A next level. Duo. Yeah, the next level of uh, Brady and Moss. Jeez, you know what's wild, like. I, I talk anytime that we're talking football, right? I'm always talking about how Brady is like the best quarterback ever and my fa one of my favorites of all time, like my favorite quarterback. But he's not actually my favorite player. My favorite player of all time is Gronk. I mean, you just can't beat him. <laughs> Gronk's hilarious. Gronk he's... is amazing. <laughs> I mean, he even went on to have his own like YouTube channel eventually. <laughs> yeah, like he does so he goes he does WWE wrestling now. Yeah, like he's 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 a performer. He's not just he wasn't just a football player. He was a performer. Yeah, yeah no. He's awesome. Not too often you get somebody who's really good at what they do and is also like entertaining and hilarious. It's very rare to get a, a deadly combo like that. Um, Merle, you're thinking of Justin Ross's older brother, John Ross. John Ross retired. Justin oh, Ross. Oh, Adrian Peterson. Yeah, he, man. Adrian Peterson was another good player. I'm a. I'm an he was Vikings, Sooners right? Fan. Yeah, I'm an Oklahoma Sooners fan, so I watched him. I watched every game of his in college. Jeez. I didn't get to watch as many because he played for the Vikings. We don't get those games here. Oh, often. Deion Sanders. Yes, yeah, Sanders was great. Man. Do you so many Ty names Law? I haven't heard in so long. You... Oh, my gosh. Ty Law. Yes. Yeah, right? Ty Hall Law of Fame was good Chief. Too. Hall of Fame Kansas City Chief. Didn't he play for other teams as well? 
yeah, no. Um, he played for he played for the Patriots. And I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that's where I remember him from. Yeah, no, and then on the back end of his career, Bill Belichick wouldn't pay him. So hmm, uh, got you. He, okay, so I, that was probably big... after I stopped watching football because I don't remember him on the Chiefs. Yeah, uh, Bill Belichick wouldn't pay him, so um, he uh, signed his last like a last big contract with. Um, oh, there's a four with uh, the Chiefs. Yeah, jeez. I think he ended a chief. You know, I wonder how much. Uh, wonder how much the Patriots regret getting rid of Brady since he ended up winning as with the Buccaneers as well after they got rid of him. <laughs> um, I don't think they did. It, it, it was he wasn't gonna win with New England again. Probably just because um, of the rest of the players wasn't as good of a team as a whole as before yeah well it was gonna take longer to rebuild and he didn't he knew he didn't have that many years left in him and to rebuild that team he wasn't gonna win another super bowl with them they knew they were gonna win another super bowl with brady brady went to a team that was a that had superstars at every other position except yeah for like quarterback. yeah it was pretty good that was the last time I actually like kept up with a Super Bowl. Like I was watching all the highlights and stuff online because I was like, I gotta see if Brady's gonna win this. Like, yeah, it helped that um, the Chiefs had no offensive tackles. Like, they literally were playing with. They only had one offensive start, one starter on the offensive line, and the rest were third string or below. That's how injured our offensive line was for that Super Bowl. Jeez. And they and the Buccaneers had one of the best defensive lines in the last like five six years so yeah that that was not gonna end well no matter what also who was, um who was uh what's his face who was aaron Rodgers like running back in his early days with the packers i can't remember his name no oh, um, i remember Ahmaud, he was decent Ahmaud though Brad no 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 i'm on green no Somebody in chat um, just mentioned Amon, Amon Green, and I was thinking, is that the Packers one? Was like, it was it Amon Green or was Amon I think Green it might a have Jet? Been. Oh, it might have been Jets. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been the Jets. It was um, not no Eddie Lacy. No, he's not thinking of Eddie Lacy. Um, oh god, I had him in fantasy football. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna leave that guy. Um, right here it's saying like for early 10 the 2010 oh this is just showing the 2010 ones uh, let's see let's try 2014 if you want if you want Rodgers Eddie Lacy's early, in here and if you want early Rodgers early would be like be, 2007 right around that yeah, time 2007, 2007 2008 eight, yeah something like that Ryan Grant Mm, keep going. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't seem right. Maybe it's 2005. I'm trying to remember what Madden I played that was like. Man, is this Tony Fisher? No. 2007 or was, 2006 um... maybe? There's there was definitely one. Yeah, Amon Green like... was 2006. Okay, it was, I think Amon Green was the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, probably. That probably is. Corey Dillon, everybody's saying. Corey Dillon, that's, I was thinking of a mongrel. That's not the one that I was thinking. Yeah, Corey Dillon's not the one I was thinking of. Because I just remember playing, like, some of the old Madden games back in the day. And, like, the only yeah. ones that I... Ooh, that's a big five. The only ones that I played around that time was Madden 04, 05, 06, and 07. It was in that time frame. And, uh... I remember, like, 2006 and 2007 were the ones I played the most. So that makes sense. That must be a solo that respawned there. Oh, my heart rate drop. Hey, Johnny, I'm doing good. I really ended game. Love it. Come on, die. Thank you. Holy. Yeah, they don't, Shady. They don't drink up there anymore. And there's only one zone at the lower Pukimaro Lake. They moved them around a decent bit uh, when they did the redistribution. Boom! Another little dimey boy. 
Little dimey feller. Oh, two males over there. What? That's crazy. B Jones is back. He can he can help us out with this. Beautiful, uh, beautiful. With this Aaron Rodgers early running back question. Yeah, do you remember James Starks? Do you remember James all Starks. the? Uh, oh, it was James Starks? That's that, one of them. That does sound familiar. I definitely think it was Amon Green that I was thinking of, though. I, I th yeah, I think Amon Green is who I was thinking of. Tony Stark. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think he was a pretty good one. Yeah, Amon Green was really good. But the fact that we're just naming off all these running backs, like, oh, he was pretty good. Oh, he was pretty good. He was pretty good. That's why running backs <laughs> are getting paid. Like, because if you're playing with an all-star quarterback, the boxes aren't going to be st stacked, and it's going to be easier to get a lot of yards. I feel like there was a lot of good running backs. Like, there's been a lot of good running backs throughout history. And that's because running back is so heavily dependent on the offensive line. Yeah. Oh, I'm not shooting that thing. I'd say it's probably much more difficult to be a good receiver or quarterback. Yeah, the hard, I think probably the hardest, one of the hardest positions is probably defensive back. Just because yeah. of the Yeah, well, I'm just talking the, the offense at the moment, but uh, yeah, like... Or wait, yeah, that is a... Uh, no, no, defensive no, that, no, yeah, that is. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's line... Or er, offensive lineman is... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, DB, it's just because of the way the rules are, the NFL rules, they, they're they written to literally make it easy to score. And because they, they want higher scores in the game because it's more entertaining and more people watch high score games than low score games. Yeah, which so, makes sense. Right, so they rewrite the rules to favor the to make it easier for the offense. Got you. Right. What would you say it was your has always been like your least favorite team? Like the, the team Broncos. where you go up against them, you just you just Denver hope Broncos. you decimate them. Denver Broncos every time. Broncos because <laughs> I lived in Colorado as a Chiefs fan, and they were the biggest a holes all yeah. the time, <laughs> constantly. I'd say for me, it's like a top four. There was four teams that I notably disliked and wanted to wanted the Patriots to crush them every time they'd go against each other. It was always the, well, obviously, like, Jets, Bills, Dolphins, duh. But um, Seahawks. Never liked the Seahawks because everybody in Oregon is obsessed with Seahawks because they're the closest thing we have to a team. And I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. yeah, and... And I had friends that would always just, like, rave about Russell Wilson. And I was like... Russ Cook. I, don't, I was like, Brady is going to absolutely slaughter Russell. I'm sorry. Russ, Russ was cooking something in Denver, and everybody got food poisoning. <laughs> hey, Hunter. Yeah, Russell buddy? Wilson was one of those quarterbacks where it's like, he could run the ball out of nowhere and catch you off guard, but he that was about it. He was hard to predict, but he wasn't necessarily, like, the best quarterback. Is that a... He was decent, so, but this is a level four fallow that has like um, honestly, I feel like, like that's kind of like how Cam Newton always was for me as well. It's like Cam Newton was someone who had a lot of potential, but I don't ever think he fully unlocked his potential. Yeah, Cam Though, was also played for the Panthers before they got their new owner. Yeah, Panthers is when I remember him, like Panthers for uh, for Newton. Yeah. I don't know what he did after that because I stopped watching football in 2014, but I don't think he ever made it to a Super Bowl, did he? Who? Newton. Uh, Yeah, Kim Newton did. Uh, he lost to the Broncos. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Still hasn't unlocked his full potential. <laughs> yep. He lost to Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's rough. Do I mean, like at least... I'd rather lost to like Manning than some other quarterbacks, I guess. Yeah. Because Manning's Manning's always been a great quarterback. Best wide always... receiver this year. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna always say Tyree Kill. Uh, his route running is 
very underlooked because of how fast he is. Is it root running or route running? Root route doesn't matter. Potato the, potato. The root the root for the route. Yep. I'll be rooting for a route. Kenneth with the five gifted. Him. Thank you, dude. Congrats to Peyton, Preston, Gabriel, Jake, and Riley. You all got gifted memberships. Be sure to say thank you to Kenneth. Manning sucked last year. In his last year, he couldn't throw over 20 yards, literally. I mean, he was he was a quarterback for a long time. So that would make sense. That would make sense. It's kind of like how Brett Favre was kind of bad his last couple years, too. Just at some point, at some point, you just get to a point where you just don't have it in you anymore because you've been playing for so long. You know, that that was honestly pretty sad. Like, when I got into football, it was right at the end of Brett Favre's career. So I didn't get to, like, I didn't get to, like, be a football fan while he was doing good still. I started watching football when he was in his last couple years and he was playing really terribly. And it was like, man, I missed his prime. Ooh, a new zone. Looks like it's a solo leaveable. So oh yeah, I've it. heard the uh, I've heard the NFL is kind of a meme nowadays. I have heard it, that. Yeah, no, in 2013 they passed a they they won a Supreme Court case allowing them to officiate games in a manner that created drama in order to better their ratings. Well, that because, sucks. Yeah, so they can't, but they can't, the where it crosses the line is if they, it affects points directly. So, yeah. they can't appoint, like, they can't affect points directly, but that's why they officiate their games uniquely compared to other leagues where every referee crew has a certain set of points of emphasis. So they'll say, okay, uh, referee, crew, referee crew A, you're refereeing the chiefs Bengals game. We want you to emphasize um, pass interference and defensive holding this game. And we want you guys to call those if you see them, even if they're ticky-tack, because we well, want to make sure. That's so trash. <laughs> right? And that then so garbage. They're going to call that tighter. And then they'll say referee crew B, okay, for the, this for the same week, you're refereeing the Bills-Jets game. We want you to emphasize offensive holding and we want you to emphasize this, this, and this and call those, even if it's a little bit ticky tack, we want to make sure this is that's played. Those things are played tight. So over the season, what they do is they see where teams are committing penalties or statistically, like let's say, so the chiefs defensive backs are um, well known for being too handsy like the um yeah the year that we played brady in the super bowl our defensive backs got called for holding all the time and they still did it right but the thing is they they held on so many plays and didn't get called so much that they're like okay well we'll take the risk of the refs not seeing it if we can hold a little bit and get away with some stuff that's what they said so and then the first quarter of the super bowl or the first half of the super bowl they were calling every holding penalty and pass interference and penalty into the point where Jeez. the head referee set a record of most penalty yards against a single team in a half. And the Chiefs got more penalty yards in a single half against them, against the game against Tom Brady, than, any te than two teams have gotten in a single half combined. Got and, you. And, uh, yeah. So the thing is, and then the uh, there are certain NFL partners that get those that get these um, weekly briefings. Like, hey, this refer this this referee crew is focusing on these these and these calls. So then, Got like you. the uh, so like the casinos and the betting partners will say, okay, so if you know the referees are calling holding really tight this game on this week which team, you know, tends to hold more often. And then they'll adjust their betting lines accordingly. Gotcha. So, bro, bro what do you think I'm going to get yes. next? Do you think I'm going to get great one, super rare, or regular rare next? What do you think? Great one, super rare, regular rare. It's fallow? Yeah, it's fallow, dear. Great one. Great one? Okay. We're at 428 yep. kills. That is the range, like, where I've been getting a lot of them. Yep. So, 
here, here's the thing about the Chiefs Bengals and uh, and the Chiefs Eagles. I saw a lot of penalties they didn't call against the Chiefs and Chiefs Bengals late, right? And I saw a lot of calls they a lot of calls they didn't call against the Bengals late. But yeah. then they then they call them then never mind, hold on let me restart because I'm tired. Yes, start over. Um, let me and I also need to get on the main menu. It's crazy because people complain. People complain about non-calls, like, oh, I can't believe you called that so I can't believe you made this call so late in the game. How could you change how could you change the outcome of the game with a with a penalty call so late in the game? And then you also get people who complain about them not calling penalties late in the game. And it's like, okay, what what do you want? You want them to call penalties? You don't want them to call penalties? Because if they're not I calling think penalties, personally, I just want to call them I just want them to call it accurately and be like consistent across every right. single game. And That's some people what I would don't. prefer. Some people don't. They just they they're like I I just want. I just want my team to not get penalties. Gosh, dude. It's exactly what it comes down to. <laughs> it's like, but like yeah, shut up. <laughs> so if if the refs are not gonna call penalties in like the end of the games, why would you not just commit a ton of penalties? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> what 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 do you want here? Gotta love it, 1 man. Ooh, one a.m. No wonder no one's in that server. What we got for ah, dude, three fives in a row. <laughs> things are to. things are going wild. We might uh we might be hitting a hot streak here. That's a lot of fives in one run. Holy, that one's not gonna make it though. Uh, yeah, Glasser, they are. And family members, referees have family members in certain organizations, and they are allowed to ref those games too. College football is better than NFL. Prove me wrong. I would have to agree in a lot of cases, yes. I don't disagree. Yeah, college football has always been a lot of fun to watch. I feel like they're not as strict with things, or they're not, they don't have as many like strict rules, and they're a little bit better with how they call things. <laughs> And like everybody's trying to prove themselves, right? So like everybody's playing yeah. playing their butts off, man. Yeah, I would say that college football is definitely more entertaining. And like all the different bowl games is always so much fun. <laughs> yeah, they don't really have those too much. There's not really any bowl games that matter anymore. Yeah, it's just like the main, main ones, right? Yep. There's like four. It's like a two. Like there's two playoff games and then the championship. Yeah, maybe I'll start watching college football again because it's always been better than NFL, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Oh, eh. I got a weird looking four again. I I do you do you go for? Would you root for like watch Oregon games like the Ducks? Oh yeah, I've always liked the Ducks. Well, the Pac-10 is a mess, so. This might not be a great year to watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the whole conference is a mess because USC and uh, UCLA left the conference. And they can't oh, get really? a TV deal. Yeah, they can't get a TV oh, deal. Oh, man. So. I remember they like were always like major, like yeah. major threats against like in Oregon games, right? Yep. Yeah, they left the pack. They left the pack. So. Was it, wasn't it UCLA that beat them in like a major bowl game? A like in, in like remember. 2013 2014 range it was it was one of those two teams either either UCLA or USC like one of them I yeah. remember it was it was I think it's for the championship actually against the Ducks I'm pretty sure and the Ducks lost just barely I remember by like the, three points or something I remember the Ducks beat the Sooners I was pissed about that yeah actually now that I think of it um who did who did Cam Newton play for in college? Uh, Auburn. In my, I think it was Auburn, actually. I think Auburn beat the Ducks, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like that was a thing. I think Auburn beat them in the championship. They might have. I can't. College football, I can't remember as well. Yeah, I think that's what it was. That, that seems familiar. Because I remember that was like a year or two before Newton went to the NFL. 
And that was like one of his last like ma actually that might have been his last like major college game. I can't remember. I think it might have been. But yeah, I remember Auburn like upset them one year pretty badly and I was so disappointed. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, ah, oh, come on, man. Ducks were so close. Yeah. It was Auburn with Cam? I thought so. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. That was a that was a sad time, man. <laughs> sad time. I dude, I think the Ducks are the only football team at all that I have like hats. Like I have duck I have a few different duck hats. Yeah. The only football team I ever actually like bought like stuff that was related to them. Nah, so here's the thing. All you got to say about like, the Chiefs Bengals game was rigged. Listen, go back and watch the Chiefs Patriots 2018 AFC Championship game. Brady's last uh, last uh, AFC Championship with the Patriots. D Ford, our defensive end, had been lining up on the line all game and asking the referee, hey, am I good? Am I on sides? And the referee would give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down or tell him to scoot back if he was off sides. And he did that every down the entire game. And he would look to the ref. The ref would tell him if he was on sides or off sides. And then the last drive of the game where Tom Brady's driving down the field to win the game, D Ford looked to the ref to see if he was on sides or off sides. Ref didn't give him a signal. And D Ford was trying to like get a hold on, like, hey, am I on sides or off sides? And the ref just looked at him. Wouldn't give him a signal. Would not give him a signal. Um That's super white. Okay. That's so email. is it are they supposed to do that or are they not supposed to? I'm confused. They, no, they they can do both. So they they can or can't. It's up to the ref. But so the ref made a choice. The ref made a choice to help to tell D Ford, hey, you're off sides. Every time, every week. And, and D4 knew this referee. This referee had repped a ton of games. And he did it for him in all those games. And then the last drive where Tom Brady's driving down the field to win, the referee just decided not to tell him if he's on sides or off sides. And then as soon as the ball was snapped, D4 got called for off sides and uh, it negated the interception that would have sealed the game and won it for the Chiefs. And Jeez, that's wild. so Tom Brady got an interception wiped off the board and they continued their drive. And they got a first down and they ended up winning. So what do you want? What do you want? You want them to call penalties or not? Because if they're calling penalties and it goes the Chiefs way, you're gonna think it's you're gonna think it's rigged the Chiefs way. If they don't call penalties, you're gonna think it's rigged the Chiefs way either way. Because that's how <laughs> I felt with the Patriots. No matter what, I felt like the it was rigged for the Patriots. I'd say you yeah. can probably point to most teams and there's calls that seem rigged. Oh yeah, the teams that win, like the it's teams that are really, thing. really good, teams that are really good, you hyper analyze those teams. Oh yeah, you're like, are they playing? Are they playing legit? What's going on here? Yeah, we do it in Call of the Wild too. Yeah, right. We see somebody we, we, with like we a jump ton of really onto good a trophies. server. We jump on a server and we're like, hmm, check all the zones. Let's see. Okay, no yep. zones, no zones. Okay. Oh, this guy's yeah. level 120. Up, oh, cheater. Get him out of here. Or you go into Chips Lodge and you see like. 10 diamond red deer and you're like all he, he shot them all at the same time what's happening yeah. man he shot them all in a couple of minutes and you're like oh uh, that's fishy that's fishy is he cheating and, and it's like Chip's oh like, no he, oh you don't manage dude yeah no he's a chip's like oh no i just managed these down <laughs> and just shot them all the nines after he'd managed them to a couple zones 23 yeah, yeah exactly 23 20 freaking three man that's just crazy you know what would be even crazier? You shot all 23, didn't claim any of them till they were all down, and then went through and claimed them all in consecutive order. <laughs> right. You'd literally have 23 red deer claimed within three minutes at that point. That'd be wild. Right. Oh, I, you guys want to hear another? You guys want to hear another um, stat that's really going to bum you out if you have a, a small market team or a bad quarterback? Um, and I think the 2017 playoffs when the Chiefs lost to the Steelers 
the there was a report that comes out about like the potential earnings from marketing that the NFL would get from its uh, from like TV marketing, like people paying for commercials and stuff. Yeah. And the NFL, if the Chiefs would have beaten the Steelers and advanced to the next round of playoffs, um, the NFL would have made more than fifty million dollars less than if the Steelers <laughs> won. If That's the Steelers crazy. won and went on to the next round of the playoffs, they the NFL made fifty million dollars more. Talk about incentives, am I right? Fifty million dollars more, because that team, that team is a bigger market, has more viewers, and they had a good and they had like a, a good like ele- like electric quarterback with a high scoring offense. So nice happiness. Gonna, that's awesome. So yeah, why would why wouldn't the NFL? Why wouldn't the NFL call games to make themselves more revenue without yeah, actually that's, affecting? That's the sport? when, like, as an underdog team, you just got to try extra hard. You just right. got to try extra hard and make make sure you don't uh, get any penalties. Don't do exactly. anything that could get you one. Yep. Which and means you're working double time. Like, you got to play better yeah. without other- getting too, like, handsy with anybody. And the other team can cut corners and they can play sloppy. Yeah, that's they can wild. play sloppy and not have to worry about it as much. That's wild, man. Yeah, that's why. Like, if you don't have one of the top five quarterbacks in the game, I just don't care. Just, just be a casual fan. Just be a casual because you're just gonna get heartbroken. Look at look at the the past Super Bowls in the past twenty years. How many times since since the year two thousand? How many times has this? a non elite superstar quarterback won the super bowl how many times like two or three remember. and it's all <laughs> early 2000s not a single time not a there's besides like the early 2000s when before they had made the major rule changes of in 2010 2010 they made major rule changes to benefit the passing game yeah. And since 2010, I think there's been, if I remember right, only one time when a top five scoring quarterback was not the winner of the Super Bowl. So, if you uh, if you are if you're a fan of a small market team that doesn't have an elite quarterback, good luck. Cough, cough, Vikings fans. I love you guys. <laughs> Poor you're Vikings. In a, you're you're in for a rough, rough time. Uh, you're in for a rough time. Unless Kirk Cousins can be friggin' amazing. Damn, brother. You guys aren't going to make it. Uh, My chat's calling cap on you. For what? <laughs> the Vikings fans are calling cap, I should say. I'm sorry, guys. I know Minnesota. I know St. Charles. And um, is this St. Charles? And the other, what is the other city? Other city there. Saint, no, it's St. Paul. Yeah, St. Paul. St. Paul and uh, whatever the other city is, it's right there. I know those are, that's a pretty big market. They're like middle of the pack, but I, I know your pain. I had that pain, but <laughs> you aren't, you aren't going to get the calls, guys. No one says he forgot the he forgot the Vikings even existed. <laughs> oh man, Justin Jefferson's an incredible receiver, maybe the best receiver, maybe the best receiver in the game. Minneapolis St. Paul, that's right, Tom. Maybe he maybe he is maybe he is. That don't matter. That don't matter. Oh man, when when DBs can hold. Justin Jefferson can be the, he, be the best receiver all time, but that doesn't matter if the DBs are allowed to hold and get handsy. How many kills in am I? 444. Which is two or we've killed 360 fallow or 364 fallow today alone. My brain is melting is. at this point. What? What do you think a spum lord is? I don't know. Oh, well, they're in this server with me. 
Uh, they're like a, they're an actual human spider, and they're spinning webs. They spun some webs, you know. The only thing I can think of makes no sense. Nope, this is spum, not oh. slum. It's spum. I thought you said spun. No, S P U M. Spum. Something tells me I don't want to know. Yeah, that might be a question I don't want the answer to, honestly. Yeah, I don't want the answer to that. Who knows what that could mean? Hello? Hello, do your flyings. Mm, there we forever, go. I'm doing it. I'm Googling it. Oh, God. Shoot in the tree! Oh, Lord. Um, Should I have not said it out loud? Let's just say it comes from the second word in your grinding method. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, bro. <laughs> I should not have said that out loud. I, I don't. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I mean, oh, it's not Lord. the worst thing that somebody could have their name as. It's not great, but it isn't like it's not nearly as bad as oh, some other God. things I've seen people call themselves in game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Robert done got got. I tell you. <laughs> Um, I can't say what it means, Ultra. There's kids watching. Oh, that was a terrible shooting. <laughs> uh, how long do you want to keep doing Call of the Wild? Um, I don't know. I'm good to keep going. It's a great lag, goose. Yeah, brother. Hey, hey. Where it's a goosey. Going? Where you going, Lassie? Lassie? Lassie goosey. Lassie goosey. <laughs> oh, uh, my gosh. You got to start seeing some raccoon dogs here sometime, huh? Oh, really, Lone? Wild. <laughs> yeah, Julian, that's what I'm saying. Don't look it up. <laughs> don't look it up. You don't want to know. Sorry, folks. That's I crazy. You're just got, reading you, multiplayer you names. You done got got, brother. I know. I'm just reading multiplayer names. Come on. <laughs> Get me, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. You know what I'm saying? That Kit Kat bar will take you far. Here, I'm going to. Did you look up the definition yourself? No, should well, I? Well, I'm sending you. I'm sending you this uh, oh in Discord so you can read it. <laughs> Where is he? Oh my god, really? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of my very first Xbox gamer tag. I'm going to send it oh, to you. Oh gosh. <laughs> Here's my. That's my very first that can't Xbox be a gamer. Good thing. That's my very first uh, Xbox Let gamer tag. That's just wild, man. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't get banned <laughs> for so long. <laughs> oh man. Gosh. Um, why does why does that name fit you so well? I, I, right. Right? If I wasn't family friendly, that would be my name. <laughs> yeah. That would literally be your channel name. Dude, I. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and taking, I'd be like, taking me back to the, the early 2010s Counter Strike, am I right? Right? I'd be like. And I mean, that's. I mean, that's when I was playing with it, too. I'd be like. Jeez. Like, you just got. You just got drilled by. You know, and I'd say it, <laughs> you know, over the. Of the voice chat, you know. Oh my gosh! Like you, you're at ha you're at, you're at halftime in a CS:GO match where everybody used to like scream at each other for thirty seconds. Yep. Oh yep. my gosh! 
It was Man, mostly I remember. it was Call of Duty and uh, Halo, Halo Three, and like Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare Two, is basically, or Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Two, is where I would be screaming all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Chip, I'll DM it to you too. <laughs> or I'll just put, I'll just put it in Tackle Tuesday. <laughs> and. Oh, Anyone man. who's in that Tackle Tuesday chat who is not watching is going to be very confused as why I put <laughs> that word in there. <laughs> yep. Man. <laughs> you got some bleach? My eyes kind of hurt from what I just read. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. That's not what I expected. I thought it was probably like just some random word somebody made up and that's what i thought that's what i thought i mean technically it's a random word somebody made up but it's got meaning okay all right well he's that's there, wild so bro leaving. that's wild kind of funny a, that's a good that's a good name isn't it chip Uh, okay, lots of Emerald Coast still up. Yeah, my old names aren't nearly as cool as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Could go to Rancho. Unfortunately, I was one of the uh, knockoff FaZe Clan type of type of kids when I did my gaming back when I was like 14. <laughs> like I'd play Counter Strike and like we'd be like Fate instead of FaZe. And then we'd have like a short name after, like I was Fate three three eight L. You know what we could do, guys? We could it go would? check out the Gator population on my Mississippi. Where is it? There it is. I'm good, Will. How are you? Good to see you, buddy. Be happy you uh, joined Berber's stream now and not five minutes ago. <laughs> no, he's Will's been in here, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't look that up, Will. Don't, put <laughs> Don't do it. Don't computer search history. Your parents will be very upset. Blue's here. He wants attention. Of should we course. Try to, should we try to hunt with Blue here real quick? Come on, do buddy. it. That's like a, that, that's a video idea right there. Let's I, I did Hold a great on. one grind with my dog laying on my lap the whole time. Oh no! I butt shot a doe! I see Mrs. Crow in the chat! Holy! I had to make that rhyme. I'm gonna have to yell because he's oh, between no. me and the microphone. Oh no. <laughs> Rover yelling is not a good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just talk like this. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, it's not peaking, okay. surprisingly. Okay. It's still like normal levels. It's just you sound farther away. <laughs> oh, crud. I can't see the keyboard. Oh, well, maybe good. you shouldn't game with a dog on you. Hey, B. Jones. B. Jones. Can you tell? Can you text Sarah and tell her that Blue's on stream so she can see him? My <laughs> wife is out of town, so he needs attention. He's very needy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is him. That's oh, bro, bro. This is Blue. Say hi. Bro, Bren is pupper. What are you doing? That's bl that's Blue smelling. I was gonna the say, what are you doing to your Did microphone? You I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. <laughs> Could you hear it? Yes, I could hear that. I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, he was snipping it. Dude, not being able to see what you're doing and hearing those sounds. Yeah, <laughs> I'm concerned now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got to hold him with one arm, and I can't play this one. <laughs> Buddy, this is not going to work. I'm sorry. You're just you're too big. You're Holy. too big. I'm going to have to put you down, okay? Yeah, Ys, we got some cool stuff. We got a lot of diamonds, and we got two pie balls. Uh, one All of the right. diamonds was a 255 scoring level four, which was kind of crazy. Say bye. Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Blue. Bye-bye. I'm like CJO with Rue. 
This is my <laughs> child. This is my baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hold on. I'm gonna put him down. Oh lord! Oh god! Holy! 459 kills. Let's go! It's called the wild pay to win. No, it's not pay to win because you're not competing for anything, and you're not being like prevented from hunting anything either. Because even though the reserves cost money. You can play them for free in multiplayer, so it's not pay to win. Pay to win would entitle that you're competing for something, right? Or that would entail that you're competing for something. Ooh, but you're okay, not, okay. you're hunting. Whew, okay. We're there. We're back. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, you're essentially paying for more variety. But you're not going to get an advantage just because... Just because uh, you don't have the DLCs, right? You can still have a ton of fun playing without them. Because, again, it's not like a competitive game. <laughs> um, uh, what type of DLCs, uh, Gavin? Let me know what DLCs it is. Honey, if you rewind the stream a little bit, you'll be able to see him. Mr. Blue Skidoo. Hold on. She texted me something. The big four. Bum, 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 bum. You like, did the melody of this song so perfect. Uh, yeah. Hello, Bree. <laughs> um, hey, I'm being hit. I'm going to change the time here. 43.98. Not a bad one. Just weapons, equipment, and stuff like that. Oh, that yeah, that has no effect on your animals. Buying, like, new weapons and equipment isn't going to affect your animals that you're getting. Uh, the animals, in terms of, like, rares, is just RNG. Um, diamonds seem to be based on, like, how many low levels are on your map. Like, the more low levels you have, the more chances the game's going to spawn you some higher, higher levels. And uh, in terms of, like, great ones... They seem to be, for the most part, RNG. It's possible that, like, having a lot of low levels on your map helps with that as well, but a little bit harder to tell with that one. But yeah, it's it's RNG. There should be no difference in what you get. I'd say, if anything, you're probably just learning more about the game. Probably just been playing longer as you go as you're getting these things, so... Weird. Naturally, as you play more, you're going to learn more about the game and get better and know where to go for, like, seeing more animals. Seeing more animals will equal more chances of seeing uh, rare animals, so. How did I become Scarecrow? Well, you see, there was one day where I was walking along the road and a crow ran away from me and I was like, I scared that crow. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Scarecrow was his name. A couple I'm of guys. I was scared of the crows, <laughs> don't you knows? <laughs> yes, and dropping honey, sick I... flows. <laughs> yes, sir. I know you miss him because you get onto our indoor camera and you talk to him through the camera. <laughs> I, that's how. I, that's how I. Hey, that's how I know you miss him. <laughs> We've tried Doesn't talking. We've tried talking to Aaliyah and also the pets through like the the baby monitor, right? Yeah. And it scares the crap out of them, so we just stopped doing it. <laughs> yeah, she scared Blue too. <laughs> he got real scared. It's like yeah. a ghost. Like a ghost. That's exactly how Lacey was. Like the first time Lacey heard it, like she was whining for the rest of the night. Like she was so <laughs> terrified. She was like, "Ah, oh, there's this voice over here." And it was like, oh no, poor puppy. Now we don't do that anymore because she got scared. Pepperonis. Yeah, we're super close to 130k now. It's crazy. What are we at right now? <laughs> we're at 127,201. You know what's really sad? Blue. Um, Blue will wait for Sarah on a chair at the front window. And he'll yeah. wait for her to pull in, and then he'll get really excited, and he will wait all day. And because that's what he does, normal day, he'll sit there and he'll just wait for her to come home, and then he'll get really, really excited <laughs> when she comes home. 
and he, every day he's been waiting in that chair from from morning he's like till, so dad yep. when's she getting back sunrise to sunset he looks for his mom every Aww. day and she never comes home that's that was how our last dog was uh gosu was obsessed with brie because like you know he's he was with her ever since he was a little puppy right for the most part and so yeah he would sit by the door the entire time and anytime she'd be walking around the house he'd follow her he'd literally be like attached to her leg the whole time <laughs> tripping yeah. her up all that type of stuff and anytime that she'd be gone like he'd be whining and whining at the yep. door trying to get out trying to follow her yep um nah he uh he follows me pretty much now he's down here with me but uh mostly he is just sitting there waiting for her he gives up now after the sun goes down and she's not home that's when he gives up and comes hang and hangs Wait, out with me what the Oh, for sure, Will. For sure. I got to clip that. I got to watch what just happened there. How did I miss that shot? How did I miss that shot? I got to watch this back. Five. I got to see what just happened there. I, I swear I didn't miss that, right? This is one of those. This is that weird techno baby song. It's like Techno Viking, but Techno Baby. What? <laughs> what just happened there? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did. I'm watching it back on the replay. I... How did I miss that? What's Simon for Whitetail? I mean, all you guys got to do is just uh, go back like one minute or so in the, in the stream to when I took that shot at that deer. I was aimed right behind its shoulder. Zero to 150, by the way. It went through it. It 100% went through the fallow deer. Like, did not even connect. And that's about... About 229, there would not have been enough bullet drop for that to miss at all. And it completely missed. That was crazy. Well, that's going to be a short. The deer are ghosts! Woo! A lot of freaking white tail. There's a lot of white tail on uh, Mississippi. Must be a pain to grind, or else everybody be grinding here, right? See, like that one died instantly. It did go through. That's what I'm saying, Cooper. Like, what happened there? I'm going to have to watch it back in the actual stream instead of my um, my replay. Because on the actual like stream, I can slow Find it down it. to like 50% speed um, in the stream replay, that is. I don't think you can right now, but um, after the stream is done, you'll be able to go back and do like half speed, like quarter speed. Really see what happened. <laughs> that was just so weird. Like that hit perfect. That was the weirdest thing ever, man. By the way, 470 kills. I think I got to like. Couldn't be me. Um, I think I got to like ninety kills, ninety or ninety-five, maybe even. Because what? When Moving we up at in the, the world, beginning, bro, bro. At the beginning, I said what, like eighty-nine. And then no, you were at like seventy-eight. Oh, seventy-eight. Okay, so then I probably got to close to eighty-five, eighty-nine, today. Yeah, Good about hundred. We'll just say you hit ninety. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's a couple you forgot to count previously anyways. I'm sure there probably is. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Hello, Let's little fella. I don't know, I'm running through the water. It's taking forever. Because, Wait, Archer, well. great ones. That's hey, how. Death Reaper. I'm going for great ones. Every time I go to a zone, it's like a it's like a slot machine. It's like, am I gonna roll the great one today? Or am I gonna get a super rare there or a, a giant rare? Or is there gonna Ooh. be a diamond there? You know. 
That's vitals. I can Gold. do this all day. And I do. <laughs> 222. Well, see you later. How many diamonds today? 20, I believe. Yeah, I think it's been 20. In 471 kills. I kind of wow. want to go hunt some bobwhite quail. 390 today alone, I think. Yeah, 390 of them are today. There we go. Oh, Bobby Dubs. Do you know what uh, the slang term for Bob White Quail is? No clue. Bobby Dubs. Bobby Dubs. Bobby Dubs. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That that is great right there. Yep. That is that is wonderful. How do you go or how do you kill like a hundred by tail in an hour when I can get like twenty in two hours? Um, I don't kill a hundred an hour anymore. It's a little bit tougher with some of the changes they've made. I kill between like eighty or well, between like seventy five and ninety an hour. But it's honestly just about positioning of your tents and picking zones that are in convenient spots. Great. Like for example, right here with the fallow, I get about seventy to eighty five per hour. And you've you've seen how I've been doing it. It's just a matter of getting a very efficient setup with your tents. And like figuring out which zones reliably get respawns so you're not going to have to chase them around. Because uh, some zones, they're going to be inconsistent at first. Like they're not going to get the respawns always going back there. Sometimes they'll go to other places. Like whenever I'm starting my grind, like I'm hunting every single zone that I find and I'm paying attention to which ones of those zones are reliable and consistent and get their bucks back the fastest and most reliably and don't lose them. Uh, and then I use that to decide if I'm going to pick my, which zones I'm going to pick as my main zones. And then once I pick the main zones, I try to set up tents and claiming tents at them, which is why I've got tents that are across from each other like this. Because I've got two zones here that I hunt. I've got a tent on each of them, which means I can fast travel over to claim and then shoot the deer from over there, then fast travel back over to that tent and claim those, which saves a ton of time. Like, if you can get two zones that are between, like, 200 and 300 meters apart from each other, it's just, like, amazing for speeding up a grind. It is 4.40 in the morning at Kensko's house, and he's sending me friggin' Instagram reels. Kensko, why aren't you in chat? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, well, he's he's got to do like stuff at the hospital tomorrow, like internship Bruh. stuff. Kensko's just built different. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he can apparently. stay up for like seven days straight and not even feel it. How many fallow deer zones do I have? You've got thirty-three zones discovered. Five, six of them are solo buck zones. Do I kill them, or five or six of them are solo buck zones? Do I kill them off or keep them? Um, if you're doing herd management, you're going to want to shoot down those solo zones till they're low levels. If you're not doing herd management, you can just ignore them completely. Uh, but you should be about to your max zones. I think, I think I've got 37 of them right now, but you could have up to 45 depending on where they decide to spawn. Because everybody's zones will be in slightly different places, so depending on how lucky you get with the amount of zones on your map, like, for example, uh, you can have, like, two or three groups of animals using the same zone, so some people get a lot of, like, combined zones where there's, like, two herds there, which is what I was just doing with this zone right here. This is two different herds. If you get a lot of them that are combined with two different herds, then you will have a lower number of zones than somebody that has a bunch of zones with only one herd. Which is why the numbers vary so much. And You can also get a bunch of solos like sharing the same zone. Or you could get literally every single one of your solos to go to a different zone. So zone count can vary quite a bit. But usually it's between like 35 and 45 for fallow. As long as you're within that range, you've probably got the most, uh, the majority of them. Right, Thunder Turtle?
Oh my gosh. Uh, are you gonna be are you gonna make it the ultimate fishing sim? I don't know. I've been going for five hours and forty minutes on Fallow Deer. I don't think you're gonna make it. <laughs> well, when are you starting it? I could start it whenever. I think maybe I'll take a break before doing it. Like do a twenty minute break to go stretch. Yeah, you could do that and then I can get warmed up and try to level up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have my Chaco make fun of you for not knowing how to fish or something. Hey, I know how to fish. <laughs> I caught I caught a bluegill to take your hand clean off. Oh, I bet you did there, hey, brother. Hey, no kisses. No kisses. No kisses. Whoa, Stop. Stop now. Stop. Stop. No kisses. I can tell he's got a little bit of a crocodilly problem. Yeah, and that's we got a floating you better problem. Run. Feels bad. Floater problems, man. Whew. Hey, Croc Slayer. Hope you didn't see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um so if you're Yuck. yeah, since you're doing herd management, the solos, if they're a small three, like 150 scoring or lower, you can probably leave them. If they're a big three, like one of the larger ones that scores like 160s or 170s, I would probably kill them. And then um, just try to find where it respawns. That's the most annoying part about the solos is you don't know if they're going to respawn close to where you shot them or if they're going to be like a kilometer or two away. Kilometer. In fact, like uh, on the coast, on the coast uh, where we're hunting now, most of my solos, I didn't manage them all the way down. I just got them to be mid-sized threes or smaller. So I've got a few that score like 160s, 170s, but not all of them. Like, it's fine to leave a few that are bigger than what you want, but obviously the further you get them shot down, the better your HM's going to produce diamonds and stuff. The bat ah, turd management. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to take a break real quick, and then we're going to hop into probably some Ultimate Fishing Sim 2. So I'm going to take a 20-minute break, go probably grab a quick snack and get some, get a refill of water and stretch a little bit, and then we'll be back. So in the meantime, head over to Brobra Stream and uh, call him a nerd or something, and then, you know, watch him catch fish and shoot deer. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be fish back. Now. Yep, I'll be right back. You guys can go watch Brobra fish for a little bit. Fishing, ultimate fishing, Sam. I'm going to pop that guy up in there. Uh, Nate, Chip, do you have ultimate fishing, Sam? Chip? And Nate, if you want to hop in the VC and fish, hop in. Hey, Moonlight. What's up? Oh, that stinks, Nate. Um, can I sell? Do I have a thing? Open fishing net. Oh, I got an asp. Asp. We're going to sell that for some buckaronis here. Um, let's go fishing. Uh, the third. Third map's what we want. Hey, everybody. Yeah, let it.
Okay, we're back. We are back. Uh, yeah. Live streams do have breaks when it's a six hour live stream. I've been going for six hours at this point. But yes, we do have breaks in six hour live streams. All right, let's get the title change going. Um, hey, are you Hello. coming for this? Hi. Are you coming for this? Hold on, hold on. I got a big old pike. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Oh, dude, really? Uh, howdy, partner. Hi. So did uh, Nate or anybody else say they're going to join? Uh, Nate's internet is down. I don't know. Just Chip, you don't have a game, do you? I don't think he does, no. If he does, I didn't hear about it. Um, fish Planet don't really enjoy the shirts game. Just me, yeah. I heard that's that's pretty much what everybody says about Fishing Planet. Is like, Too if you have, yeah, if you have the time. There we go. There's another asp. How if did you, you get the, loud so like just out of nowhere? You're extra loud um, now for some reason. I don't know. Oh gosh, I do not know. All right, dropping you back down to 95% instead of 100. <laughs> One star asks, not even a personal best, $3.94. I got a I got a one-star pike and may pay Feels it bad, really dude. Well. Feels real. It paid really well. All right, everybody, for those that uh were not here before I went on break, we are jumping into Ultimate Fishing Sim 2 now. Uh, we did six hours of Call of the Wild, so now it's time to hop onto this. Oh, only six? Yeah, only six hours of Call of the Wild, okay. I know. I'm kind of slacking. I get it. I'm slacking, but it's what it is, man. Let's see. What do we want to do? I mean, I think we got to go to the same place that Brover's going just so we're on the same page, right? Yeah, I mean, you could you could show them the cool stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll work up to it, okay? We'll start out with this. Where, are, uh, you're at the Zalesi. Yeah. yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. third one. I did level up while you were gone. Nice. Love to see it. Rapala Pro Fishing World Sim. Have you ever played that? Rapala Pro Fishing World Sim? Yeah. Crow's quiet? Oh, I don't want to turn, I don't want to turn his volume up. I'm quiet! Ah! He's going to be screaming in my ear. Yeah. I gotta yell at Brover now, like extra loud. All right, there we go. Turned him up. Let me know if he sounds better. Oh wait, Hopefully. I got some new. I got new skills. Okay, one skill. What is this? Oh, I've done like a previous skill. Oh. We have anything that just the pike will bite on? Two Probably level, not. Level now, time you can earn extra coins. Is oh, What's this? we do. That's pike got only. Beautiful. Time it takes to get a bite. I don't want fish in aquariums, though. Skill point. Get tired 5% faster. Um, Eagle Eye. Oh, the preview. But okay, I see. Uh, where do we want to go to? I mean, I think we got to go to this little river back here. This is where Brober is going to be because I showed him this spot the other day and it's just insane for pike and everything else. It is so good. This little spot right here is just beautiful. I guess we'll do this one. Let's get our rod pod going. Ooh. Oh, oh, reward. Yay. Okay, cool. Get the bait out there for the carp. Oh, mirror carp is my daily quest. Oh, it is? Yeah, you can swap out a daily quest if you don't like it. I think you can swap it out once until you get a um, skill that allows you to swap it out twice. Oh, I need to fix okay. this real quick. Go to drag, crank that down a little bit. There we go. So hopefully we'll get a carp to bite that. I'm using my heavy ocean gear. I don't know if it'll work for stuff like that's smaller, but... I don't think it matters too much in this game. I think it's like Angler where like line strength doesn't really matter. Pretty sure at least. OK, 
Come on. Well, this one's actually putting up a... a oh, it's because my drag's real low. That's why. I was like, this guy's putting up a decent fight. He's a fighter. It actually it's might fighter, be... Brother. It's an asp, I think, so... Or is it a chub? Could be either. What is that? It's Come on, asp, little pike. Star? Ooh, personal record asp. Nice. Oh, we got a pike on. That's chip... That's not... Chip, that's not on the new server, right? The 1600 Extraordinary Kill? That's on your own server, right? Not on Crow's new server? Keep... Wait, what? Chip just said 1600 Extraordinary Kibble probably can shut down the kibble farm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not on the server I just started, no. Okay, I was like... If, he, if that was him, he would have he would have a problem, dude. Yeah, like, that, that would be the sign of a problem. Uh, Chip, we gotta get we you gotta talk to somebody if that was on Crow server. <laughs> yeah, after one day, <laughs> you, gotta, you, you gotta talk to somebody. Oh, that'd be this. crazy. Thanks, Kenneth. I I thought it was a pretty nice ASP too. Personal best. Great fish. Oh, that Love girl see hurt. Come on, man. That's a big old long fish down there. I bet it is. All right, we're going to have to... Let's just change setups. This is a bit too heavy for this area anyways. Go to something that there gives them go. a chance. There we go. Let's do something that gives them a little bit of a nice. chance, okay? Got a little perch. One star perch. Perch, huh? I'll take that perch. <laughs> oh, bro, bro. Actually, this is the wrong type of rod. Um, wow. I know, right? Crazy. Thought you were a professional. I yeah, I thought I was too, but I was wrong. Mister, I'm level a trillion. I'm one trillion levels above bro, bro. Welcome back, Charlie. Hello, Bree. Uh, are there rock drakes on this new map? I have no clue. I would assume probably there since it's no flyers. Be. Oh, there's a perch. Come on. I just need this XP, you know what I'm saying? What am I going for? We're going for northern pike and then carp as well. If the carp would ever bite, it seems they don't want to right now. I might have to lower the line strength. I, don't, I didn't think that affected them in this game, though. Yeah, they don't seem to care at all. They're they're nowhere near that bait. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Go. Oh my gosh! Hit after hit. We're professional fishermen. We're just absolutely anglers. slapping them today. Nate, Nate can eat his heart out. <laughs> you think you're a fisherman, Nate? Look at me. Bro was a real fisherman. He's a loud fisherman too. Oh, geez, shut up, my boy. All right, have a good one, buddy. Thanks I want to know out. why your mic is suddenly getting really loud and peaking. Um, peaking? Me? Like, it's getting really... Um... Like, the closest I've heard it to peaking since you got your new mic. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Are you getting better closer now? than normal? I don't know. I might be, like, slouching and, like, aiming my head down into the mic. Oh, more. oh, that, yeah. I, <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I was just getting tired, so I was, like, slouching, so my head oh, was aiming gotcha. right into the mic See? instead of right over the mic. That's why I've got mine set up to, uh, to where I'm always talking directly into it. It can't do that then. Right, but then if I'm not tired, right, then I'm always talking, like, if I had it, like, I'd have to be, like, looking down all the time. So I have it so it's like where I'm normally at, you know? Got so you. Okay. Over it. I looked it up online. I watched a tutorial and they said for the sure, if you're like streaming, to have it like where you're like talking past it to stop the like the plosives and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yep, Kenneth, I do have a new mic. It, the new mic's great. Um, I can scream as loud as I want and I do not peek. It doesn't pop, crackle. Please don't nothing. give anybody a uh, a, a a little test. Or you gosh, don't want to test? What's I can the test word? It. What's the word? I'm trying. My brain is going blah after six hours of streaming. Yeah, same. Um, 
Don't give them an example. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> no examples, no. please. No, yeah, it's great. I um, I'm like, I literally did scream into the mic when I like was talking to Caitlin to test it, and uh, and it didn't totally kill fine. her on on mm -hmm. site. Nope, totally fine. Wow, there incredible. Hey, no benefit. How you doing? There we go. Actually, we should probably buy some carp hooks, right? Like, I feel that would make sense. Buy a carp hook for carp. One star chuck. You think that would make sense, Brober? Carp hooks for carp. Yeah, it seems, it seems too good to be true, to be honest. Seems way too logical, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's switch spots here. I have not fished at spot well let's go this way oh actually this is the spot crow told me to go not that other spot wait did you go to the wrong spot to start <laughs> yeah and i was like this spot sucks for pike what the heck is crow talking what about what is he talking about man he's there he's not <laughs> good bro yeah, like, this is dumb yeah let's go over here yeah let's try this I don't need to go to the same place that I made Brober go anymore because I, I got tackle that can handle the wide open waters now. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Real men. You got a fishy on? Sit up straight. I'm trying, Metellus. I'm trying. I'm, I'm tired. He's not trying, man. Oh, he ain't oh, trying. He's lying. I've been bailing hay. I'm bailing hay. Ba you That's all you can think hay? of. <laughs> you ever bailed hay? It is hard work, man. Yeah. You ever thrown a square bale? Oh, I, ooh, I have bailed, bailed hay, actually. Yeah. Moving up in the world, Brober. Look at that. These pretz. <laughs> all right, I see some pike dirty in here. Dog. Uh, yeah, no, throwing square bales, rough. I had, we were taking hay, my brother and I were taking hay up to this bison farm north of the river. And bison was, farm, eh? Yeah, it was a bison farm. And, uh, we had it on, uh, God, what do you call those trailers? It's like the, it's for, it's a trailer for round bales, and it's like a long skinny pole, and it's got like the... God, the tray that the round bales sit in. What do you call them? I'm blanking so hard. Yeah, I don't know, and, dude. And you basically just pull a lever, and then it just tips the, the round bales off, right? Yeah. We, we loaded these round bales up on this trailer, and it was we loaded them up like before the sun rose, right? And uh, and um. I guess because it, so they were sitting on the ground in the barn, right? Yeah. Loaded them on the trailer and the moisture. So the ground's warmer than the air, right? So there's moisture on the bottom of those round bales. Indeed. And, we put, and then we got them on, we got them onto the trailer. And then when they got onto the trailer, the cold air froze the bales to that, tra to the actual trailer. Got you. And, and so we didn't know that until we pull up and we're about to dump we're about to dump the round bales off the trailer down this they're gonna roll down the hill into the bison enclosure. And uh it's a nice little <laughs> it's a nice easy setup. Yeah. And so we pull the lever and the bales the the the, the trailer tips so the bales would roll off. But the bales don't come off because they froze to the trailer, and it just wrenches the whole back of the pickup. Oh gosh! Just like the whole back tires are off, the whole like bed, the bed is just twisted because it's got like four or five round bales. Like that's heavy. Four or five round bales stuck to that trailer, and it's just like up on one side. It was it was not good. Yeah, it's wild. That, tru that truck was a goner. Rest in peace, man. Rest in yeah. peace. Feels bad. Because Sucks to suck. All the all it, of the above. It was an old, it was an old, uh, F-250, um, called Jeez. it Whitey. 
truck's name was Whitey because it was white and we're very creative. Um, I've seen a 272 plus before, uh, Cooper. A couple people have got 272 for Probably basket rack. There we go. Come on, Pike, where are you? Oh, I missed a strike right as I said that. <laughs> I missed a strike, man. Oh, I, I don't know you what good. fish it was. Oh, we got a fish game. on the carp rod. Come on. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Is that... Do you like this? Is that an asp? No, it's a barbel. Okay, that's my first ever Why barbell. Why is my lure stuck? I don't know, dude. Why is it? It's stuck? That was the weirdest animation. I do not oh, know what completed happened Completed a quest. Boom. Uh, Hirschfelden? I don't dislike it, put it that way. Chip is living off gifteds, huh? Sounds about wow. right. Wow. Oh, that's a pike. That's a pike. Let's see if I can reel this one in, though. 33 pounds of garfish. We could probably do that. Oh, yeah. I think I could tire this guy out. Probably, bro, bro. I bet you can. You seem like a professional tire router. Yeah, I think this is a small pike. Oh, yeah, I'm getting this guy. Oh, yeah. I'm getting this guy. Amazing. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on. Got him. One star pike. 63 buckaronis. My guy looks like the... He looks like... My character looks like a dude who got fed up of living on the like living in the big city wanted to move off the grid and he like built a cabin out in montana you know to live alone and he like <laughs> like writes manifestos and stuff oh, that's dude, my this, character looks this like. mirror carp is so tiny <laughs> well, level five that does not look like there's there's that's not nine pounds that does not look like nine pound that that looks like a little two pounder or three pounder uh maybe four um, here's my question. But, <laughs> Do I get a new map at level five? Yeah, you should. Or, no, it's level seven, I think. Level seven? Yeah, level seven, I believe. Uh, Do I like middle school football? Where would you even watch that besides, like, a middle YouTube school. Where, like, I would watch it in middle school, I guess. No, I mean like on on like online and stuff. Wouldn't you just wouldn't that just be like games that parents upload to YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Um I put it this way. I like watching football. If like I had like a cousin or like a, a niece or a nephew that played, I would watch it. But I don't watch middle school football i guess just like general entertainment not as like, like a normal everyday thing yeah oh i mean it's i guess it's pretty common in like texas like small towns in texas like it's a pretty big deal so that makes yeah, sense true Oh, look at this tiny perch. 0.49 pounds. One dollar. Amazing. Yeah. Dude, you're I rich. Might, you're, you're so rich after that. Like, I might release that. Just I think I'd rather take the one XP than the one dollar at, at this point. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. One star common cart moving up in the world, brother. $84 pike. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no benefit. I played baseball from t-ball all the way into high school i think brober's right but i need to take you guys to thailand i knew you'd break eventually i mean i can't pass up tiger sharks you know 
Tiger Shark's just too much fun. This is probably the best looking Come map on. as well. Come on. I'm just grinding out this uh, little... What? Was that a carp? There we go. Probably. There's something. Go with our strongest setup now. Oh, he's coming in. Thanks. He's coming in. Okay, I was going to say that that would be weird if it let me use that. What lure do I want? Sodium shad. There we go. $17 fish around Or which one is it? Yeah, that I, that's how I was too when I first started. Definitely don't Ooh, want that nice line. Yeah, and also I got to fish at some of these uh, higher end places if I want to level up more. This is where the XP is going to be. I'm hiding the dragon 100%. Imagine I got a big if I got a big pipe <laughs> and I didn't realize it hundred percent, I was done. Yeah, that would have been the end. Rest in pieces, bro, bro. All right, everybody, it's time. We're What's going that? for Tiger Shark and uh Grouper. What is that? All of them goods. Oh gosh, a shark spawned in front of me. And he's gone. Come on. There we go. That's a small one. Kind of want to go back to fishing the main lake here. Do it. You know you want to. Oh, there's a mahi mahi. One and star asp. All the fish are bugging yeah. out. The fish are appearing and then disappearing. What have I done? I broke the game. Let's try four. I haven't tried fishing here yet. Yeah, let's fish off this dock. That looks good. To oh. Oh, we were fishing from there when we got that other stuff. So maybe oh, we got a shark on already. Way. We got a shark on already. Shark on. Oh yeah, we got a shark on. Guys, I caught two five-star shark um, the other night, and I couldn't keep either of them because my net wasn't my keep net wasn't big enough to actually keep them. I gotta level it up more before I can even keep the big shark to display them. Because in this game, you have to keep them first, right? And then you can, uh, from your keep net, ah, uh, it broke off, or not broke off, it unhooked. There, I can explain oh. it better now anyways, but, uh, you have to put it in your keep net. Then from there, you can choose to mount it as a trophy, so I couldn't mount them because I wasn't able to keep them. That's sad. It is what it is, though, I guess. Feels bad, man. Okay. Let's see if we can hook anything on here now. Oh, wait, yeah, we did right as I said that. Right as I said that, fish on. Fish on. This one is not a grouper, so we can reel this in decently quick. Oh, chip. This is a trevally, right? Yeah, this is a trevally. Or no, it's a threadfish. Indian threadfish, uh, three threadfish. stars. Yeah, threadfish. Little three star threadfish. Completed a daily quest. Beautiful. Come on. Nice, common. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Oh, there we go. Here's a little sum sum. Little sum sum? Little sum sum. It's just a little sum sum, you know what I'm saying? A little sum sum right there, tell you what. Oh, 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 okay. One star. One star chub. Eight buckaroonies. Ah, missed him. Missed the strike on that fish. Oh, I need some more XP. I need more money, too, for a better reel. Come on, bite it. It's right there. Is that dolphin fish going for it? Probably not. Oh, I see a shark around my bait. Uh-oh. Shark at the bait. 
Dark bait. Ooh. Let's try to get that grouper to bite. Did I get anything during the Call of the Wild part? Uh, yeah. We got a lot of diamonds and then two piebalds. Hero perch. The perch are cool. I like all the models Chevy. for the fish in this game. Some of them are just more fun to fish for than others, though. Yeah. Gosh, that grouper in the distance is huge. That could actually be like a four or five star. Oh my gosh, that shark right there. Hi, buddy. Ooh, two star Euro perch. Not too bad. Don't tell me he's going to beach himself. <laughs> this game's got so many like bugs, but I still enjoy uh, I had fishing a perch. in it. I had a perch going after my lure, and he like got so excited. He ran out of the water trying to go for my lure. Dude, that's a barracuda. He almost bit it. Ah, oh, that was a big barracuda. Uh, no, Croc Slayer. Nah, you didn't really miss much. Oh, oh. We're, we're just shark vibing. on. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Catch a shark. Or at least I am. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. No, I have to hear that all day. Stop. <laughs> Dad problems, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Euro perch. Ah, Euro perch. He unhooked again. Feels bad. Not having good luck with the sharks today. For me, I've noticed that with sharks, it's like 50 50 whether or not I land it or not. And if it's a big one, it's like a 30 70. I got about 10 more minutes and I got to call the night. I got international waters tomorrow. With Chip, maybe Kinsko. I don't know if CGO is going to be off work on time. Oh, there we go. Holy. That is, Wait, that is, I, what is I, oh my gosh, I had a fish on. I didn't realize. When did a fish bite Zero on this? Star Asp. I might release that. Well, that's a I big fish. Is that a grouper? That might be a grouper. XP. If that's a grouper, I gotta be careful and only reel when it's running towards me. Um, Chip, I am thinking. Yeah, it's a grouper. Wow. Uh, 8 a.m. your time. Eight a.m. your time, Chip. There we go. There's a perch. Holy. That's uh, 10 a.m. Central Time. And uh, about 4 p.m. London Time. Come on. One star Euro Perch. We're getting lots Stuck, of Euro Perch. I might keep. I mean, now he's moving. After I moved, he started moving. Let's try casting this little corner here. Well, is that where I was cast before? I don't know. We're going to cast here. Try getting it to 100%. He's coming in now. Hey, hey. What, who are, oh, are you carp? Okay. Come on. Yeah, this is a big grouper. This is a big old grouper. Come on. Either that or he's just buggy. Oh, now he's going towards me. Oh, there's another perch. Oh, we might have tired him out a little bit. Yeah, here he comes. Oh. Later, Addy. He's still fighting here and there. Oh, Lord. Zero frame coming. Perch. Oh, he, he unhooked. Uh, the big fish are tough in this game. Like, if you don't do things perfectly right, they get off. My guess is I probably cranked him in a little bit too hard at the end there. Pulled the hook right out. 
Man. We're losing all the giants today. Yeah, that's why you don't crank too hard. Yeah, I know, right? Don't be cranking it, bro. I also hooked him at 200 feet out, so that probably didn't help. I had a long way to go to reel him in. <laughs> like, there we go. We hooked that grouper really close. There we go. Come on. Hey, you look like a... Oh, there we go. There's another Euro Perch. Nice, bro. Nice. I'm just slowly but surely eliminating all Perch from this lake. Yeah, it was much better for this one. <laughs> it's a perch aside. A Malabar Grouper, four stars. Not bad. Let's go. First decent fish of the day. Tail splashing us. I heard a shark bite as well, right as we uh, hooked this. Yep, shark's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this grouper right here. Can I, like, just drag it by him and catch him, please? Is that a roach? Oh that? my gosh, a shark just beached himself next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you silly little shark. You thought that you could just chill? Nah, bro. Oh, there's a big old pike down there. Hey, hey, you like that? You like the way that looks? Huh? Does he? Huh? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Go say hi to our new buddy. Hi. That perk does, though. Yeah, he beached himself. Oh, there we go. Feels bad. Sucks to suck, dude. Am I right? Is this? Imagine beaching yourself as a shark. How does that happen, bro? Bird actually giving us Couldn't trouble. be me. Uh, hey, Jacob. Oh. I mean, at least we got a buddy this whole time that we're fishing now. A new personal record. Two Ooh, what'd star you catch? Euro per two star Euro perch. Nice. How many pike have you got? Uh, four or five. Nice. Yeah, those are and the I best. Those are some of the best XP at that location. And money. So. 84 bucks. Yeah, they do and, give good cash. And I didn't even have to, uh, like, get him against the bank. Ah, oh, I missed. Missed the strike on that uh, Malabar grouper. Come on. Hey, Jerry. How you doing, I'm buddy? Drag it here close to the bottom because I saw the pike hanging out down here at the bottom. What's that? Is that a bream? Nice shark model. <laughs> What's it doing? That's screenshot worthy. When your when your when hey, your hey, pet hey. shark beaches itself. What are you? You a roach? Bad face. What are you? I think I might need to cast out again what on the uh, shark rod. And hey, what if I just um. Oh, nothing. Hmm. What if I just... Oh! Oh! He's gone! No! Our pet shark is gone! Ooh. Ah, oh, come on, Should've man. Should've put him on a leash. They took the homie. He gone. Should've put him on a leash. He gone, man. Ah, oh, that is the saddest, saddest thing that's happened all day. Feels bad, man. Probably a good thing if that's the saddest, you know? Yeah, probably the have, saddest part of today was my pet shark disappeared. Yeah, it sounds like you're having a pretty good day. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's been a good day a Good day at that point. He's back in the water, it looks like. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, appeared again. This Come might on. be the buggiest fishing game that I've actually enjoyed a lot. <laughs> Like, this game has so many little bugs and glitches, but I love it. I know. I, I'm glad that you guys did have me play Ultimate Fishing because it really, really made me appreciate Call of the Wild, the angler, you know? Yeah. What about for this game? What do you What do you think about this so far? 
I do like this game. I would say I I do like this game a lot, mostly because you can just do so much in it. With yeah. So many different, like, fishing. Like, Wait I'm till you get to the jumbo stuff. fish. That's like, a, that's, that's really going to be great. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's going to be that's the fun part. Really wanting to get to, but when you get to the first place where you can catch sturgeon and Wells catfish, you're going to be yeah. you're going to be hooked on those. Oh, shark on. But I mean, just the graphics and the you like the basically the user interface for the angler is just so it's just on such a higher level. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a much larger dev team as well. Yeah. Like this is just a few people. I'm pretty sure. Right. So like that alone, like, will keep me back to the angler so much longer. Like once I get I start catching those like big fish that I like. Once I get a few of those, I don't know. I don't know how much replayability it will have for me. Yeah. Understandable. It's the same, Charlie. Same time. Holy man, this thing is just... It, there's no give to him. I got one more cast in me and then... Uh, I got to call it a night. All righty. Because uh, I have a pretty jam-packed data bar. Because we've got International Waters at 10. And oh, then, yeah. That's why you got a lot going on, don't you? Yeah, International Waters at 10. Then as soon as we're done around noon, I have to oh my gosh. lunch really Here quick. Here we go. Then I got to go into work, be at work by 1. Got him. We got our shark. Three-star tiger I, shark. I work. I'm covering just 1 to 3. But then I'm coming back. And then we were going to start golf at around four my time, two year time with CJO. Yeah, which is going to be fun times, man. Yes. Do I release? That's 12,000 XP versus 8,000. I think I should release this. I don't really need to save money up to buy anything at the moment. Boom. Release him. All right. That's. Oh, wait. That our Malabar grouper oh. to the trophies. All right, y'all. I'm going to do oh. my outro. BRB. All right, sir. Ah, what the? Oh. Trying to scare the crap out of me, bro. Also, I see a really big shark right there. Um, There's some really big sharks like right here. Now let's go over here. No, not that rod holder. The middle one. Thank you. Gosh. Wait, where did this lure go? It's in the ground. <laughs> Like I said, very buggy, but the fish fights are fun. Uh, why are you guys at my feet? Okay, we got a beached grouper now. Got our pet <laughs> grouper. How's it going, buddy? You love it. <laughs> I love it. I love I love the bugginess. Honestly, the bugs in this game are hilarious. Oh, you are a big, big shark. He's near my uh, bait as well. I think he's I think he's going for it. No, we didn't get any great ones, super rares or anything like that. We got a couple of big piebalds, though, like level four piebalds. Hey, Charlie, how's it going, man? Hey, Jacob. Hey, tuna on. We got a tuna on. Come on, come on. Get close. Come on, come on. Can we just rip him in? Yes, this might be my first tuna ever. Maybe it's my second. Ah, it's my biggest tuna, that's for sure. Yellowfin tuna. Love to see it. I'm lucky I hooked him really close to the shore. Oh. Still on? No. Whatever it was, it stopped biting.
Feels bad, man. Oh, well. Wouldn't let me cast for a second. I don't know, creative. Like I said, this game's not like... It isn't the most realistic fishing game out, and it's definitely one of the buggier ones, but... Something oddly addicting about the actual fishing. Definitely some things that are out of place, though. <laughs> like you just pointed out with the tuna. Oh, I got a little guy on. Weird Might be able one. to just power him in. I think I can just rip this guy in. He's little. He's a little shark. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, please, no, stop it. I don't want to get caught. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I bugged out. I, I bugged him out. I can't change cameras either. We broke the tiger shark. We broke him. <laughs> <laughs> Release that, I guess. For the XP. Ah, oh, one more and we level up. Oh gosh, I can't cast. I literally broke the game. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I put it away and then take it back out? So small it's invisible, I know, right? Just, I don't know what happened there. Ah, oh, I can cast now, beautiful. Early access, guys, early access. <laughs> Uh. Let's hope ultimate hunting isn't like this when it goes into early access. I will be sad if ultimate hunting is like super buggy when it uh first goes into early access. If it ever makes it to early access. Feels like we were supposed to get a, a trailer like last year and now we don't even know like when we're going to get a trailer for it. Oh gosh, I'm underneath the... It's underneath again. So, a note to self. If you stop reeling, it goes through the ground. Or maybe that's if I put it on the rod holder. It's been good, Kuno. It's been good. Been having a fun time today. I see a fish chasing it. That looks like a little fish. What is that? That was a small fish. What do we got here? Is that? Oh my gosh. It's a snapper. <laughs> I barely caught any of these. Got a gray snapper. Not yeah, my biggest though. Yeah. Little feller, 22 pounds. What we're really after right now is these big boy groupers. Really so fast. Yep, it's the same thing as in the angler. You reel in quick till you get it to like be somewhat close and then oh, I missed the strike. Saw him like swipe it and I uh pulled up too quick. Hey everybody. There we go. I think that's a Trevally. Yeah, it's a Trevally. No, it's a Threadfish. I am an idiot. I always mix those two up. The Threadfish and the uh, Trevally. Because they're very similar looking. When's that shark going to bite, bro? What's up with these sharks, dude? Silly sharks. Oh. 
All right, buddy. I'm calling the night. I will talk to you tomorrow. Later, sir. Have, have a good evening, sir. And you have a good stream. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Grouper on. Can I crank him in? He's pretty close. Maybe I can just crank him in. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely can't. Oh, now we got a shark on. What a stubborn fish. He's just doing circles in front of us. You're making me miss sharks, man, and you're not even that big. Ah, Egon. Of course, this is where he starts running. Uh, what's my best grouper and great one? Uh, my best grouper in the game is a five star. I don't remember the exact weight. I think it was like 900 and some pounds. Um, Best great one in Call of the Wild. Gotta be my bear. Gotta be my great one bear. Dude, this guy's just booking it. Holy. He said goodbye. <laughs> He is out of here. <laughs> 200 feet he just ran. Jeez. Can we get him in? Looks like he's coming in now. Can I crank it up to 100? We might be able to now. We might be able to put it at 100 and be fine. Go back to 96. Yeah, he's still trying to pull a little bit. Okay, we're good now. He's going straight into us. Another shark! The timing couldn't be worse, man. Come on now. He's giving us like one last run here. Come on, go towards us, buddy. This better be a good one. He's fighting like a decent one. Holy man. Uh, this is Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. We keep having sharks biting. But I can't put this down because this fish is going crazy. Dude, what a grouper. This thing's putting up a fight, man. Oh my gosh, he's back out to 200 feet. Holy, dude. Still putting up a fight.
Uh, yeah, I've caught a few five stars. I've caught two five star sharks, uh, the tiger sharks. I've caught one five star grouper. I think that's it. I think I can check actually. There might be a way to check in game. I know for a fact those are three of the five stars I've got. He unhooked himself. No. Ah, uh, it's the one thing with these long fights. More chances for them to get off. Uh, that's rough. That might be the longest fight I've gone through where it broke off. Or not broke off, but like got off somehow. Jeez, man. He pulled the hook. Well, let's see if we can get another hook, or not, not another hook, another shark to bite. I'll get a drink of water while we're waiting. Holy. Oh! I want you. I want you, bro. I want you. Disappeared into thin air. Oh, man. We got cursed fish again, man. We got cursed fish again, guys. I missed. I missed the strike. No. That was a group or two, I think. Maybe not, actually. What is that fish? Is that a grouper? I suppose it could be. Oh. Whatever was going for the bait stopped. see a shark right there. He's about to bite it. <laughs> He's so buggy. Come on, bite it. You know you want to bite it. Come on. You know you wanna. I think I need to just get it out farther, to be honest. Oh. He's looking at it. Not quite uh, sure what you mean by that, Charlie. What do you mean by chill? Is somebody in chat not being chill? Looks like everybody's being chill to me. There, we'll do 100 feet. Yeah, there was definitely some sharks there, uh, Siv. There were. There was a few sharks and then a couple of grouper for sure. Speaking of grouper, we got a beached one over there. It's a rare form of grouper. There we go. Fish on. Not a grouper. But it's a fish. I think it's a snapper. Oh, it's a five star. Okay, screw the shark. We got a five star snapper. <laughs> oh my gosh, 40 pounds. Let's go. Five star snapper. Love to see it. Holy, dude. Let's freaking go. 
Uh, we're definitely gonna mount that. Add to trophies. And we can sell the rest of these. Hey, Mr. Sharky. You gonna bite my bait again? Well, we got a five star at least. So we're not going home empty handed today. There we go, shark on. Finally. Uh, no, Bear Hunter. Sadly, you can't. When they add Ark Survival Ascended, or when they release that, you will be able to, though. That'll, that game will have uh, cross-compatible uh, mods on console and PC. Come on. We're just going to feather it. We're not going to take this uh, too quickly. He's doing that thing the last one that we landed did where he's going to the side. He's swimming to the side, so hopefully he'll go to the shore where we can actually get him. Maybe if we're lucky here. You know, getting in the water with a shark in real life would probably not be a smart idea, but here, in this game, it's actually, uh, usually a good way to get the fish in. Since this game allows you to walk around, in some cases you can walk up to, uh, the fish and pull them right out of the water. This location doesn't have too many spots where you can do that. This is the only corner, so you have to get lucky with having them go over here. Can I get him? I don't know if I can get him. Wait, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got him. Ooh, four star tiger shark. I don't think I can keep him. I don't think I can keep him. Because I don't have a big enough keep net. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't carry him. He's too big. So we gotta release him. 15,000 XP though. That is a monster. Not my biggest ever, but a monster still. How does he, uh, how does he pick it up? That's the question. How does, oh, his face is in it. How does this guy carry this, uh, this shark like that, guys? This is crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. And we leveled up to 29. What can we buy at level 29? I've already got all the rods and reels, but what about line? Ooh, 29 does have new line. What else? Does it have new hooks? Nope. Bait? I don't think so. Yeah, we got all the bait already. Lures, though. There should be some new lures. Yeah, here we go. We got two new lures. That's kind of, that's, that's a decent lineup of fish that they catch as well. Uh, let's buy another one of those. And boom, buy now. Now we can change out the line on these. 
Oh, we got this other one already down. Yeah, I really only make a people moderator if they've been a friend of mine for a while or if they are a moderator from like uh, one of the content creators that I'm friends with. That's usually how I go about that. One seventy-five, and then with this one, we'll go with the one seventy-nine that we just got. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it there. I've been streaming for seven hours and three minutes, so I'd say it's time to get off and go relax. So, I will talk to you all later. We will be doing a stream tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, I believe tomorrow. And I believe tomorrow's is earlier than normal. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys later. Peace.